Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Dan here guys. I want to welcome you all to a brand new series for the channel and it's an old friend It's a very old friend Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Probably the most well-known series I've ever done for my channel many many times in the past many many times I played this game. I think this will be the fourth time I'm playing this game for the channel fourth time uh, and then three other times for KOTOR 2 as well now Welcome. Why am I playing this now? Well, some of you might know, some of you might not. Yesterday July, was July 24th, and in July 24th is kind of a special day to a degree, because back in 2012, July 24th, 2012, I posted the very first part for my first Star Wars KOTOR uh, Let's Play for the channel, and that that series really did change the course of history for the channel that's kind of where i'd say a good chunk of you guys actually came from a lot of you guys know this series know me for my kotor let's plays it, it's just a series i'm very well that people love you know and i wouldn't say it's aged as well as i would have wanted but <laughs> at the same time um i'd say like it, it's it's something i've been i've been like just known for and i just love so much it's one of my favorite games of all time when people ask me what my favorite games are it's very, very tough to answer that question but it is um i can at least give you guys an answer you know what i mean like i can at least say hey this is definitely in there i've had so many memories with this game dating all the way back to its launch in 2003 i've been playing it like many times over the last years the last time i actually touched this game was 2018 because that i did i decided to do another series on PC modded and before I had only done them on Xbox my original Xbox copy emulated through an Xbox 360 so we are doing that again we are playing on PC and we are but we are playing with mods if you want a complete list of my mods I have put them in the description so if you want to see which ones I'm using like uh, just check the description scroll down you'll see what I'm using um, I'm using uh, mostly the same mods as last time but actually a few more and some of the mods I had installed I didn't reinstall because I didn't feel like they were necessary um, so mostly however there's a lot of graphics mods i've installed um that'll change how things look i took the time to install these like really long process mods um that are going to take forever uh to kind of you know you know kind of up upload and you know get them get them installed but i did it anyway i want this to be a different experience for you guys as well because if i've already done it multiple times i have to do things to change things up so like i said mod list is in the description hopefully everything works well i did a couple of test runs and things look good so far so uh i'm very happy with that and one thing you'll notice too the menu mod is 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 active so we actually have a full screen we don't have this small like you know minor menu you know the one where it was like all zoomed out and then you just had this like small board this border taking up most of the screen so that's been addressed there's been a lot of stuff addressed so now one thing to mention i know this is already um this game, I'm sorry, I've already played this game multiple times, but this is the first time I will have ever live streamed this game. I did try live streaming it back when I was streaming on Facebook, but I had a lot of issues and, you know, a lot of issues with OBS, things like that, but we've managed to make it work. I've had to run the game actually in, uh, basically I have to record my desktop to make it work properly. You can pick up on a full screen application or whatever, but I've noticed the screen will freeze. So whatever's happening on like on on my my screen you guys will just see me moving and not the actual uh the game itself so um this is the best best situation for everybody so now as a whole as an homage i know i'm talking a lot there's a lot to get through as an homage to the original uh kotor let's play that i did for my channel i'm going to be emulating that let's play as close as possible and i don't mean like as in um we're gonna copy literally everything we did no what i mean is i'm gonna kind of go the same kind of route male light side uh jedi guardian two lightsabers used you know what i mean i ended up doing that route so i'll probably do the same because i've already done everything else i've already done female i've already done you know female gray jedi for both games i've done light side dark side i've done consular sentinel guardian i've done it all and i've done single hill double bladed and two lightsaber combos for each of those games so it's kind of like all right well <laughs> we're gonna have to do something we're gonna have to just pay homage and that's really what i want to do this is an homage to my original uh kotor let's play back in 2012. i was 21 years old at the time i'm 31 years old now it's crazy but like i said that let's play didn't age that well due to the timing you know when things were you know how I, what was okay to get away with the jokes where you could say more jokes back then nowadays you can't so it's it's kind of like okay that's from that era this is a new era but we're still gonna have a great time and i cannot wait to join 
or jump in and get going. I'm sorry I'm blabbing. I'm, I'm so excited. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. We are going to be live streaming the whole series. Basically, I'm going to sort stream by planet. So today we're going to be taking on uh, the Endar Spire, which is our in kind of our tutorial level. And then we're going to be doing all of Terrace today. That's how it's going to work. Terrace is actually one of the longest areas. So I'm expecting a maybe six and a half, seven hour stream today, maybe a little bit longer than that. So that's the goal for today. And then for the rest of the days, you know, Dantooine tomorrow, uh, then Tatooine after that and so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get through each planet and anything that's a little bit shorter, you know, how there's some side missions where you have to jump from planet to planet. I'll probably end up throwing that on to another stream that are like the same stream at the end of what I'm done when I'm done with that current planet, but I'll end up coming back. So anyway, guys, massive amounts of love i already see for this channel or for the stream so thank you so much for joining me i appreciate you all don't forget to leave a like on it say what's up in chat i'll do my best to get back to everybody there's a lot more people than usual so i don't know if i'll be able to get through every single person but i will try my best to do a quick run through of everyone who's here all right we'll try we'll try i'm gonna go fast so we can get into this all right what's up adam monet zach blue silver husky ahsoka eric rashawn blind disney stay staley Andrew, Cataract, Noah, Tyler, D7, <laughs> Gwenlock, Besco, Shaquille, Unicorn, uh, oh god, and <clears throat> anime, I believe that's how you, yes, okay, I see it, okay, what's up, Mole, <laughs> Boost, uh, Flickin, Adam, multiple Adams in this one, Kyler, Gareth, what's up, uh, let's see, David, Francisco, Yanni, Lynch, uh, goodness me, sorry guys, I'm trying to get through as many people as possible, Thurgy, Walrus, Double, Connor, James, Lord, TK, Blind, I already got you 16 times, Bear, Mark, <laughs> Besco, what's good, uh, let's see, Molten, Screeve, uh, Jar, who else we got, Supreme, Ramsey, uh, let's see, who else, Bro, what's good, Neil, Shane, my goodness, trying to catch up here, <laughs> Boost, uh, Van Welds, drawing, what's good? I think I'm catching up, slowly catching up. Dave, what's good? Uh, <laughs> Outlaw, Mark, Fainter, Jedi, Colt, Owl. Oh, there's just so many people, I can't catch up. Oh my god, this is awesome. Thank you guys, appreciate the love. Dan, <laughs> Bailey, Tanner, this can be tough to catch everyone. Uh, DM, Heat, Jen. Harambe, Dark, Kevin, Twalls, Michael, Zach. You see what I mean? It's going on forever and ever. I can't catch up, guys. <laughs> Tongue, Ruben, Ethan, Alex. I'm trying. I'm trying, James. <laughs> Patriot, Cheese. Uh, Alex. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. There's so many more people here. If I miss you, I'm sorry. It's going to be tough to catch up, everyone. Anyway, without any further ado, hold on. I'm going to make just a minute. Oh, God. Sorry. Just got to see. I've noticed it, it minimizes sometimes. So I have to maximize let it catch up all right let's jump in fresh new game you guys can recognize that music i might turn up a little bit every time i like adjust any setting it minimizes my game and it resets all my screens so i'm going to try and minimize or not min or not adjust anything unless i have to what the hell it just decided to turn it all the way to the oh my god decided to mute my entire thing stop Sorry, guys. I'm trying my best. <laughs> it's doing what it wants. This, see, this is what I was worried about. This is the downside about streaming an old game. Don't adjust my volume. All right. I think we're good now. Okay, awesome. All right. So, as mentioned, we're going to be doing the same kind of setup that we had before. And we're going to rock with the male soldier. Custom character. I'm not going to spend too much time dicking around. Now, I can go with my original. That's what I always did. But then I can't, and then I ended up start. I started using this as my mail. But here's the thing: if I'm going off of the original, like I said, I started using this as my main. It just made more sense for me. But the original one I would use. I don't know why, but I always picked. I always picked this one. This is always my. But it's an homage to the original, so we're gonna do that. Okay, we're gonna be doing that. I'm not sure why. But since we're going to be rolling with a soldier Jedi guardian, we're gonna need a lot into our strength. Um, dexterity is going to be important as well. Constitution, not as much. Intelligence, not as much. Um, charisma, I'd like up. And my wisdom, I would like a little bit. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I still have a ton of points. Holy hell. Why do I get so many points? Wait, let's see the recommended. What does it recommend? 
60 in the strength, 14 dexterity, 14 constitution, 10 intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. I'm going to actually switch. I'm going to do a bit of that. It actually, I forgot your constitution does go up for your packages. But my charisma is good for all Jedi classes for, because eventually, obviously, persuading people to do things is very important. One thing I will have to do, unfortunately, guys, is mute the music for the intro. Because I've been copyright claimed for the Star Wars intro many times. So, really, it's going to be... Yeah, intelligence does give you skill points, but... Um... Intelligence does give you skill points, but it also, like, the amount of skill points I have as a, as a soldier are very low already. So, it's not going to matter too much. So... I think this is a good build so far. I guess I could do a little bit more. But again, I, the, only, the skills you have, though, as a, a, uh, as a soldier are so, like, they're so minor. So you, you don't focus on skills that much. That's why you have your party members. So I'm... Tell you what, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay, we'll do that. All right, speaking of skills, so I only have certain ones that allow me to... That are single skill costs. Demos, uh, awareness, and I believe persuade becomes a skill. Uh, a skill once you become a Jedi becomes a single point cost, but it's treat injury. So really, I would usually just go uh, awareness. I mean, I don't even know if I do demos. I have enough for one more. Up the treat injury. Let's go. Okay, feats. This one's pretty off. Okay, so. I've already got these from default. They give you power attack by default. Now, since I'm going to be two weapon fighting, I'm going to have two lightsabers. Uh, I'm probably going to roll with two weapon fighting, and which negates the penalty of running with two weapons. Um, honestly, if you're going, the only, I guess the most logical thing to do if you're going for a um, two weapon build is to be a guard, a Jedi guardian, or a soldier, one of those two. That way, you can get an advancement in feats right off the snuff. Um, so that's kind of the plan. Normally what I would do is, I remember my stupid ass back in the day would just run, I remember like long time, like when I was a kid, I would always run like two double bladed sabers for everybody, even if they didn't have two weapon fighting. And I was like, why the hell are they missing so much? I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I was 12 years old, man. Give me a minute. Give me a break. Anyway, so we'll eventually, like the thing is we're going to have so many feats to pick from. I'm going to start with two weapon fighting. So it reduces the attack penalty of the character wielding a double blade or two weapons. If you're using something shorter, uh, it's going to negate it even more. But it's essentially like you, it's like D&D &D rules. So every roll you get um, is going to suffer. You're going to have lower rolls if you have more modifiers that are against you. So we're going to start with that as a feat. Now the name. Now I've been looking for this. I can't remember what I ended up doing. But I think because it's got to be something... Like, <laughs> wait, how would it be? <laughs> Ten anniversary. <laughs> Tenth anniversary. <laughs> oh. It's gotta be something like that. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's what I want, but <laughs> unless hold on. Let's see. Uh ten. Uh hold on. It's gotta be something stupid. Like you gotta have a Y, right? And then it's got a P. <laughs> That's too much. You know what? I'm just going to do it. <laughs> there you go. 10th anniversary. <laughs> I'm going with that, bro. I don't care. That's what's happening. Trust my instinct. Trust my instinct. I mean, instinct. Instinct. All right, guys, we are ready. I'm going to have to minimize and mute the game. And it's going to minimize my shit. Hold on. 
I don't know why I bother moving this shit around. Okay. So yeah, I'll have to mute it, like I said, for the, the music, but long time ago, Farkas has to come out. It's got to come out. You guys might hear it through my mic. I'm not going to lie. That's okay, though. This is special. <laughs> All right, Farkas. Let's bring your goofy ass out here one more time. Well, no, well one more time. All right. Knights of the Old Republic. 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of Darth the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith Armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malak's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master because they pussies. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Terrace, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Dark Malak. Darth Malak, Dark Malak, you idiot. Darth Malak, in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. Dot, 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 dot. Bam! That man is a professional. <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. I will unmute as soon as I have the opportunity. I don't want to accidentally skip a cutscene. Should be good. I know. I know. Hold on. Hang tight. Uh, see, I got to do this swiftly. Got to do it swiftly. Swift. Swift. Let's see. Come on. Load nicely. No, it's doing. No. Ah, this is what I was worried about. I was just trying to minimize. I'm trying to maximize now. It won't let me. <laughs> no, it's going to skip it. All right, guys. We're going to have to skip. That's funny. Uh, oh, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Making small adjustments is going to be a pain in the ass. For real. I might turn some volumes down, though. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. If it isn't our old friend, Trask, the Bed Intruder. <laughs> I'm Trask Oryo, you, bro? ensign with the Republic Fleet. Are. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up, we have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. I'm um, sorry, who's Bastila? Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training tops in your training. class. It's no wonder Elite you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastil is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. All right, let's go help her. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Bro, that's not what you said last night. You said you would wanted me to suit down, so make up your damn mind. All right, we are back. All right, well, first thing I'm going to do is lower the music volume because it's just like so... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to bring it down so where I'm not having to shout over it. probably good all right I'm actually gonna get rid of all the menu tutorials just so we don't have to look at it so as you can see we actually have a full <clears throat> excuse me we have a full screen uh, menu here attack on the indoor spire all right we'll get we'll be fine I'll make a save I love how it has my saves from 2018 I, I actually test ran them and there's mods that I have ten years ten years a bed intrusion. Oh, that's what I can do. <laughs> ten year. No, ten year. Let's say ten year. It's good enough. Watch, and then every other save is going to be named multiple other things. 
All right, Trask, you boy. can move them to move. You can. Thanks. Okay, I'm stuck on. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. I thought for a second I had to do the spin method. You know, how, like in in PC. Uh. Okay, I'm just trying to. Is it J? Which one is the quick? You think I know the quick inventory screen? Oh, it's probably E then. Let's get some clothes on. Even though we look fine as hell. I always rock with the swords. What? Okay, we should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. All right, Trasky boy. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay. What? <laughs> now that the door is open, open, you better, you better take, take the, the lead, lead again. again. <laughs> switching back, switching to ten, switching ten anniversary back. To the <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Cardinal Nasty. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. All right, cool, let's move out. Yeah, there's like a way, I can't remember how you do it in PC. I don't know if I ever got stuck on PC. Yeah, I think it actually, hold on. But I'm still needing to just. Just a little bit, I think it's just a little aggressive for me right now. There you go. And I can just turn this up a little. Perfect. What? I love how all the attitude he gives that me. That door is locked. I don't have the codes to open it. But switch me to the party leader so you can use my security skills to slice into the access panel and open the door. Okay. Yeah? Eh? So he gives so much attitude. God. <laughs> These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. It's still quite loud. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get the audios right. It's not. I don't like going low. Okay. This sounds good for a minute, and then it's just like. You better take control of the party again. It's like. <laughs> All right, thanks, 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 thanks. I'm trying to attack. I'm trying to attack since like 1955. Die! Oh, oh. oh. I got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Still loud. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. Is all I have is an advanced? No, I'll just use a med pack. I didn't actually need that. Yeah, well, I was actually all right. Yeah. Yes. What? Yes. What? 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 Yes. What? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. What? Yeah. what? Okay. Uh. No, it's not. Graphics, performance mods, no, ma mainly just things to make the game run better. Restoration mods like the cut content is back. Man, I can't win. I'm like adjusting this shit. I want I, I always want sounds a little higher. Hopefully that's good. Come on, you'll be fine. Sometimes it's best to let them attack. Oh, we see. I was just missing on purpose, so that I. Uh... All right. 
Oh, I gotta wait for him to finish his dance. Hold on. There you go. Okay, combat suit. So now I have the short sword. I'm gonna switch to the long sword. Now, I, the thing is, I do have negated the double hand, so I, I might do that. Again, I'll probably end up um, locked. Oh, no, I, I was for a second. Okay, good. I think that's... Oh, wait, you still the footlocker, yes? Prop... Oh, wait, no, I forgot the footlocker does... Oh, right, in this game, they change... They, they don't have it that you've searched it, so you could have searched it. I usually rock with blue. Blue is my favorite color, so I rock with that. I'm playing Culture 2 on the Switch. I don't even have a Switch, so no. I'm gonna just name them. I mean, that's, that's, that's what I want. But first, I gotta loot this man's. Just go in and give a slice. Sometimes give a little bit of slice. Works wonders. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go! <laughs> Something's bothering Carth. You should probably talk to him about it. I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, before we go in there, that was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn! Could they use your help? Man, this would just be me back in the day, just spinning blades and saving. Dark Jedi! This light is too much for us! We better stay back! All we do is get in the way! Oh! Oh! And then she just gets a rope grenade. <laughs> that was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. Bro, you know what's funny about that is we could have totally like made for one. Right? That's what I'm talking about, dog. And of course, she doesn't have a lightsaber. Vibration cell, so that's a mod for the uh, for a vibroblade. A Sith Lord who looks like he sleeps with vibroblades. And getting bombarded from a Republic warship? I was better off than myself. Hey, Mole. Ah, we'll slap him with power attack. No, we won't. We need to get that two weapon fighting again. It is such a pain in the ass right now. We did level up. Bastard was not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Yeah, I have graphics mods galore. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's a complete re-overhaul of the Endar Spire. I've installed, like, world mods, so every single world has, uh... Oh, wait. I leveled up, didn't I? Alright, I got a feed upgrade right off the snuff, so... I have a... I only have one remaining point to spend. I'll put it into awareness for now. Feats, though. Can I get this yet? No, I need to be a level four. So they make you get something else. I'm going to get flurry. Then it'll be two weapon fighting. Improve two weapon. All right, relax. Of course I remember Darth Mandan. I mean, I, 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 they're not they're not modded swords, but there's been like graphical mods on the sword. Same with the blasters, high quality blasters as well. Everything's been improved, everything visually, and it's basically trying to make it look like it's a more modern game. Is that's what's happening here, guys? To the best of our ability. There's something behind here. There's something behind here. Damn, another dark I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go. Hmm, I've been searching everywhere for you. I'll have you know that Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you'd escape that as alive. He's promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. 
Trask has bought you some time. Trask could have been fine, honestly. I've actually never done a blaster only run. I haven't. You think I should? This is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. No, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Yes, and I've also done a um, graphics like skin mods for all the main party members using Fens. Fens, Fens is mods. So all the main party members are gonna look a little bit different. I figured it'd be good for that. Finish them with a flurry just for fun. Alright, we're good. I might. I know, right? We were all so young back then. Also young, hold on. Why, because they both have like a, a more dominant soul patch? I don't wanna, uh, you know what, fuck him, he's getting a grenade. Oh, you'll end up having more frags than you can deal with. And more mines on top of it. I'll end up having a ton of mines because I have, I'll have higher demolitions. What? Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer that play Battlefront? to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. I don't know about you guys, but I thought uh, Terrace was one of the best, like, locations in the game. I thought it was the most fun, the best environment. And it was so early on. Oh, I knew there was remains. Oh, look. Hold on. Let's line it up. Oh, it's not letting me do it anymore. There was like a hand. I was grabbing tush. Hold on. Guys, grabbing tush. <laughs> grabbing tush. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, usually, based on the um, the best thing that I ended up with doing, there's a couple things. You can overload it. They give you enough. You have to do one of them. So it's I, I, overloading is way better in my opinion. Ah! Bye. Good. All right, let's get out of here. Because I mean, the you could if you program the droid, it just takes longer. You're better off just doing it. The prototype vibroblade is moddable, is upgradable. And it's quite good. It's it can be used in the offhand. Not everything can be used in the offhand. So we're gonna change to the prototype V blade. It's got because it's balanced. The weapon penalty is kind of negated. So it's always good to use something shorter in the offhand. The longsword is one to twelve. It's very basic though. But since it's my primary, I, I don't want to change it because then I'll take an L if I use it in my offhand. So I or more of an L, I should say. The short sword is very weak. But this is the prototype viral blade. You can have people using that for like years. You know what I'm saying? And it works wonders. Just make sure I got all the. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Who are you? I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left on the end of our spire. escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. Look, I just realized my pro that must be a mod I saw. Look at the prototype vibroblade on this. I just realized. Look at it. Holy shit! I don't remember installing that mod. It must have been included in something. You know when you install a bunch of shit, and you don't know you've actually installed. <laughs> That's kind of what's happening. I mean, I know what I've installed, but it must come with a pack, you know, like included. All right, let's go. Um, there isn't really a program. There was a program, um, but really it's easy enough just to copy override files and like the files into the override folder. It, most most mods are really easy. They install normally, or you just click like copy paste. That's how a lot of them work. Whoa, hold on. 
Don't try and get up yet. You were smashed up pretty bad when we crash landed here on Terrace. Don't worry, we should be safe here in this apartment. I gave you something to help you sleep. Just get some rest and let the coal towbacks do their job. <laughs> he's trying to sleep. He's like, don't move too much. Meanwhile, he's just turning over in his sleep. Whoa, slow down. Huh? What? Whoa, I said slow down. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh, like, bro, I'm trying Good to take to a nap. you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must I tried waking you earlier. You. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. All right, the one on the communicator, I remember. Well, you've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. I guess you're in my life, thanks. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw crew. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Why is it so important to find Bastila? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here on Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. This will be, guys, this is going to be an homage to, like I said, the original series. So it's going to be male, light side, Jedi, guardian, two lightsabers, just like I did in the first one. How can one person, even a Jedi, be so important? Basila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare you can go gray. I, did, I went gray in my meditation. female role. Basila's power can influence But yeah, there are ultimate choices you have to make. Through the Force, Basila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often, that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course, there are limits to what she can do. But from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. So what do you suggest we do next? Vassal's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. Any idea where we should start looking for Bastila? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I want to ask you some questions. I got to turn up the speaking voices again. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. What do you know about Malak and the Sith? Everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Jedi, what do you mean? Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order. 
but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. I want to ask you something else? I'll tell you whatever I can, though I... Uh... Tell me about this planet we're on. Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. But that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens lived is... is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and a planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is... well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rack ghouls. Mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pack. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Gwen Lock, thank you so much for that super chat. Now it makes sense why you delayed the 500k special stream. Fits perfectly with this. Happy anniversary. Can't believe it's been 10 years. Time flies. That's true. It's been, yeah, it's crazy how fast time goes. Anyway, I'd like to know some more about you. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Okay. Uh. All right. The sooner we're looking for Basil, the sooner we find it. Good her. idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We could probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. Can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. See, it's funny that they, they mention this. Like, there's foreshadowing in there, obviously. Okay, I'm gonna turn up. All right. I slept with my vibroblades. You can never be too careful. All right, so we can access this workbench now. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade our prototype V-blade. We only have the vibration cell, which increases a two physical damage bonus. 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 Do I have anything else? No, I don't. Okay. So, yeah, this is the area where everybody is going to end up be... Ooh, ooh, hello. Yeah, see, you have to name every single one, so it's like, nah. Thank you. Cartho Nasty. Cartho Nasty. Andrew, thank you for being a member for a month. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. There was a patrol here just yesterday and they found nothing. Why do you still keep bothering us? <laughs> That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. They use a What's different this? voice. Humans hiding out with aliens. They're Republic fugitives. Attack! This is a different um this is a different, like, voiceover. Before, it's like, the wrap up fugitives. Attack! He sounds kind of Melvin-ish, you know what I mean? That's how we used to deal with smart man aliens. What's this? Humans hiding out with Jedi? I mean, <laughs> aliens. The wrap up fugitives. Attack! Oh, man, he got the sauce, dude. Blurry against robots. Blurry against robots who slaps cheeks like... Oh! Oryx Gil. You should have never talked back to Nexus. Thankfully, you were here to step in and help us here. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here and caused trouble for us. Probably it'll be the last. 
when someone comes searching for this patrol. Don't worry about the bodies, I'll move them so it looks like they were killed elsewhere. They should throw the serious and the track. With any luck, they won't be bothering us again for a while. Alright, can I search them? I would like to search them. Give me that. This backpack will sit here for the rest of the game. Well, not really the rest of the game, but you... you <coughs> in, until something may ha happen. <laughs> what? Sure. Sure. What? Wait, let's get him to say what. What? Yes? Ready? Sure. Ready? Yes? Ready? What? There it is. What? <laughs> uh, shit. You think I'd remember? No. I can't remember how to go to the level up screen. All right. We got new skills. They got new beaches. All right. Some demos. Again, you're not going to be able to bring everything up. Feats, though. We can now do two. Oh, wait. Can we? Oh, no. We're not. We're not at level four yet. All right. Well, usually what I'll do is get a critical, critical strike because it slaps so many cheeks. Uh, does... Karth doesn't get... Wait, what's his, what's his current kit? Karth's block... Oh, yeah, he two-weapon fights. Forgot about that. You'd think I wouldn't fight. forget about that. What? What? Yes? Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh, Dia, right. Dia's nuts. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <laughs> I'm like all ready for battle. barging into someone's home. Sorry, I was just investigating. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least As you're I more broke polite down her than door. Holden. Who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Lady, I busted into your apartment. You can trust me or not, I'm taking your shit. <laughs> it comes, you can trust me. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. <laughs> Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Is there anything I can do to help? I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Maybe I can speak to him. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I've got a, uh, I'm a jet, uh, I'm a soldier. Light side build is what's going to happen. Um, all my bods are listed in the description, for those wondering. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going Lady, on in the relax. outside world anymore. Lady, relax. I just need anymore. your social insurance number, and I need your uh, credit card information. Any I doubt it. Oh. Maybe I can speak. Could try. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon. All right, I'll be going. Goodbye, and good luck. Thanks. All right, that's a new... That's a new... Uh, we're going to try and do as like all the side missions in the game as possible, okay? That's the plan. I just took her shops. Well, Lareem sells shields. I don't see many of your kind around here. Most of the this rundown apartment are the My name is Lareem, by the way. Pleased to meet you. My name is 10th Anniversary. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. I just love, I love the Twilix like speeches. They're the best. <laughs> Look like someone who might need to purchase one of my new shields. It's so great when you use this round two with a radiant aura particle mesh that absorbs blaster bolts. Any idea to fight the shield team and protect against lightsaber sword here? Shields are, are perfect. They can only absorb so much energy damage before they burn out. And ion blasters will take racing dueling shield damage. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Where did this tech come from? Yeah, I'll do the 
Gila mula ne ni dupo. Oh, dupo. sorry. Chin, chin. Wonga kumbis cha. Her nerves be chani. She doesn't even send every sign. Oh, I missed. I'm sorry. I was sleeping. Shields are too rare and too expensive to hand out to an entire army, but a shield strength you can take out the whole battalion of soldiers armed with conventional blasters. Mule sha punga bola wana chikne. It gave the Sith a huge edge in the early battles, but it wasn't long before the Republic was able to copy the technology and come up with energy shields of their own. Now both sides are scrambling to come up with new weapons to slice right the shield, but, they, but until they do, you're going to see me melee combat coming back to the forefront in this war. Anything else? Not much to say really, except that I managed to get my hands on one of these shields. It isn't cheap, but it could mean different for life now. I want to see what I have in stock, and I'm like, yes, as much to look at. Price is reasonable and merchandise is sound. Why do you have a kiosk set up here? I run a little shop here in the old building, selling basic equipment to the illegal aliens running out of these apartments. You mentioned something about the illegal aliens living here. By law, most aliens aren't allowed to have the residents in Obsidian Terrace. They allow a few of us to us up here, but most part it's human only. I'm no self-respecting upper city human who want to live in apartments in this dump. The landlord has been running out of apartments illegally to aliens. Better than letting them sit empty in the castle, otherwise you get squatters and people hiding out from the authorities living in abandoned apartments, and they don't pay rent. Are you worried about getting caught? Terrace authorities, authorities pretty much turned a blind eye to this place. A few illegal aliens just weren't worth the bother. And once the Sith took over, they felt the same way. Besides, I don't live here myself. I just run a small business providing supplies to the residents. You want to see what I have in stock? I have more questions. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Oh, sorry. Okay. See what we have for sale. No problem. All right, he doesn't have anything I think I really want. He's got like battle armor, but I only have 91 cred, so there's no point in spending any money right now. Heavy con. You'll end up find like you'll end up finding a military suit. Vibro sword is pretty good. Again, I'd rather go to what's her names. On you know she has better shit, but he's cheaper. Ready? Doesn't he have? Yeah, he has security. Ooh, on it. So you can bust it. So it's open. Yes. Please, Pudu. Paka punka pa praka pa. Pudu. Tuni rama na praka donko tsercha. I was pretty close. I love how this is a light side run, and I just I'm looting people. I mean, honestly, what are they gonna do about it, guys? What exactly are they gonna do about it? We're gonna skip that. We don't want to go to Upper City yet. What? It's open. On it. Yes. It's open. It's like, hmm, someone's breaking in. Let's talk to you. Excuse me. What's up, chicken? What? On it. Oh, the, yeah, it's you open. know, hard end, what? that's the uh, assassin ones, isn't it? It unlock. It's such a cool thing, though. I mean, the, the, I don't know. Hey there, what, 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 what we you walking? I just clean those floors. Sorry. Who are you? My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Eh? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Well, I ask you some questions. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I could try and help you out. Tell me about Terrace. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. Where's the cantina? Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there. And, then, and from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Don't know how much I... Um... Where can I get some equipment? Well... The best Kebley place Yurt, to go is name. probably Kebley Yurt store. Normally I don't buy She's stuff, right but... right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. Just keep following the apartment complex. Don't know how much... What do you think of the Sith in this quarantine? Not much of an issue for me, you know. 
I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself, mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. All right. See ya. I should get back to it. Thanks, buddy. I think this is my apartment, yes? Yeah, we don't want to go there. Thank you again. I'll take care of them for you. Alright, well, let's leave. We've searched this apartment thoroughly. I like to search everything as properly or as effectively as I can. You mean the swoop bikes? Yeah, I'll be doing the swoop, swoop races. All right, so I love Terrace. It was so it was so cool. Right, these guys. I think this was our escape pod. We just kind of worked our way over there. Yes. What's, what's on, on your mind? mind? I'd like to know some more about you. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've always, we always had a conversation of like 10 feet away. the Mandalorian away. Wars before all this. Or more. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals could unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop it. What's up, Cody? You're talking like it's your fault, like you failed somehow. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. Do you mean the people of your homeworld? Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. I'm, you probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. All right, let's go, boy. Invisible wall cheese. This is Cubble your store. She's got some good shit, but. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. I want to ask some questions. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? Do you anything about those escape pods? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davix men got there first. Can you tell me about the Swoop Gangs? I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Becks were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker Gang, <laughs> the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. What do you know about Davik? Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Hmm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade-breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay him a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. So I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik's nothing but a petty crime lord. Careful where you say that. Davik's got spies and agents everywhere. Besides, he's as much a part of terrorists as the skyscrapers or the swoop gangs. 
Davik working with the Sith? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The Swoop Gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement instead of always going after each other. What can you tell me about them? I don't have anything good to say about those swoop gangs. Zooming around on their swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad. The oh, Sith didn't I say that already? I was wondering how you feel about the Sith. Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. Yeah. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. Though. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Like some general information. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad. As long as you stay in the upper city, just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. All right. Good day to you. All right, I'm going to talk to her again. Just check her Welcome. inventory. Welcome. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Some of her stuff is pretty good, but I just know that a lot of it I can't afford. I can't remember what I ended up buying from her. Possibly, everyone seems to have a Vibra sword. Is there anything I don't need? I mean, it's good to hold on to a Vibra blade. The short sword. I love how the item value is worth nothing. A, so, a sword is worth nothing. It's just like. I mean, I guess I could sell some of these blasters. I'm gonna hold off, actually. I'm gonna hold out. All right, let's get out of here. I can't remember. I think the te uh, sorry, the cantina was over here. I think. Um, Don't bother me. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. I'm, okay. The dueling ring, guys. I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna come back for it. I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm too low. Uh, I mean, I probably could. You know, I probably could um, make some, make a, take out a couple of the early stage guys. Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy. All those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Bozi Yvonne, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> Who are you? My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. Ask some questions. questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want... All right, all right. Goodbye. You... you don't really have to talk to these guys. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Who are you? My name's Garouk. I, I might buy used to deck. be a card shark. One of the best Pazak players That's true, I can always arena. start and come well, back. that was before I retired from the gambling life. You're giving up gambling? Why? Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes and lost countless more. But that was long ago. Things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. 50 credits get you my old Pazak deck and a free lesson. Great offer if you can afford it. Seven, seven years ago? Nah, man. I first played at 10. Well, not first, but for the channel anyway. Sure, I'll buy it. I had to see you're interested in the grand old game. Good luck. All right, I want to ask some questions. Of course. 
Give me some uh, do you know anything about those skate parks? I spend my days here in the cantina, sipping ale and chatting with the folks who want to buy. I don't have much use or care what goes on outside these walls. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, mm, don't know what I can tell you that would be of any use. The upper city is nice enough, though it was better before the Sith showed up. But they don't bother an old guy like me much. Don't know much about the lower city. It's rough down beneath. I just stay up here where it's safe and mind my own business. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the game. Yeah, I remember the perfect free detonator. I'll go get it. Is there anything else I can do? Is it for even you? available yet though, or does it No? 50 credits, but you earn a bit of I think you could persuade him to. Yeah, that quarantine must be tough and off while they're stuck here. You should try and make the best of it in order to yourself. Yeah, I don't want to go in here nail. just yet. It'll That's worthy. The... Alright, this is we can talk to this. Oh, where did bitch. you get those clothes? Yeah. A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Sorry, I'm not your waiter. What you say? I get the feeling this spoiled brat can cause us more trouble than she's Yeah, she does Why she is the help people? here so incompetent? One word from Daddy, and I could get you fired. I don't even work here. How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. That's fine. I'd ra I hope she comes after me later, which I... Wink. If you're here to complain about the quarantine, don't waste your breath. There's nothing I can do about it. I just followed you all this time together. Lady, I'm not even talking to you. Like, eat my ass like a chocolate milkshake. All right, there he is. No hard feelings, my good man. Oh, not this guy. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. No. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. <laughs> what a guy. Who dresses you? You look like you crawled up here from the lower city. Oh, well. I guess we can't all have style. Lady, your face looks like, is like made of like two polygons, so Mucho I wouldn't talk. Paka. You Mucho shaka paka. No bum. I get paid to dance. Mucho shaka paka. Mucho shaka. Mucho shaka paka. <laughs> Chung bong na nim na nook. Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. From the military base, don't look like one of the Sith. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging out around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know? A job with long hours and low pay, I might add. Hey, bro, I don't know if you knew this, but the guy behind you? Same clothes. I'm gonna go kick his ass. This guy, look, he's yelling at nobody. Look at this guy right here. He's like, you son of a bitch. Switches sides. Oh, yeah? <laughs> he just did. <laughs> he switched. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> when I what signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give up this lousy job. Retire my uniform, so to speak. <laughs> He's having the argument with himself. I love it. Can I ask some questions? Oh no, I don't Senior have time. Senior don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. Just another perk of the job. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm liable to say something that might get me in trouble. All right, whatever, bro. I'll just talk to you lookalike who's trying to get laid. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to boost the voiceover a little bit. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers All right, this, the military you can have base a party, much time right? off. Yeah, yeah, she is host of the party. The one from the base. From the base, you don't sound like one. You don't look like one, Sith. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith occupation force. 
Yeah, they'll be making it. Uh, it got, I don't know. I, I hear it might come out next year. Nice to meet you, Tarn. I'm 10th anniversary. <laughs> I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us, Sith. I can make this job pretty normal. You're just doing your job, right? Don't hold that, hold that against you. Save the sympathetic best friend, but I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my day off. Aw, oh, you bitch. Back again? Didn't I Sorry, I'm not trying to judge you. Uh, it's okay. I might have overacted a bit. She did. Can you blame me? I forgot Everywhere that she did I look, that. I see one of you Teresians glaring at me with hate in your eyes. I'm actually not from Terrace. I'm just stuck here till the quarantine ends. You're an off-worlder. <laughs> I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. April hey, Stranger, we have to stick together. You're right. It's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? I got a pretty, po pretty positive attitude. Exactly. It's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. You need to blow off steam once in a while. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a ship at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Hell yeah, I'll be there. Don't be late. We're starting you need right to get Sith uniforms from her anyway. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. There's a couple ways you can get them, but that's one of the major ones. Anyway. Walrus, what's up, bro? Thank you so much for that super chat. Haven't opened it, just got the package. Okay, awesome. Awesome, glad to hear it. Oh, it's my pleasure, man. Let me know how everything fits. I can't believe we couldn't get arena Don't tickets for this match. Bother. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view Who screen. cares? Who cares? <laughs> it's Duncan and girl on fighting. Shh. It's not like we're going to miss anything good. Shh. They're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. You're the one complaining. Dude, she's complaining. Ladies complain. and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. All right. He has here, a special one here. Two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now. I hope all your bets are down. He actually does. He's missing a finger, I think. Ready to oh, he's looking at, look at his right hand. He's playing the circle game. Give you go on, <laughs> his, right, two his right hand is playing the circle game. And over here, you guys look, looking to climb the ranks yet again is the ever-persistent <laughs> Jedi Duncan. Oh, he got you. He got you. You guys, I know he got me. I guess he's going to have to punch me. I'll let him get a hit on me when I face him in the dueling ring. I'll let him get a hit on me. Oops. Ah. And to nobody's Eat. great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> so I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. Everyone's just doing this in the crowd. Yeah! Two! Or whatever fingers he lost, let's just assume it's these ones. You know? Who cares? I love watching Ice fight. She proves this isn't just a man's game. Ice, Ice, baby. All right, stop. Sterling used to be one of the best in the game. Now he's barely better than He's doing a circle game too. Duncan. Take out your blaster and listen. We are <laughs> on these fights. People are gambling. What the hell are you talking about? Twitch is, Twitch is the guy. Yeah, he's like the best in the game. Not including um, Bendex Starkiller. Uh, bye. Shoot first, shoot last. Party with me, we'll have a blast. All right. To nobody's great surprise, Deadeye Duncan is down again. What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? Sure. Who are you? I'm Deadeye Duncan, the number five ranked duelist in this cantina. You must have seen me in the dueling chambers, right? I saw you got your ass handed to you. You gotta ask him that. You're number five ranked out of how many? Uh, five. 
but it's an elite group, okay? It's not like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, I know actually, with yeah, the restored can. content, mod, not many you actually do. meet Deadeye on Manon later. Dueling chambers? You know, the dueling chambers. Two people in combat, loser gets carried out unconscious on a stretcher. It's the everyone's, only reason people the come into this part on. of I the they had different. Look, I'm the number five outfits. ranked duelist around here. I don't have time to explain all this. Go talk to the duel organizer if you're interested. He's that hut over there in the corner. You don't look so tough. I think I could be you in a duel. Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. All right, well, you're about to be number six ranked duelist, big player. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring, or did you just come to watch? What are you talking about? What? Why are you here if you don't even know what the dueling ring is? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. You seem to be hanging. I want to step into the ring. Good to see some new blood in the fight game. Things have gotten pretty stale around here lately. If you're serious about this... Okay, what else can you say? You seem to be... I'll ask some questions. I don't have time. All right, fine. No! Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the cantina. I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. Do I know you? No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. Well, I'm I guess I got a combat you suit on. <laughs> to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. Are you looking for a match? I am. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. My area of expertise is. You're asking about the duelist here. You've come to the right man. I've been dueling here for nearly 20 years, and I remember every duelist who's been through this cantina. Of course, Marl there are only Freeman. five of us left now. Duncan, Gerlon, Ice, Twitch, and me. Bendak Starkiller comes in once in a while, but he's retired now. Come on about Duncan. Duncan? Worst duelist ever. His nickname is Deadeye because he fights like he's blind. I wouldn't worry about him. I mean about Gerlon. Gerlon used to be pretty good before the accident. His blaster overheated during a match and exploded. One in a million occurrence. Paralyzed three fingers on his right hand. They call him Gerlon Two Fingers now. He hasn't been the same since the accident. But he's still out here trying to earn hey man, a living. Two fingers That's is all you need if you're good. Blasters. Ice? Well, she's not much for personality. But she's a hell of a fighter. Confident, steady. Popular with the crowd, too. If you go up against her, you know you're in for a tough match. Uh, Twitch. Cause isn't it Marl and then Twitch? Does it go? It's Ice Marl, then Twitch. Me? Well, I've seen my share of battles. My best years are gone, but I can still hold my own against anyone in here, except maybe Twitch. Twitch? I think that Rodian is completely crazy, but he's very, very good despite his insanity. Girl, well, maybe on two because fingers. <laughs> even I can't beat him. What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match his entire career. But he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian battle rager. Never liked having to face the same opponent twice. Got so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. When they made death matches illegal, he went into retirement. He still hangs around here sometimes. Bendak's the best there ever was. Plain and simple. Even now, I'd bet that anyone who steps into the ring with him wouldn't make it out alive. And I think that's about it. My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might have. Um, do you know anything about the crash of public escape pods? Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Taurus? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. Information on terrorists. I can only tell you what is recorded in the basic visitor guides. The upper city is a beautiful destination. I'll probably where end up doing it. I'll probably do the can find all their basic needs. If you're looking for excitement, 
The dual rings here are your best bet. Stay out of the lower city. It's nothing but a gang-ridden slum. Is there anything else you want to know? Uh, no. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. Walrus, thank you so much for another super chat. Sure fits amazing, super comfortable. Awesome. My pleasure, bro. So the music is still loud? Really? Damn it. The problem is everyone listens to like this like to my like videos on like different you know different things. So you're watching on one thing. Um, it could sound but like if you're on a phone, the phone speakers are basically like mono. So it's hard to hear, but if you're on like headphones, it, you know, or sorry, on I phones. know what you're going to say. I'm so beautiful. I'm so attractive. How can someone who looks so hot with a weapon in her hand be called ice? Well, I've heard it all before. I'm here to take care of business in the dueling ring, not to have some slack jawed, goggled eyed man slobber all over me. So back off. Well, that was cool. Now you know why they call me ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. Back again. Back again. All right, well, let's go talk. So, wait, who's this? Just some guy? Talk to Azure. He's in charge here. You're the announcer? I didn't know the announcer was actually in here. I never actually saw him. Sorry, I'm in the betting window's closed. No more fights now. People are sick of seeing the same duels all the time. It's bad for business and less. My name is Azure. I organize all the duels here. We need a new face in the dueling game, human. Maybe you want to step into the duel ring? Be highly profitable venture. I might be interested what's in this for me. I arrange for you to fight in the duel ring. If you win, you get the standard contract, 10% of all wages, and don't worry, nobody dies in the duel ring anymore. Death matches are illegal. Most fighters in the duel ring use vibrant blades or stun sticks because the, thing's, the ring's pretty small, but a few of the duels use blasters. We'll use whatever you prefer. Fibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? The dual ring has energy suppressor fields to make sure nobody dies. Weapons are limited so they hurt but don't kill. We've got a medic droid in case serious injuries. Are you interested? I want more than 10%. You're joking, right? Where are we? Okay. What's up, Marlena? We have to get more than 10%. Literally, you think you can just fail? It's fine. Unless I build up my persuade. Come on, I know I can get him. Maybe I should come back after I up my persuade. I've already played Jedi Academy and Jedi, Jedi Ocast a few years back. Damn it. I might come back then, honestly, and just like work on get my persuade up a little bit and then get in the dual ring. Maybe I'll just do it last when my levels. That way I can just do it in a sequence. Hold on. Let's load. I'll just, I'll come back. If it's not possible, it's not possible, but You can't turn people into a Jedi in this game. That's KOTOR 2. I'll come back. I figured I'd level up. The, the problem is, like, this game was underleveled. I think there should have been 30 levels in this game, but there's only 20. So it was pretty easy to max out. Um, yeah, it was pretty easy to max things out. So, um... Yeah, um... By the time you're like level 10, you're kind of at the halfway point and you just start getting force powers. Oh, these dirty dogs. Where you going, Where you going bitch? That's what I thought. Idiot. Woo! 
Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Find a selection of supplies and all of ten. Uh, something we got for scale sale. Where's the permacrete detonator? We're gonna buy that. There we go. Uh, I just wanna make sure I have it. Yeah. I think you use it to... Oh, I know what you use it for. It's for the mission. Yeah, I remember what mission. You fake someone's death. It is scripted to fail. Oh, okay. <clears throat> So maybe I should go back then. Ah, that's fine. We'll just keep going. Oh, this guy's a dirty dog. Can't you see I'm busy with my dip? Fine, whatever. What's up, Zelks? I see from your appearance that you're an off-worlder. Still, you're pretty much there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'll not have it said that Zelka Foreign refused to help somebody just up, because Jenny? they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Rat ghoul, what's that? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the Rat Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rat Ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Is there no cure? Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. Maybe yeah, I can find a way to get... Please don't say that! I don't see how anyone oh, no, can get yet. hands on that Sorry. serum. The military base not is yet. crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. Don't say that! I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Don't worry, I'll get that serum for you. Please, don't say that! <laughs> if the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? How do you feel about the Sith? <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but... I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. I am quite busy. Um... General information about Terrace. I don't know much, but I'll tell you what I can. Do you want to know about Upper Terrace? Or are you more interested in Lower Terrace? I've already played Stray on it. I played it when it came out. You can go check the channel. Tell me about Upper Terrace since we're here. The people here in the Upper City generally like to think they're better than the rest of Terrace, but we're no better than anyone else. The people here can be selfish, greedy, arrogant, even prejudiced. That's why aliens need special permission to leave the Lower City. Maybe if more people in the Upper City weren't so self-centered, things wouldn't be so bad in the Lower City and the Undercity. Tell me about the Lower City. The Lower City has been overrun by swoop gangs and thugs. If you're going to travel down there, you'd better go armed. If you don't get attacked by one of the swoop gangs, you'll probably end up beaten and robbed by one of Davik's thugs. Soon it will be as bad as the Undercity. What do you know about Davik? Davik is the resident crime lord of Terrace. He deals in stolen goods, he trades in slaves and contraband, and it would take a month to list all the people he's made disappear. His slimy grasp even reaches here into Upper Terrace. Oh, Most I see of the shops saying. pay him protection money, so he'll leave them alone. Yeah, the man is nothing but a thug. I guess I'm lucky. Since my medical facility doesn't make any profits, Davik doesn't bother me. 
But if you ask me, he's no better than the Sith. But yeah, like if there's any new, if there's a new game I'm into, I will I usually check it out. I can't play every indie game, unfortunately. There's just so many, but I feel about the Sith. <laughs> I know enough to be skipped oh, sorry, so far. All day. I guess there's not much. I am else. quite busy, mate. I don't know much, but I'll... okay, upper, lower. We asked about Undercity. The Undercity is a wasteland crawling with flesh-eating mutants called Ratgoons. Fine, credit. That's a budget to cost to use our elevator. Five credits. Outcasts. Justice here on Terrace is swift and harsh. There are only two punishments. Execution or banishment to the Undercity. Anyone banished can never return on pain of death. Even their descendants are forced to live in the depths beneath our great cities. Whenever I can, I send supplies to the Undercity to help ease the misery of their lives. Although there is nothing I can do to help those infected with the Rakul disease. Did I ask about that? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. Prolonged exposure. Yeah, I've asked him about that. Sorry. Um, I am quite busy maintaining the facility. Do you know anything about the escape pods? Republic escape pods? I, no. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. You better. T oh wait, no. He seemed awfully defensive about this. I'm not defensive. I just don't like being accused of knowing something about those Republic pods. This is as bad as an interrogation by the Sith. Don't worry, I'm not with the Sith. Well, you don't look like you're with the Sith. I look like a duelist. Uh, I guess I can tell you my secret. Or rather, I can show you. Either way, you can just open the thing. He's like, no, don't open that. It's so funny. Either way, he does. You can find out. Since and then the space forced. battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I don't know, I think my brightness is at a good level. You might need to increase your brightness on your end. Does anybody else have an issue with the brightness? Is there anything I can do for help? I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. What's up, Red? Right, we got some light sizzles. Well, maybe I need medical attention. You're just gonna run away, ignore me? Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can... Um, I could use some healing, why not? It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Welcome back. Oh, what do you got for sale? Bioantidote, implant level. I don't even think I can use that, but it's expensive anyway. They're 500 creds. Yeah. This dickhead's gonna talk to me. Do that. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rakul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. What are you talking about? Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Who's that? Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss yeah. around here. Gonna buy some death sticks. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. He's a crime lord. I prefer to think of him as a role model. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women. It's the truth. Obsidian dream, did not make this. Right? Bioware made this game. Obsidian made the second game. This is Bioware's. No, it's not my first time playing. Dude, I've got... I've played this game so many times when I was a kid. Um, when it came out. You know, 03 and everything. I have... I Honestly, I think I have maybe about 50 playthroughs. Or more. 50, 60 playthroughs. This is my fourth time playing this game just for the channel. <laughs> anyway, why does he want the cure so badly? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. 
Where can I find David if he wants to give him a cure? Why do you care? Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. What if I tell Zelka you're helping David get the cure? Hm, I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Now be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Vader. This is this takes place like four thousand years before the films, so we ain't. Uh, he could use it to help people. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure, more than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rackle Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Yeah, but you'll get Dark Side for that. Oops. Welcome back. Uh. Never mind. Okay. Let's not start any. Wow, the, the map really didn't... The map was not... <laughs> uh, the right size, was it? Davik says you missed your last payment. Yeah. Davik doesn't nice. like you missing Ooh, payments. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I, I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? That's too bad. Davik's going to want to make an example of you. You're coming with us. No. Help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Davik doesn't like witnesses. I right, leave this man alone. You'll have to deal with me. I guess I'll teach you to mind your own business. All right, let's let's do this dance, bitch. Oh Ready? man, that guy got the spice. Yes. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My life warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Maybe I can help you. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters. So unless you have a spare one, I don't actually think I do. So I can pay off Davik. There's nothing else you can do. I'm just glad I can help. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons See, I can't, show up. There's no up. point. There really the is no point in helping him with that. I, I mean, I could have taken his 50 credits. It looks so funny. All right, let's make a save. It's been a minute. All right, Ready? up city north. What? Let's go. Oh, box. I wanted to change things up. I mean, I know most. I know most people just leave it, and I think I. I think overall, I think I prefer the original card too. But I, I've done this game so many times for the channel. I figured, I'd, you know, you got to make a few changes. I've done the same with every single one. Like I've done a. Uh, sorry, I've done the I've done Fens mods for each main party character, so they'll look a little different. But hey, at least it's something different to look at. Oh, I know you get lights out if you give him. I know that, but I didn't have enough money to give him anyway. He needed a hundred creds. I didn't have any. I mean, what's my credits uh -huh. at? Sure. Uh, I now have a hundred five because I picked up fifty from the guys I killed, so I only had fifty creds. Uh, I'd like to go this way. Uh huh. On it. We'll get the light. Something, Honestly, light sure. side is not something. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got fifty credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Isn't this just guy you don't gotta tell help? Davik where I'm hiding. Okay, I'm begging you. Or I'm not gonna hurt you. You mean you're not here to kill me? But I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. 
If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? Maybe I could help you. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zax in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. I won't tell him you're Thank you. Here. You've saved my life. At least until one of Davik's bounty hunters finds me. Normally I have a ton of money by now. So this is a mission, so I actually have to do it. I got 20 creds. Sure. What is that? That's 125. He needs 200 creds just to clear his name. But it's a mission, so we have to do it. And we're light side in it. So. People just leave their shit open. Just to get looted. Five cred. I think the fastest way to make money is just sell some stuff that you're never going to use. I guess I could have... See, the thing is, I bought the Permacrete Detonator really early. The Permacrete Detonator... You, that's in the lower city. That's not here. So, yeah, that's lower city where you do that. Yeah, this game definitely expects you to use lightsabers. I never did a Blasters Only run of this game just because I didn't find it made sense. Oh, here's the party. Hey, you made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. Oh, this dance. It's it, Honestly, this does it. And then the fist pump. It's all in the arms. <laughs> anyway, you guys are all weak. I'm going to go ahead and take your outfits. And I, of course, need five credits. That's what it costs to you, young man, and win your five credits. Sith armor. I will use that to get into the Undercity. Is it Undercity or Lower City? I think it's Undercity. Ready. On it. Sure. It's open. Hi. Please, don't. Don't hurt my family. <laughs> just take what you want and get out. Don't. Don't hurt my family. <laughs> Look, just take what you want and get out. You can't be here. This ain't your home. You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home. I remember when you could live in an apartment without worrying about someone... Barging, <laughs> rummaging through someone's head. <laughs> Whatever it is, you know what I mean. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> oh, grab that ass. Oh, shit, I didn't see what it was. Oopsies. <sighs> Alrighty. I love it, because this is still light side, but it's... Doesn't matter. That'll probably bring us back. Yeah, upper city north. Oh wait, Largo, how are we at, Ready? bro? What? Sorry. Um, what? We're close. We almost have enough to pay off his debt. Unfortunately, we'll have like none. Wait, was there anything? Th wait, did I skip on something? Sorry, guys. I'll try not to spin too many times, but it's it's addicting. Caver, I've done way more than that. I've just recorded a few of them. This is my fourth time I've recorded it. This is the most done a game on the channel, I think, honestly. Largo's apartment, Sarna's. Yeah, that's where the party at. Where that's where the party at. Yeah, this game remains probably one of my most played games I've ever out of like of all time. Okay, so that's where we came from, right? Yeah, Upper City South. We're not going that way. We're going to go take a right. Uh, we're, we're Upper City still. This is just the south, I think. South or north. Whoa, 
What is this planet coming to? Slummy huh? rock around Slummy's the upper city. Slummy's just walking around the <laughs> upper city. Shouldn't you go back to the lower city? <laughs> Shouldn't you go back to the Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Shouldn't you be going back to the lower city? <laughs> that guy gets me. Uh, Box, thanks for the super chat. All right, you get you get to live in the Star Wars universe, but you have to be Dead Eye Duncan. Do you do it? I don't think that's a life. It's not. Keep lying to yourself all the time, you know. Hey guys, we can all be friends. Let me buy you a drink. A drink? Hey, for a slummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this slummy's buying the next round. <laughs> no Except way, not. forget it. No more Rich. drinks. There are drinks. Enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. Come on, fellas, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, Slummy just walk. Slummy just walk around here on the city. <laughs> oh, the droid shop, right? Poo doo. Oh shit, T3 is. Look at T3! This is what T3's. I didn't even look at it, I just installed it. T3's looking savage. <laughs> Customer, come in. Janice, not at your service. Welcome to my Jordan Supply Shop. Always gonna see a new face. Customers already come by. A lot of the terrorist citizens won't even come in here. This shop is owned by Twilik. What are they having against Twilik? You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. <laughs> I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. I see a few aliens around, but most of the non humans stick to the lower city. I've learned not to go on it, though. I try to stay focused on running my school. Selection's a bit limited. My Sith confiscated. The Sith confiscated all my assault droids. Where I got utility journey, you might find interesting. What do they do? What don't they do? They're great at making the equipment starters pretty handy and having to fight small but tough with a surprising amount of firepower. And there's no better code breaker security system place around. Not that I'd ever condone you doing anything illegal, of course. Uh, I want to ask some questions before I do anything. I don't know if I can help you with your questions. I don't get out much. Reverse spending time with my joys to mingling with the terrorist citizens. I'll try to help you. You want to think about those escape pods? People are saying a few of the pods crashed down in the inner city. I believe it on human error. The droid wouldn't lose control of the ship like that. Anything else? I wonder how you feel about the Sith. I don't think much of them since they came and seized most of my droids. I guess they were afraid of someone using my droids against them. Or maybe they wanted to use my droids themselves. There's no such thing as a bad droid, but sometimes they fall on bad owners. <laughs> Any general information on terrorists? Well, I don't know exactly what to tell you. Stick the upper city and you should be okay. As long as you don't do anything foolish, draw attention to the Sith. Some of the upper city citizens are biased against aliens. It makes it tough for me to run my store, but a human like you shouldn't run into problems. I wouldn't recommend going down to the lower city unless you have business in Dapp or something like that. Place over all the soup gangs. What can you tell me about them? I know nothing about a bunch of thugs. Things didn't used to be so bad when they hit Vector the in charge. You even sold droids to them. But now the Black Volker gang is making a bid for control of the lower city. The place has become a war zone. Even some of Davik's people are getting killed off. What do you know about him? Dangerous man. It's illegal on terrorists. He's got a hand in it. And I heard he's a member of the exchange, you know, the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate. I'd say out of Davik's vision if I were you. If you cross Davik, you'll learn that his men are even more dangerous than the gangs. Uh, what else? Uh, wondering... No. Let's see what you have for sale. Let's see your droids. I've only got two. I rebuilt T3, changed my unit for 50 credits, top line T3 and 4. He's not for sale. I'll take the T3 H8. You know a bargain. Don't help all your units. Anything else you need? Oh, I'm no, sorry. I didn't need that. Uh, let's see what you got for sale. Let me see your inventory. All right, uh, I might oil... S oh, wait, okay, let's sell some stuff we don't need. Let's sell the blaster rifle. We have a couple of them, so we'll sell one of those. Now we can pay off homeboy's debt. Uh, we'll sell the blaster pistol since it's basic. Um, clothing is worth nothing. Vibroblade, we have a couple. I'll sell a couple of them. I think that's good for now. Sorry, it, this is just for story. I, I do it, it. It never, ever. As soon as you step out into the sun. 
He got Karker. Okay, hey, it was a little T3 H8 I sold you. It blew up. I came to get my money back. I'll take care of that little crossman crawl. Don't worry. I run all this business here. I don't have to give you a refund, but I don't want to lose cuz I don't have to give you a refund. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. Gotta hear it. I can't afford to make my customers unhappy. Anything else you need? Bye. Don't forget my motto. If you need drug points, Janice, now is your, your gal. Now is your gal. Honestly? That's kind of a shitty motto, I'm not gonna lie to you. Anywho, this racist son of a bitch. Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. Remnant scum, what are you talking about? I am speaking of the hideous looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them. Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti Alien League. The time has come for action. We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. I don't know which is worse, your hate mongering or your ignorance. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come okay. on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. Bye. All right, I think this is how you get into the Undercity. So we're gonna skip by him, and I think this is the Sith. This is a kid standing over here by the Sith base. What are you doing here? Is you one of the Sith? My daddy says the Sith are nothing but bullies. My name is Gorton Kulu, and I'm probably going to die of old age before my cause ever goes anywhere. Yeah, I just wanted to see it. Well, I mean, I'm doing light side right now. <laughs> That's the upside of getting bombed. That's what I mean. All of this doesn't matter. That's a good point. You're, I forgot about Honestly, I didn't even think of that. All right. Uh, let's see. So I was saving up my level. What level am I right now? I'm level three. I remember I used to... Sometimes I would not level up at all until I got to Dantooine. It was tougher, but... We've already gone to the apartments, yes? Okay, well, you know, before we go, I'm actually going to head back to the apartments and pay off Homeboy's debt just to finish that mission. What's up, Addison? What's up, Jalen? My name is Gordon Coley. No one's going to hear the Anti-Alien League in about four and four hours, five hours from now. <laughs> There'll be nobody to spread the word. I will keep your dream alive. Not. What? Uh, I can help you with your... Oh. I don't think anyone... I th okay. Here. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. All right, well, you got some big light side, because we're going to end up doing missions that are probably going to cost us some dark side. So it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, let's see. Let's see. My current mission is Rakul, Pazak rules. Yeah, you don't need that. It'll just be there. Discover Karth's homeworld was attacked by Sith. Blah, blah, blah. Dia's bounty. Oh, right. Lower city, right? That's where hers is. Her, yeah. Planetary information. Some missions never go away. So we took care of that. D yeah, so I got to go to lower city here. All right, 
right, so I think we're good here. We're heading to Lower City now, where we're going to have to put on the... Uh... It doesn't matter what happens. You can continue to wear the Sith armor. And either way, it'll change. So you can, before you talk the to the guys walks among us. that are down there. there. We must act I love this. I love doing this. In particular, I love... I love um, talking to him. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. We're gonna get them. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. Cancel I'm not questions. here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the Taurus Taurus board. I've always liked the Sith, along, the Sith the outfits. The I think they look pretty cool. Papers. I love this. You talk to him. This elevator like... is. It's up. Move. I don't need some kind. Okay. I love uh -huh. it because you, you yes. talk to him and then another patrol going down to the lower city. Eh. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those. With... It's obvious from the way you're dressed. What? You're not... Move along. What are you talking about? Uh, okay. This elevator is off. It's off. Uh -oh. Move along. It shouldn't matter. This elevator is. It's off. Move. No, it doesn't matter. The game wasn't advanced enough to recognize that. A plague spreads through our streets. What? We cannot sit idle. Oh, maybe Karth does. Shit. Bro. Hold on. Party selection. Oh, this pot Let's just try going so. our society. Another patrol in there. Down okay, the we're good. City, eh? well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. We're good. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. We'll just bring him right back. Addison, thank you so much for joining the membership program. I appreciate that. I've never had an issue. I always thought it was funny. Oh, restore content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like what I did before, you could just literally dress in front of him and it wouldn't matter. You have to basically spawn Karth back. Uh, where, sorry. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, right, party selection. Come here, Karth. There you go. And I like what? to switch. Sure. I like to switch out of it as well. It's it's got good dexterity, its defense bonus is low. But I don't like them knowing. Next time we come back here. What? what? No, I'm doing light side. This is an homage to my first run of the game. Back ten years ago. Back to the Babana fodder, the Vulcans are strongest. What did you do, strongest? I love that guy just gets absolutely... We're strangers. Otherwise he says, oh, Sith aren't welcome here or something. Where are you going? Oh, I just completely sneaked him. Well, it's not a, uh, it's not a, um, an actual PS5. They're just covers. They sell covers. However, PlayStation sent me a sent me a copy or sent me uh, one of them now here's the thing guys they actually 
There's a mod, a restored mod, where you can actually search the Volcar base before you even are supposed to break in. So I should be able to go in here. I might just do harvest first, though. Whoops. I just died. Ready. I was sleeping. I was painting. I'll get up shortly. What? There we go. You need to health up, bro. You got your saw. You got sauced. Uh, they have nothing to search. Oh, there you go. I will show you in a second, box. Just chill. <laughs> It's part of the restoration mod. It was like a sub, you don't, it's not a mandatory one. It's optional. Maybe not. I, maybe it's after, maybe it's possible, maybe it's after. Cause I remember seeing a mod for it. I remember installing the mod. It's like, you can go into the Volcar base and search it. Unless what I was thinking of is there's a section that was cut out and now you can search it again once you're in there. I could be thinking of that. Cause I remember reading it. It's like, oh, the, the Volcar Bay. Oh, you know what? Remember that door that you couldn't get past? It's in like the Swoop Bay. That's the door. I'm almost positive. Ready. It's open. On it. Yes. It's open. Get bona. Hey, you can't come Gaba in here. This private apartment. What are you doing here? This place looks abandoned. Keep it one None of your business. Just turn around. And go back the way you came. Don't you know it's good for you. Are you in some sort of trouble? You want to talk about it? We eat the nuts. Sometimes you get mixed up and look. Do you stuff else? Kipuna. I failed. I gotta get that persuade up. Achuta. Wongaku. Place looks abandoned. Chip. I guess I can tell you, you probably you find out of, uh, eventually. Zax is giving bounties away like candy, so I hear. My name is Matrick. I used to work for the exchange, but all the violence and killing started to get to me. I knew I was doing this wrong. I turned state's evidence. My testimony helped me put some of the biggest criminals on Terrace's life. Terrace away for life. But David doesn't like seeing his friends go down, so now he's got a bounty on my head. There's some way I can help you out of this mess. I don't think there's much anyone could do. I'm getting sick of running. I've decided to make my stand right here. Maybe you could turn the tables, you know, have Davik eliminated. Maybe you could fake your own death. I've already thought of that. I even came up with a plan how to do it. I can't hold up while I'm holed up in here. Tell me if I might help you out. The trick is getting Davik to buy it when there's nobody found at the scene. No body found at the scene. It looks like he died in a massive explosion. Wouldn't be suspicious. If I had a call, go back and tell Davik that they were the one who set out the explosion. I think I'd be home free. I have some demolition experience in my own days in exchange. I can set it up, but I need to get my hands on a permacrete. I could get, I'll say I could get you one. They don't need to sell them. I'm gonna search around first before he blows this place, because there's a, you can get. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought there was more than that, but I, I, right, okay. Well, we'll just give it to him now. Here, take it. Yes, should be the trick. There won't be anything left in this farm. There's some scorching on the walls after I set this bad boy off. I love how he arms it. Turns around, walks back to you, casually. Quick, we gotta go! <laughs> Time is set, let's get out of here before it blows. You know, he did. That's quite the blast, don't go back in there, the whole roof might cave in on your head. Look, like, I'm not mad for longer, but I just wanna say thanks. What if you gotta be a dead man? And I don't have to worry about anymore. So good luck. See, they didn't even give me any money, which is some bullshit. He should have paid me for my troubles, I think. I guess I could have said that. Let's just chuck. I like chucking a nade at them from afar, and they don't even know. <laughs> it's so good. Oops, sorry, wrong one. All right, so this is for level four. So now I can actually, I got an attribute boost. I can, I'm gonna do intelligence to boost that because I, I want more skills as I don't get anymore. Uh, I, I kind of want to work on my persuade. So I wonder if I should save it. 
Get Persuade up. I, I might... What does it recommend? Probably Demolitions. Oh, Treat Injury. I'm going to save it for the next one. Feats. I'm going to go 2 Weapon Fighting. Negated. Now that we're at level 4. Improve 2 Weapon Fighting. How come Karth isn't leveling up? Why is Karth... Wait. Why is Karth auto-leveling up? I thought... I, I turned off... Hold on. Setting... What am I doing? Um, gameplay. Auto level ups off. It's unless it's part of the thing. I don't know. Sure. It's black Volcar turf. Black Volcar turf. You'll pay for this. I'm not afraid of you. Okay, this one, I think I remember. See, this one, in order to get this, you have to... I can't remember the order. I'll have to read it. Twisted Rancor Trio. You have to find the order of when they join to get it. I think I'd remember it by now, but I always forget. It's, it's, there's too many things. Okay, where's my inventory? If the plant, yeah, I can get it from Zax. All right, uh, shit, where's my items? Items, items, items. Come on, Dano, use your brain. Here we go. All right, Twisted Rancor Trio, okay. I don't have to read the whole thing, I just gotta get the, all right, so I just, I like to write it down from this, just easier to remember. Okay. So, Alinda, that didn't work. Alinda, right? Is it Alinda? Yep, Alinda. Brains, manager, trio, young singer. Employee worked on the first member of the band. Backer, both Bith named Uja. And then Uji, right? Uji. Okay. Um, okay, let's go back. Band struggled at first, no one cares. Loompa, loopa, oompa, loopa, doopa dee doo. I've got the perfect bit musician for you. Uh, loompa knew another musician, and then it was photo. Now she got a photo. You already know, though. You only live once. This is the bit that you know, though. <laughs> you know, though. Second, reincarnation. Davik, blah, blah, blah. Gilda's agreed. She refused to go to his state. Many felt crumble. Brilliant plan. Right, Ashana. She couldn't sing, but she looked the same, right? So they just dubbed over or something like that? Taking a risk. Okay. That's Yeah, that should be it. Okay, so step one is Alinda. If I could find them. There she is. Click that. Alin oh, hey, hey, hey. Uja. Where are you? Uja. Uji. Is this Uji? Sorry, the timing is. Gotta line it up. Uji. And Lupa, which is over here. Get out of the way. I think this is photo. Yeah, photo. Shauna. Done. Pretty straightforward. All right, it's shiny fiber armor. It's worth it. It's better. It's shiny fiber. It's yes. It's well. It's better dexterity, and it's upgradable. He can now have the combat suit. What? Sure. What's up, Ahsoka? These guys don't have anything to grab. See a titan? These people just chilling. All right, flurry. Oh, wait, I have critical. Wait, what? Oh, I don't have critical strike. Wait, did I get critical strike? <laughs> Guys, I thought I got. Uh huh. Yes. The hell? I thought, oh no! 
Did I accidentally get sniper shot? Bro, I think I selected sniper shot instead of critical strike. Oh my god, bro. What a waste of a- Your boy fucked up. No. I selected sniper shot. Oh man, I didn't realize I made that mistake. That's that sucks. That's a big waste. Oof. Uh. I heard Davix hired a Mandalorian mercenary to work for him. I didn't know there were any of them left. Yes? Alright, if we could wake up, that'd be awesome. What? While he's waiting, we'll give him... Oh, I didn't want an advance. Sure. Oh, for God's sake. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll get that feedback. The upside is we are a... Um... Uh, it's just going to take... The thing is, it's just going to take that much longer to get the... Eventually, we'll have feats that we just don't need. So it'll be okay. What's up, Lloyd? Yeah, it does suck. Skills I'll never use. Yeah. Try not to remind me too much. <laughs> uh I wish you could change, uh, like, I I'll bet there'd be a mod, though, that lets you re like, reselect everything. I'm a soldier, so I'll have a lot of feats to play with. It's better than wasting it in the skills, but... The swoop race coming up will show those Volkers who's in charge here. When we win... Gee, we I thought God told you Leave your problems and attitude at the door. Hi there, not too many people come here to speak to me anymore. Most prefer the fancy surroundings of the Upper City Cantina. Nobody up there carries the kind of Pazak cards I sell. Are you interested? What are you talking about? Talking about Pazak, you know, high stakes gambling. Each player brings their own deck to a Pazak match, and the better cards you have, the better your chance of winning. Name is Araya. Everyone knows I'm the man to see if you want to add some cards to your Pazak deck. What do you say? Got questions? Tell me about Davik. I'll see what I have to start bad mouthing Davik Kang in this place. Not with Zach, so nearby. What about Bounty Officer if you want the scoop? I want some information on Lower City. Don't know what I can tell you. There's a gang war between the Bex and Volkers, but everyone knows about that. Hello, the Bex. Bex are run by men in Gadadek. They used to run things here in Lower City when life wasn't too bad. But now the Volkers are trying to move in. Tell me about the Black Volkers. Volkers are led by Brezhik. He's tough and ruthless and maybe even a little insane. He's also determined to take control of the entire Lower City with the hidden Bex. When the Bex ran things, people could walk the Lower City streets and safely without the Black Volkers are attacking to one site. Watch out for them. Do you have anything about their escape pods? You don't want to be going down there. The place is calling the Black Pools. Do yourself a favor and forget about those escape pods. Besides, there's nothing left in these pods anyway. The hidden Bex and Volkers could have stripped anything valuable in the hours of the crash. All right, want some information on the city? No, I can tell. Oh, da, da, da. Um, tell me what you got. It's no point. Probably not gonna play Pazak. Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelroot. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. Are we banned? A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. There's no justice. My lucky Bazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the upper cantina. Since then, I've been desperate to find a match. If you want to ask questions, if you're ever looking for a All these guys play Bazak. Whenever you go in the entrance, that's where the Bazak players are. One. Two. Go away. Three. Hey, you not talk like that. We just want to say hi to Big Bad Bounty Hunter Kalonor. Nah, no, it's can't be Kalonor. He's supposed to be tough. He's getting nothing but a run. 
One, what did that mean? Be funny, tough guy. You know we are, Cal. We're nervous with Black Ball Car Gang. You don't want to get funny with us, tough guy. Two. We don't understand. One, two, why he count? He's trying to count on how many, how many of us is against him. So you guess one, Calo. What do you think about those odds? Well, we have something more to say. Three. Oh! 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 You know they did. Go away. Say so how you mopped up those Volcars. One. So I talk. Two. All right, I'll be Good off. Smart. <laughs> he, he, he annihilates you if you try to talk to him. So there's just no point. For now, he annihilates you. For now. Uh, do I want to go in here yet? Oh, this one's so funny. All right, let's help her out. Casey, I'm auditioning. It's my shot at the big time. Bona Never screw it up by talking to you. Oh, what's the use? There's no way Bib's gonna hire me unless he gets a chance to see me dance with a partner. Maybe I should just give up. Why don't you have a partner? Last partner Bona left me. She always trying to upstage me, even though it was obvious I had ten times her talent. When I finally told her that she started off just truth hurts. Part of me thought that was even worse. If I wasn't tripping over her staggering feet, I was stuck under his flailing arms. I auditioned less of a week. Maybe I could be your partner. I mean, I'm getting desperate. I hate to blow this audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to participate with a random pass. But how do I know you're any good? I'm going to have to get you through your audition. I think this is easy. What other choice do you have? How can it be? Come on. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Just gotta cycle through them. We've got that certain look about you. Confidence and movement. So I guess you have to do it, but I'm warning you, don't screw this up. This is a rule I have a partner. I'd really like to do this for you again. Kelly, you got one more chance. I'll give you a minute to get your partner set up and see what you got. Okay, I got time to watch them. Three more dances make them count. Call me lead. The more complicated our steps, the closer we dance, the more we'll impress Bib. But don't get too close if you can't handle it. I don't need some clumsy old tripping over me. Try to screw this up for me. Dancing beside her. I find if you just go beside her, it's a little. Simple but nice. Just remember, the strand is the one simple. You only look for top performers. I know I try to be careful, but you gotta give me a little more than that. Next dance is a little different, so watch me in the steps, then jump in. Choo choo! <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> Dancing close beside, it, beside her. This one he hates. If you do that, it basically sabotages. It's not even close. He just goes, yeah! <laughs> she does a fist pump, he just goes, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> good, good, one, two, three, one, two. Nice step, look good, Lynn. Okay, one more dance to go. As long as you don't screw it up, follow me, please. Keep it simple. And then it's a fist pump. It's like a wave the force. It's like... Ruin it by taking a dive. Just dance beside her. It works fine. It's so out of sync. It looks like shit. We look terrible. I love mine, the little hop step. Let it flow through you. I think I get the job. You want me to dance some more? I can do another one if you want. Fox Lady Baby, got the job. Welcome to Starling Entertainers. Really, Baby? That's incredible. I don't believe it. Baby, get your end now. We need to get you fitted for your outfits. Did you start rehearsals? You've got contracts now. Let's go busy, busy. That's all I'm going to start. Thank you. I couldn't have made it without you. I'll give you a big hug. But, well, frankly, you're beneath me now. Like, I'm going to be a star. You're ever traveling the galaxy. See you at Starling Entertainers. Perform some stuff I asked for Lynn. Doing you some free tickets. Yeah, thanks. But you get experience for it. That's really why it's there. Alright, alright, stop babbing. I'm not seeing you here before, human. You are new to the bounty office. My name is Zax. I'm the one in charge. Are you looking for work? There are many bounties available, legal and otherwise, but they all pay quite well. Are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm the one of Davik's best agents. I'm at the hut. I'm the hut with all the answers. 
Uh, you work for Davik. Not officially, no, I work for the bounty office, but Davik paid me to keep my eyes open and report shit, and for me to post his bounties. Davik posts his bounties to the government office, that isn't even legal. They still have to keep a relationship secret, since it's Sith around, nobody cares what happens in the lower city. Davik can do whatever he wants. Enough talk, back to business. This is the bounty office, so we should talk bounties. Are you looking for information? Tell me about the bounties. Two, the government con two government contracts. One's an assassin named Selvin. Others is Bendix Starkiller. He's a famous deathmatch duelist. Between them, they've killed hundreds of people. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of the victims. But not all the bounties are dangerous. Davik got some special contracts. One's for a girl named Diesha. Tackle one Davik's men. Another for a man named Margo who owes Davik money. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Just this is one Justice thing. is one thing. But doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. And then there's Mr. Matrick. He used to work for Davik. They even trade the exchange. Now Davik wants him dead. I'll put all this information in your data pad. I want to collect. I want details. Tell me about Selvin. Government bounty is very dirty and dangerous. When she started, she was just another killer working for Davik. Then she began freelancing for the highest bidder. One day she killed six citizens in the street and their bodyguards too. They were all Ogos. A powerful merchant family from many enemies. Selvin was hired to kill a whole family. She was very good at her job. Each day more Ogos died. Poisoned it and shot down in the street. Guards and droids couldn't protect them. After a month, there was no Ogos left on Terrace. Not one. I'm pretty sure Selvin doesn't spawn until you speak to her and then you have to go to one of the apartments. Never find out who's hired Selvin. It was never proven, but then all of those were dead. The Organa family demanded the government put out a contract on Selvin. They said nobody was safe as long as Selvin was still free. The Organa family were powerful rivals of the old ghost. Some think they were the ones who hired Selvin, and then tried to have bounty hunters kill it and keep the secret from them. Terrorist politics aren't your concern. Here's the bounty hunter. You kill Selvin, you get the credits. The bounties. Bendek. Government contract, but he's a legend on Terrace. He started out as a duelist in Ocantia and never lost, but he only fought death matches to kill hunters in his day. The death matches got banned, duel rings switched to non legal combat, and Bendek wasn't ready to retire. He kept dueling on the illegal underground circuit and kept killing people. Finally, the government had no choice but to put a bounty on him. Bendek's a big folk hero. Not too many try to collect those who do wind up dead anyway. Uh, I want to ask you about the uh, one of the other bounties. This girl, Dia. From Davik's private bounty, she used to be a waitress in the cantina. Had to fight with Holmes, cut the drive blade, almost killed him. That was a mistake. Holmes works for Davik, he's not one to let her get away with that. But he's recovering in the medical bay, put out a bounty on her. She's been hiding ever since. I get the feeling there's more to this story. Maybe it doesn't really matter. I get the bounty from Davik's men, I don't expect you ask Holmes if you want more. Okay. Uh, tell me about the merchant Largo. Now I think about the bounties no longer on the table. Davik told me Largo's bounties on the table. I guess the merchant came up with the credits. There you go. I came up with the credits, let's be honest. Uh, I've got a bounty. Uh, tell them Matrick is dead. I believe you. I've heard reports of a rather large explosion. Some of my people saw you buy the Permacree. It's good Matrick's dead, but maybe you'd want overboard. Next time he's a blaster, not a bomb. Here, 300 creds. I want 400. Uh, Alright, you do good work. I gotta get that Persuade up. I need information. It's not free, but I'll tell you everything. Give you 50. Work for Davik. Blah, blah, blah. I need information. Seems high. Sith so Courtney makes hard to earn credit, so Davik gets mad. Okay, give me 50, but don't tell anyone I'll give you a deal. Now you've paid the fee, you can come back and ask questions anytime. What do you want now? Uh, tell me about the escape pods. You shouldn't bother with them. When they crashed, the Black Volcar gang went there and cleared them out. If there's anything valuable inside those pods, it's the Volcar base now. I need to get into the base. Why? You need to get shot full of blast rolls? Or the Volcars get into the Volcar base? Unless maybe the hidden backs can help you out. You got a problem with the Volcars? You see Gadden Theft. He's the leader of the Bex. A rival gang. He's a smart man. Maybe he can help you. Uh, tell me about the lower city gangs. Two gangs, Valkers and Bex. Used, used to be the Bex ran things, but now Valkers have a new leader. Regic wants to take over for himself. Valkers are out of control. They've sealed their base and they're shooting people in the streets. Sometimes they don't even pay Javik the money they are. Things are much better when Gadden and the Bex in charge. Gadden's a smart man, he knows how to keep peace. Maybe the Bex win this gang war, things go back to normal. More info. Um, Somebody can get off this planet. Sith quarantine has grounded all the vehicles. Everyone wants to leave, but it's just not possible. Davik has passed the ship in the sector, but even he can't get off the planet. The, the Sith fleet is orbiting terrorists, and they use auto-targeting cannons. If the ship takes off, those cannons will disintegrate it instantly, unless it had broadcast launch codes. See a box. What's up, Alan? How you doing? 
what codes. The city has launched codes when they leave the planet. If you transmit them from your ship, the auto-targeting cannons will fire you. Only people with the codes can leave terrorists. The Sith keep the codes locked up in a safe and military base. No one gets in there. Too dangerous. Even if someone did get the codes, where are they going to get a ship? No, there's no way to get off terrorists. You need a ship, the launch codes, and even the Sith fighters will chase you down. We're all stuck here, even Davik. Tell me about him. Busy man, he runs lower terrace. Well, the Sith came and he almost ran, ran upper terrace. Two, extortion, slavery, smuggling, data controls the world. Big part of the exchange, a big intergalactic crime syndicate. He'd be smart to stay on his good side. Even the Sith know better than to pick a fight with Davik on Terrace. I want to meet him. <laughs> you can't meet Davik. Nobody does. Unless Davik wants to meet them. Even I only meet Davik once. Let him go. He's the king of the lower city. He doesn't just walk around here like you or me. Davik stays in his estate and names three agents. Like that big man, Lorian Candor's Ordo. Okay. Um, I think that's about it for him. Bye. All right, we got a bit more. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Little girl should not be bothered. There's no place for a little girl. A little girl smart. She running away at home now. Who you call a little girl, Chuba face? Little girl needs less than her manners. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Fish are busy. They just brought my food. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise. So get over here. We don't want trouble with Wookiee, our problem with you, little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Little girl, lucky she has big friends. you and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Hey, we speak the same language. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalba. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... How do a Wookiee and Twilight street urchin end up as best friends? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. I want to ask some questions. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Uh, tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate. But I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course... This is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davik and the exchange. Sorry, y'all. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Bolkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gavin Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. 
Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Vex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Uh, did we ask about that? Yeah. Kalinord. Kalinord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalos has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Okay, I'll be going. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No Step action Lido. around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> I'm finished eating. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. All right, we will see them a little bit later, naturally. This guy was always weird to talk to. What do you want, human? You kind of stare like the others on Terrace? You think we're strange? Want to ask some questions? What kind of questions? What planet are you from? You could say it. You don't have the ears for it. Two boys create the name, and four years hear the true sound. We're kind of call us Sorges, a small world far off the Berlinian trade route. What kind of creature are you? In your one voice song, we would call our kind Power Dwarf. Tell me about your home world. Talking about our home only makes this quarantine more difficult to bear. Forgive us, human, but we do not wish to be reminded of it. I notice the other head doesn't say much. Nothing you would hear, at least. Kind of, uh, what do you, do you know about Terrace? I'm only stopping here to get supplies for the Sith when the Sith attack. They imposed the quarantine on all ships that land on Terrace. Now we're stuck here in a world that hates not humans. Not a good place to be. Alright, good, leave us alone. That's literally that, that's all they do. That's it. He's literally there just to talk to you for a couple minutes. No, not even, like, like 30, like 60 seconds, yeah, like one minute. Well, well, if it isn't, hold it. Annoyingly, I don't have... Huh? What? Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? You're the guy who put a bounty on Dia's head. Wait, who are you? My name's Holden. Maybe you've heard of me. I work for Davik Kang. You work for Davik? I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows he can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. Pretty open about what you do. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Think Davik can get me off Terrace? Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even the Ebonhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money. But even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. You're the guy who put the bounty on Dia's head, right? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Why would she do that? Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. And I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh, but it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Sounds like you maybe maybe got what you deserved. Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. I want it removed. What? 
I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. If you hire someone to kill Dia, it looks like you weren't mad enough to kill Wait. I don't want to say that. Don't worry. I'll stick to my end of the bargain. There you go. He's I'll well. go tell Zax right now that the bounty When we go back up table. to take out what's her name? You get light side points, but unfortunately. Okay. Karth, you gotta move. We just did a full lap, so. They want me to go to the hidden back base now. So I'm actually gonna. I mean, if you do the dueling ring, you take out Bendak, you can. You can, like, capitalize on that. What's up, Suzumi? Appreciate you. Alright, so this will get you in the Beck base. I'm not ready to go there just yet. I'm gonna help the Becks out. Oh, like a mad L there. I'll do another you one. Asked for this. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I don't think Davik doing anything for you, sure. We do all the work. Davik claims he's part of the exchange. Let's see him prove it. Now let's see the big crime lord come and get his money from the black bolt cars. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, Candorous. We didn't know you was working for Davik now. And we were just moving around here. We don't want trouble with the Mandalorian. It's Davik's cut. I knew you boys would see Weasel. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. The Candy Man. He is the Candy Man. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden becks in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Alright, I think this leads to, yeah, another set of apartments. We'll go in there. Actually, no, this is where Selvin is. My bad. She's actually in one of these apartments, not the upper city. I love how Cal just, like, wipes the floor with people. She seems to be taking great interest in our progress. You need something, little man? Quiet, Lugar. That's Cal North. They have a bounty on her. Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. The only way I'll get collected like bodies of our cold dead bodies. That's the plan. I love they just take it. Like he just fights the bullets. Looks at you. See you later. <laughs> I mean, it's actually the prototype vibroblade, but it's part of like a weapon skin. more to this oh wait can i actually go down to the swoop oh i think this is part of the the mod the cut mod because the swoop platform is only accessible from the story so i think this is part of the the restored oh my goodness me hi hi 
I don't know why teams keep letting riders come in with those experimental new swoop engines. If this place ain't spotless for the season opener, Brezik will have his thugs beat me within a hair of my life. Gotta sweep and clean, gotta have this place sparkly shiny for when the crowd... Some bizarre cards. Oh, right, there's nothing really down here other than that. I can understand why they cut it, it's kind of basic. Because it's YouTube. There's all, like, it's weird, like, the bots will, like, react differently. You know? It's like some of them, like, you'll get, like, tons, or, and then you won't hear from them for months. You know, there'll be nothing for, like, months. Shit, they're gonna move. That's always a waste when there's a car for chance of that. I'm getting choked about that critical strike, but then again, I use a lot of... Uh-huh. Wait, how come he gets... Oh, because he was already a level 4. Right, that's why, because he starts at level 4. And then you can upgrade him, that's what it was. So he gets demolitions, but I'm already a demolitions guy, so it doesn't make sense for me to upgrade anything. He's a soldier too, is he not? Disable that mine. This black ball card, you'll pay for this. Dude, I'm not worried. Let's go! I want, I want critical strike back, man. It won't let me grab. Oh, because I'm calm now, right? Okay, I'll finish writing this down. Oh. The candy man took care of it. Not the candy man. The card took care of it. Read message. I remember this. Hey, Elam, how's life on Terrace? I heard your brother left for tattooing to become a miner. Did he at least say leave Hyperdrive behind to keep you company? I've been out practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember when I taught you? Because you might need it. Terrace isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. Okay, so it's like, uh, there's a code for it. So I'm going to save. So you need to know Louie, Uncle Louie, Hyperdrive... And I can't remember what else. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, try to enter the password. Okay. Name your pet. Hyperdrive. Who taught you to fire a blaster? Uncle. Family come from Alderaan. Easy. All right, Republic mod armor. It's it's unique, and I actually don't know if it's better than the Ichani armor. It's not, but it's upgradable. So if we, that's right. I would always give it to Karth because the combat suit's only a four and a five. It's a five. And it trades, but this one's upgradable. We need a workbench, really. Do we have anything better yet? Not really. I think we'll get a workbench fairly soon to upgrade. Some of the armors. Again, I don't think mine mine's really makes sense. Didn't work. Oh god, didn't work as I run through it like an idiot. Uh-huh. Yes, what's on your mind? Good time to ask you more questions. I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? I'd like to know you better. Oh, well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why don't you say so? Relax, it isn't an interrogation. No, I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. 
Some things just don't end up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Like when you said we first passed, I don't have time to use your powers. True. Bastila is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm just... Yeah, I'm just a soldier. I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. What's so odd? You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. Why would she request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. What do you mean by surprises? I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Are you always this suspicious? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? I consider this important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Fair enough. You got to talk to these guys Ready. whenever you can, because on you'll it. forget about it. It's open. And they won't be able to finish their story. Here. Oh, this is Selvin. <coughs> Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Who are you? No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. It's not, I get though. to ask the questions. What's up, what Thomas? are you doing here? I was just exploring. I didn't know anybody was here. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, yeah, I'm doing light side. This is a nod to my original run life. back in the day. I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone, but I guess you're see, just she doesn't too really give you an option. to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. I guess we will. Frag grenade. Oh yeah, very dangerous. She's getting her ass kicked. See, the thing is, it's not like, well, a defenseless person. It's like, okay, Selvin's dead. We finally have some goodies sure. we can use. Neural band, which increases, increases our will saves. And we also have an energy shield, our first one. And of course the adrenaline amplifier, which is two reflex saves as well. There, now we don't look like a nerd at all. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Hi, big guy. This guy's just walking around with a blade. I love it. They understand how it is. Oh man, I just dominated him. They'd be good at harmonizing. Oh, the forces are walking. Right. They don't see us. Armor. So yeah, the, I know one of these has a a workbench. I mean, this guy's got a that guy's got like a fiber blade and he's just standing around, not helping. Thanks a lot, buddy. I don't appreciate it. I think I opened this one already. I'll still check though. Okay. All right, that's the way back. Let's just make sure we've got everything we need. Selvin's apartment. Well, you know she did. So let's go back here. Karth, Selvin's bounty, Bendex. We gotta get Bendex. Douche killer. Dia's bounty. I have to tell Dia, so I have to go back up anyway. I mean, if I'm going back up, the thing is, what level am I again? Uh, 
Uh, I forgot the quick key for to go to the map or to go to this. I'm level four, so I can. I think I should probably go to level five, and that should be it. At that point, you know what I mean. And then save the rest of the level ups for Dantooine. I know it's gonna be a bit of a tall order. We'll see how we hang. I think that's what we'll do. Is we'll see how we hang. The winning rider cheated. Was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Oh. Oh. We got a power attack. The power attack slaps against the uh, combatants because they can't really defend themselves that much. As he switches up, no matter though, he's getting the sauce. Thanks. Yeah, we can always rapid transit back. What? Yes? I might wrap a transit back. I might try and fight in the dueling ring as well. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. I have some I'm questions. Here to you can't. Not unless you're on official Sith business. And if you were, someone would have already given you the papers. All right, it's so funny if you say that, you can kill him. But, like, they just replace him with another guy, and you keep saying things like, do you want to know what happened to the other guys who were guarding here? <laughs> uh, All right, yes. anyway, I'm actually going to go... I mean, I'm supposed to go back to... Shit, what am I doing? Um, return to hideout. We'll do a quick return to the hideout. And we're gonna go find, what's her name again? Dia's a part, she's the first one to our right. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, let's actually go back in the hideout and we, because there's an upgrade bench there. So we can actually upgrade, I think, I don't even know if we have anything for the armor though. I don't know why, this is so pointless to keep anything stored. That, look at the defense boost. There's nothing for... Is there anything? No, there's no more mods. Uh, how about this? Anything for my... Anything new? Okay, go back. How about range? Give cart something to... New scope? Give that a talk. Attack my modifier one. Every little bit helps. But now we have a defense bonus of two extra, so that's seven. Some areas are a lot slower. Really, the next thing I have to do, though... Wait, who was... Who, wait, who was the bounty? Like, who had a bounty again? Oh, no, we, we helped them already. It's Bendek and Selvin and Dia. So Dia we're, fit, we're squaring up with. You're back. Did you did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? I spoke... I convinced him to remove the bounty. He, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute, I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. Thank you. I can never truly repay you for helping Take me. what you can, because you you're going to get enough light side points. Did. I could have gotten some light side points. I can't remember what she gives me. It's just a family heirloom. Or sorry, it's just an energy shield. I think that's all she gives me. What? Probably should have told her to keep it. An energy shield, like, I don't know. Don't! Don't hurt my family! Don't be a punk bitch! Alright, Upper City South. I wonder if I should go back to the dueling ring. I mean... I don't think I'll be able to beat anybody yet at my level. But, I don't know. Maybe I should since I'm here. That way I don't have to double back 16 times. Again? Yes, what's on your mind? I want to discuss something with you. You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? Talk about these issues. We didn't finish our conversation. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. 
understand where I was coming from. Let me try to explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Sounds like an excuse? Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people. And, uh, it just won't happen again, that's all. I'm doing two-handed lightsabers on this one. Do you want some guarantee I won't betray you? I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. You're beginning to wonder if you're capable of trusting anyone. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. I don't see you need someone. Wait. You sure you don't want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? What, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Mm hmm. Let's see if there's anything to sell. Well... <laughs> um... The Vulcan Shock Sticks, I thought they were worth a lot. I never use them, so I'm gonna sell that. Short Sword, it's not worth anything. I'm not sure if he's using one. Oh, there's a Heavy Blaster. I should look into switching that out. Okay, I'm gonna sell the blaster pistol. Parts, they're not worth selling. Stun ray, no. What does she got? I would occasionally buy like a. Uh... The ritual brand's a two bladed, uh, or like, it's a double bladed. Double bladed sword is pretty cheap, but honestly, considering the. I thought she had a vibro sword somewhere. I would usually use that as my main. There it is. She wants 120 for it. It's 2 to 12. It's not that much different. It just guarantees 2 damage instead of 1. Minimum 1. So we'll go back in here. Normally I'd wait to like... Well, no, I don't always normally. I would usually come back. In my last few runs, I just took care of all the duelists right off the snuff. I'll do what I can. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat them all in one go. Because I still have to get to level 5. I'm so choked, though. Oh, here's Bendek. I'm so choked that I haven't... Or that I bought that wrong one. That I got the sniper shot. It's such a waste. It's not even something I would use anyway. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. What are you talking about? What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendek Starkiller. The most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. How come you don't hang around with the other duelists? I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've been watching these new kids in the ring, but I haven't found anyone worth my notice so far. Still, if someone could beat all these other pretenders, I might give them a shot. I'm back as soon as I beat these other duelists. Good luck with that, kid. You're gonna need it. <laughs> you sure you want to get involved in this? Seems a bit pointless to me. Up to you. I want to make money, bro. It's about credits. Hold on, I just want to see something. No, I know I don't. Just kidding. All right. Alright. I might be interested. I already talked to him about this. Alright, I'll do it. Good. New blood for the ring, but you need a nickname like Ice or Dead Eye or Twitch. Good nicknames make people bet more. Hmm, what's a good name for you? You know, for all you new here, people won't recognize you. I know. For now, I need to do a ring. You're known as a mysterious stranger. I like it. 
The Mysterious Stranger is a perfect name for you. Got no past, no history. Makes you seem like you have some big dark secret people like that. There's so much like foreshadowing. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endor Spire. Ready for a duel now? You want to seven the ring right away? Sorry, with that I don't get. I'm ready. Yes, you fight, people bet, and I make money. It's all good. Only one rule, no one dies. When it goes down, you don't finish them off. That match is legal. You knew it, this will start you off easy. You get to fight Dead Eye Dunk. You ready? Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time, he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Dead Eye Duncan! And in the other corner... Uh, I love how I don't have, I have the audacity to not face him. It's like I don't even... Emerging from the shadows the with no history, no past, and no name! The Mysterious Stranger! Let's go. He's already down. One hit, one kill. It's over! The fight is over! I mean, the mysterious stranger has won! But really, are any of us surprised? Jedi losing is in huge. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. Don't worry, I'll work on it. I don't know if I can hang and take out Bendek just yet. He's gonna be a tough cookie to crack, I remember. I mean, there's a level up for us. Skills. I have two skills, so I can go with Persuade, which is I wanted what I wanted to boost that. Feats. I, I See, I'm so annoyed that I, I wish you could retract this. That sucks, man. See, I selected that thinking that it was this. I don't know why. My brain just... I selected the wrong thing. So I, could have been, I can go with Improved. Power Attack. Normally, I would. By now, I'd probably be going by imp for Improved Power Attack. But I got to go with Critical Strike. It's going to be good for Heavy Armored opponents. Jesus, yeah, these these are getting bad. I'll I'll turn it on. Like they're they're just spamming. Like I love how YouTube doesn't, um, hold on, YouTube doesn't have. I'll just do a short one. I'll do we have one minute. YouTube is like not doing anything to fix this shit. You know what I mean? Anywho. All right, so I'm gonna try and hold off at level five if I can. It doesn't matter, you don't need to. You'll just get more force points. But since I'm not really a force user, I wanna see if they have anything to say about me. I love watching ice in the ring. Oh, never mind. Uh, oh, get out of the ring. By the way. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Yeah, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Some questions. questions. I don't know. Look, I admit it. You're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged attack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Yeah, I'm happy now. Slime. What do you want? You have bad oh, attitude. Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist on Terrace, could it? Even a rookie like you got the better of me. Look, I admit it. Is that what I'll just oh, be going. Oh, well. Okay. I'm not... I'm not... I, I have no ill will against him. He's just terrible. Is it possible to lose it? I think I have, actually. I think I lost on purpose. You get paid 10% of the first. 100 creds. No, I think... I, honestly, he says, What? He lost to Dead Eye? And he doesn't shut up about it. I think I did it one time. One or two times. People like you. They bet lots in your last fight. They'll bet more in your next. I'm ready. Handle Duncan pretty well. I think you're ready to fight Gurlon. Just remember, Gurlon uses blast in the ring sometimes. Ready to step in the arena? Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon. Everyone in the crowd. I still have no respect. I'm gonna face the wall. Because he's gotta do it like this. He's gotta be no like. No past, 
And no name. You know what I mean? He's not the mysterious stranger. Looking at the camera last minute. Because I'm mysterious, right? Kobe. Oh, man, he got the ice. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has Girl won. On no testes. Girl on like losing it. to a rookie. Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time I Twitch will was really easy. Tell. The hardest one was Marl and Ice because they were melee opponents. But Twitch was pretty easy because he's long range like exclusively. Anyone who was long range was harder to beat. Or easier to beat rather than uh Hey Gerlon. You beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. Alright. I just realized we skipped a save because I already had a save game five. Alright, I won. Thank you. That's 200. And you get more and more credits the more you fight. Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready for ice? You she's tough, but so are you. There'll be lots of action. Are you ready? Big purse. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman, a woman with steel on her bones and ice, ice water, water in, in her veins. veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. Hi. You love her. Ice. ice. And in the other corner, oh, I have a little bit more respect. I'm, I'm moving clockwise. A little bit more. <laughs> I give you the mysterious stranger. I love it. He's like, all right, I'll show her a little bit of respect. I gotta just zigzag pattern, zigzag pattern. She will switch to the blade. We might go crit strike. I love how they don't heal up. Oh, I didn't even need it. Oh, there you go. I got it with that one. It's over. The fight I thought Ice used the double bladed, but I think that's the moral. Mysterious stranger has won. Ice is knocked I'm saving my nades for the harder Looks guys. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. It's me up there flying. You've seen him lose night after night after night. All right, let's go talk to Ice. She's going to be like, um, <laughs> leave. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth. So I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. All right, Ice. Good fight. Yeah, hold on, same thing. So 300 creds. 400 creds for Marl. Or seven in the ring? Yes. It's going to be Marl now. Simon fought Marl. He's getting up in years, but he's still very, very good. He's still a dual champ. Let's do it. And then it's Twitch. I remember Marl was harder than Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for I actually for started you. the old Republic of the a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. But I Let's ran into issues with it. I just got annoyed with it. No. Maybe I'll go back. But there's always some Less young respect. one coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you the mysterious stranger. stranger. All right, Marls. Uh, yes. <laughs> If I can get him, like, stuck. I'll do a couple of power. I gotta watch my health. Whoa. 
Time to run. Stop! Okay. Oh, he kicked me right in the face. Time to run. <laughs> See, yeah, we're getting tougher, but Twitch will be easier to take. There we go, we got him. A little bit more dice to It's up. over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Flurry is good, but it also no lowers your defense, no. so it leaves you open and in these stages. Oh, so you use it later on as I get better. Is this the end for the long-time vet? Is it time for Mal to hang up his spurs? And what of the mysterious stranger? Twitch is waiting in the wings! Do you dare take a shot at a champion himself? Will the Wild Eye Wonder finally be unseated? Most likely, sir. Marl just looks like he's in a lot of pain. He's got mad arthritis. You're good, stranger. Maybe even as good as Ben back in his prime. There's no shame in losing to you. But when you beat me, you made me realize something, kid. First, it was just Twitch I couldn't handle. Now it's you and Twitch. Pretty soon, there'll be another young hotshot clawing past me in the rankings. This game's been good to me, but my time is done. I need to get away from the duel rings for a while. Think things over. Goodbye, stranger. I wish you all the best. I love how he tiptoes in his Jordans on his way out of here. Oh, I gotta heal up. That was dumb. Okay, let's go do all the Twitch. Oh, I might need to buy some more grenades. Everyone, I think you're ready for Twitch. Twitch might be crazy. He's the best in the game. If you can beat him, you'll be the new champ. But he's strict, like I said. You have him at a disadvantage. Ladies because... and gentlemen, draw your eyes um, to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic, and he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch! Twitch, I should be, an an be able to annihilate with the power attack. Down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks in this corner. No the respect, though. I'm even more to the left. The dueling champion, the mysterious stranger. I just gotta dodge him. I think, anyway. Oh, he switches. Gotta bail. He goes long range again. I forgot he switches. Ah, see, that's the problem with Flurry at this stage. My two weapon fighting is not good enough. Let's just do regular attacks on him, actually. Gotta go. Can I use my shit from here? I'm almost out. I'm gonna have to buy some more. Oh, he's almost done. Let's just chuck a nade at him and call it a day. There you go. <laughs> it's over! 
Huh. I'm gonna have to buy some kit, though. Twitch's reign of terror is over, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new champion, the mysterious stranger. I'm paying homage to um, paying homage to my first run, so I'm um, soldier. How fast you could even beat Twitch. Congratulations, stranger. New dual champ. Twitch had a good run, but took him down. Here's the first. I don't have anyone left. You're too good. Nobody will get in the ring with you. The only one left to fight is Ben Neck, but he's retired. Too bad. People will pay a fortune to see you fight him. And I think you make like 800 creds for that. I gotta go buy some kit, though, man. I am. I'm running out of meds. I can't remember if you can just go to. I, I can't remember if you can go to anybody to buy them. Or if you have to go to the healing place to do it. That part I don't recall. I'll talk to Ben, like, Nocock Starkiller over there in a second. I just gotta go... Um, I'm gonna go buy some grenades, I think, from Kevli Yurt. I might have to go see Buddy about... Yeah, a thousand. You can get a... Oh, yeah, if you, like, persuade got for sale. I got a good chunk of cash now, over 2,000 credits, so I can buy something a little bit stronger if I want. Actually, everything here isn't as good. It's got better dexterity, maybe, but my current upgrade is a 7 defense without, with, by having a good, like, you know what I mean? So, it's like, it's pretty good. Um, sorry, what do I need? Grenades, yes? Did they, wait, does, it, does she not have, yeah, she does. How many does she have? She only has one grenade? Bro. She has one grenade. That's insane. Okay. Let's go to the map. Yeah, see, I wasn't sure if the clinic was in this area. It's in the south. It took all the rest. Yeah, you can have one grenade to sell. I'm gonna see him about healing me up for Welcome free. Back. It looks Thanks. Welcome back. Um, got for sale. I'm gonna buy some meds from you. How many do you have? Infinite amounts. Twelve. Twelve is probably good. These are immunities. I don't need immunities yet. I don't think. But the thing is, shields are useless against melees, so they'll be good for the starters from him shooting me. So I can just chuck grenades at him. I mean, I, I think I now have three grenades, so I'll probably start by throwing grenades at him with the shield enabled. It's only two that has the advanced classes. That was something they added at that point. The way they look at it this way, you had a basic class, and then they had the Jedi class. That was your advanced class, was the Jedi class. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this, but... We shall see. I'll save before... I like to save a lot. I've been watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? You're on. Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Whatever you say, Bendak. Bend over, Star Killer. All right, I better save it. For I think they let you fight. I can't remember if you have to come back at some point. I think you do, so I'll just save again. Heard the news. You will pay a fortune, but why are you here now? Deathmatch takes time. Alright, I can't do anything with him, right? Alright, we'll I'll have to come back then. Okay, so what's, let's take a look at our missions. Sorry, I always mix up where to go. Dueling ring. 
Karth, yeah. Rack so yeah, we have to I think our next stop. I mean can I I can go drop off Selvin's bounty, I guess. Oh, wrong turn. I think I'm this way actually. What's up, Reza? Noah, thank you for being a member for the last 25 months. Ever since the first KOTOR, eh? That's crazy. Thanks, man. Yeah, I remember you saying that was how you found me. Howdy, Jason. How you doing? Unfortunately, because of where we are, we have to take the long trek back, which is... It's going to take us a few. So we have to go through, like, each level. So we have to go over here. To the... Back down. Now it's Upper City North. Then we got to go to Lower City. I don't have the papers yet, so I'll have to put on my outfit and put Karth away again. I honestly didn't even think of that. See, I'm debating on still leveling up or not. I don't really know. But we're doing good. We're doing great for progress. Oh, he still wants to talk about it again? Yes, what's on your mind? Wow, that was fast. I want to talk with you. Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? I'm always up for a good fight. So I've seen. <laughs> if I were Malik, I'd be a bit nervous to have you on my team. I just don't trust easily, and for good reasons, which are my own. We still have to work. But we have to work together, Gus, so it has plenty to do with me. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud of serving them. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it, if you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? What do I have to do with Malak and Revan? It's not that, it's... That's not what I mean. There were, there were others, good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. You say that with such hatred. I know. I know. And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. Yes, what's in Okay, we're actually getting a lot of progress out of Karth on Terrace. Normally I didn't speak to him till down the road, but it's important to talk with them frequently to unlock their special missions that they have with them. Because if you don't. Yeah, it is. Same voice actor for Caden. A plane spread for our streets. Canadian bloke. We can all see What's up, Arlo? What? Yes? Shit. Alright, uh, sorry, man. Oh, maybe I can just walk by now. I don't know if they'd stop me. It's hard to say. Favorite companion from KOTOR 1 and 2. Oh, jeez. I don't, I don't know. Um, I tend to switch. Fairly frequently. I actually like at from Oh that was dumb. Yeah, I like at a lot. Let's go! But I tend to use I'm just trying to think who I use the most. Freya's great to have in a in the back because you can have passive Jedi powers, like have her just using Jedi powers. You know what I mean? So it's really handy to do it. You asked for this! For KOTOR 1, it doesn't really matter. I tend to like, uh, Mission's good to have. Jolie's good to have. Get that song. Nothing from them. 
Oh yes, of course I've watched The Mandalorian. I don't even really know anything about it, Bill, so I don't know yet, but... Great, I gotta go in here and get... What's her name's, um... Thingamajig. Her bounty. I might as well med pack up. Alright. Got a bounty. Tell about Selvin. Selvin's done all the other bounties went after and ended up dead themselves. You know, you did well. Trainer credits. You can you can get it out of him. I probably hold on one second. Three hours twelve. I might have to fight him again. Actually, is there a time on it? Oh, and I'll save a new one, and I'll see the where the auto save goes. Yeah, fourteen. It might be. Eh. Nah, it's fine. 100 credits isn't worth reloading for. Uh, is there anybody else in here? I've, I've pretty much sorted a lot of the side stuff already. Hey, Carlton. Doing good. How are you? The one thing I never really did was Pazak. There was like a Pazak storyline, I think, in KOTOR 2, and it was brief. You had to, like, work your way to the top. That was on, uh, Nar Shada. I'm doing two, two hey, hand lightsabers. you can't just walk blue. in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? I need Gadon's help. I'll still to speak to him. Lots of people want to speak to Gadon. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero yes, of the I common have folk. But the days of the Hidden Vex open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Valkyrie gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Maybe I can be an ally. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Valkyrs or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Do you gonna let me in? Go in and speak to Gadon if you want, or we'll be watching you. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. Thanks, appreciate you. Calm down, Zedra. I like to snoop around a bit, but you can't open the wrong door. They will get a little salty about it. That is something you gotta watch out for. I love how I immediately walk by them. Like, I'm just gonna go in here. Oh wait, I think if you open certain doors, like they don't care about this. Like, it doesn't matter, you can literally help yourself. But the thing is you can, if you, it depends what side. If you're one of us, Gadon might be old and blind. I don't follow him, Turco like Bredrick. Cause if you, you would only go here if you sided with, um, with Bregic and the Volkers. And yeah, it's just not necessary. Before, I'm just gonna keep searching though. Cause if you ain't searching, you're lurking, right guys? Cause if you, you could use Ready. a security door to open this, but they will open fire on you. So it's definitely not worth doing. Unless they're like, hey, we can give you access. Anything that says security door, they will be alerted. They just know. I'll still say before I speak to them. Hold it right there. Oh, just kidding. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm, Calm down, down Zandra. Zandra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on site, Zerdra? Like the Vulcas do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. 
as you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker Spy. Now I can save. Why am I going all the way around to talk You'll to him? You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Your problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrus, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. I need some information on those escape pods. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Dora, I'm not working with the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. What will happen to her now? Well, normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. There has to be some way I can help her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Gaiden, can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. How am I supposed to get into the Vulcan base? Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Where can I find Mission? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. I've got some Sith uniforms. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City guard. But the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. 
All right, here you go. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I want to ask some questions. Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. Is there something wrong with your eyes? Uh, very tactful. Are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zedra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. That was As you even can that see, rude. I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulkers. What do you mean? When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch-rivals, the Black Vulkers. A lot of the younger gang members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. Why well, start a gang war with the Bex? Brezhik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Vulkers. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know you're right, Zerdra. Brezhik won't rest until I am dead and the Bex are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. What's Your time else? would... Oh, they always scold you like, you should be doing something else. Having problems with this A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. I if think it is Zoe Saldana, actually. Here, That's a good ear. All the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. Ask questions. When I lost my sight, but oh. in a... Is there any way off this planet? Not while the Sith quarantine is in place. Even the fastest smuggler ships can't break the blockade of the fleet surrounding the planet without the proper launch codes. Any ship leaving the terrace atmosphere without the proper codes would be instantly disintegrated by blaster cannons fired by the Sith fleet's automated targeting systems. Something You're... else. That's it. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. All right. I love it just saying what happened to your eyes. Like just saying that is like how dare you? It's like and he's just like yes, there to calm down. Uh, I'm running it on uh, Windows 10 Wendigo, and I'm not having an issue. You have to you have to do a few more steps to get it to run properly, though. There's a lot of mods, but it's really not that bad once you really just kind of get the ball rolling. Okay, um, where am I going again? Let me just double check my... Bendex, oh, yeah, we're waiting on that one. Alright. Oh, I missed out on a pack. I'll take it. But now we can go to the Undercity, because... We have everything we need. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. You want to buy something from my store? I've got some good deals. Hold on there, civilian. Only unless you've got... I got my papers. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. I can't remember. I, I like to get the outfits. I know there was a way you could get them from the party, the girl who who passed up. But there's another way as well. 
I remember I would the party one was always the second option I would go. There would always be another way I'd get him, and I can't really recall. You there, upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Who are you? What are you doing in the end of that, in the city? We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Here's 20. Go buy some food and clothing. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name's 10th Anniversary. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? Oh, I love it. I'm, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Surface is a beautiful place. I've never been to the surface. Just rub it in. Sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so, so, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never. Yeah, I think have. you're right, Snipes. Yeah. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil, who's that? Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like What's to up, listen Bill? to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Promised Land? It's it's just a story to make little children smile. No, it's not. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Where can I find him? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side his of the village. His stories take forever. He doesn't move too far. To get through. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. You'll questions. probably get more information from Genda. Do you know anything about the escape pods? I don't know anything about... Uh, have any other Wap Worlds came through here? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Uh, tell me about the village. Well, I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really like to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or... Okay, thanks. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. Truth. I got extra light sides for that, because I gave them 20 credits. I don't know how I'm gonna afford anything anymore, but... <laughs> just... And yeah, the promised line, you can actually Mommy do Mommy says it. all the Upworlders is selfish and mean. But you look nice to me. Kid, you're too trusting. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've 
Got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. Like to buy something for my like store? To buy something for my store? <laughs> I've got some good deals. How do you manage to run a store here in Undercity? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. All right, ask some questions. Oh, you All right. Why doesn't Gendar like you? Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so it should be share and share alike. Isn't but that But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the Upworlders. Why should they get anything? Well, if they're providing... That's a pretty selfish attitude. Hey! You don't know what it's like down here. I have to claw and scrape to survive. Nobody else will look out for me. But Gendar doesn't agree with my philosophy. He caught me hoarding supplies a while back. I figured I'd wait until food was scarce and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But Gendar made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. He keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. All right, let me see it. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. It's got some Achani battle armor. It's basically the same thing, but it is what I've got, but it's not upgradable. It's got a vibration cell. Most of the stuff isn't worth it. Extra awareness boost. See, some stuff is... It's funny how sometimes they have it. Yeah, see, her, her, her Vibrasaur, or his Vibrasaur is cheaper. But it's 90 credits. Do I want to spend 90 credits on that? Yeah. Uh... Two to twelve versus one to it's just not enough. It's not that much. I'll leave it. Okay, before I go to the edge, I don't want to go trigger that event just yet. I'm not gonna talk to Shalina because she won't ever shut up, so. I remember you really have to search all the areas here. Alright, Gendar's our boy. Honestly, R Rukil, he takes forever to talk to, but... Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Why do you live here? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village, as my father was and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. What a horrible way to live. Life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on, and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rukil. The Kill. oldest man in the village. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's growing weary of this world. He dreams of escaping, of finding a better world. If you wish to speak to him, you can probably find him wandering about the village. As I said, a kind man, though he does cling to his illusions. Tell about the Rackles that live down here. The Rackles are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. 
Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Vale. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the Rakuls and the other foul creatures. Ask, Ask questions. your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though... Uh, tell me about the Rakuls. The Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Questions? Did I ask this already? We are the outcast. Yeah. I, Questions? Something about Our other village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Okay, As going. you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best they are to very help Gollum -like, you however aren't they? I can. Okay, let's get this over with and talk with Rukel. You, you come from story, the world so. above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. What are you talking about? Question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinklekin, the children call me sometimes. I'm ten that <laughs> What do you want from me? Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she's gone, too. We have to get... I remember we have to get, like, two uh, diaries. One's out in the... Like, just outside the outskirts. One's actually in the sewers. So you have to go to the sewers and double back and give it to them. What does that mean? No. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. How do I do that? My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. I'll help you with this. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I'll be back if I find anything out. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak I to me again you, once yeah, you have wish... discovered the fate of my apprentice. I wish they had actually done something for it, you know? I thought he had Greetings more information. I want to ask some questions. Fine. Okay. Yeah, he won't tell you anything. I forgot, he tells you later. Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Who are you? I am Isala, healer of this village. 
I use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts who are sick or injured. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. Who are you talking about? The or villagers about? infected with the Rukgul disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would Can destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. Yeah, Jason, uh, but this is like a Bioware game who also developed Mass Effect. They used a lot of the same actors from this game into Mass Effect. Must be something someone can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the rat ghoul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. I'm gonna go through those gates, try and help them. I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder. But if the infected ones have already transformed into rat ghouls, you'll be walking into your grave. Doubt. Okay, Back talk again. again. Ask if, some questions. I need healing. Thank you. I forgot she can do that. Please help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. At any moment we could. You get stuff from here. I thought. No. This cannot. Be... No. <laughs> The rat ghouls were no joke. Oh, I'm gonna break free. Time to rumble. We'll slowly get hit. Come on, come on, come on. Down you go. Go get him quick. Turn you down. But we're also infected. Please, please, you have to help us. We beg you. We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. We can't end up like them. I'm here to help you. You, you'll help us? Oh, bless you, Upworlder. Bless you. But you must hurry. We have the rat ghoul disease. It is only a matter of time until we are transformed into terrible creatures like those who attacked you when you first came into the pen. It is too late for them. Soon it will be too late for us, and we will transform into those horrible rat ghouls ourselves. I'll be back when Please I find a cure. Hurry up. Don't forget about. Do you. Do you. I'll be back when I find a Please cure. Don't. Okay, so unfortunately. Back again. Okay, I think we're good to go now. We gotta trigger this to happen. I'll save again, just because I know shit can go wrong if you're not careful. Just chilling. Help! It's right behind me! Help! <laughs> hurry, Hindar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. See, that was cut content. Normally it doesn't I show told you, him he like, was a fool stuff. to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all. No, you can't do this. It isn't fair. Please, make him open the gate. Hindar will die if he doesn't. I can't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls are so near. I'll deal with them. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Hurry! While the gate is still open, you must save Hindar. Oh, that's cheese. Come on, Karth. 
Wait, what the hell? I didn't know Hendar could die. Three hours, 28. Okay, well, that sucked. I honestly did not know that he could die there. That was a waste. Hopefully I can skip this. Oh, I can't skip this? Damn it, bro. I didn't realize. Oh, that sucks. I'm going to make a new save then after we see this. Help! It's right behind me! Help! Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. <sighs> He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! I never said I would I, play that. I can't! The rep the and if I No, please! I Hurry! While the gate is still open, you must save Hindar. I need him to attack me. Come on. That's a base switch. There. Hendar's alive. That's good. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hindar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. There. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish I, I fear. Don't Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave right actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Who are you? I'm Trellin from the Outcast. Trellin village. the pussy. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. I'll ask some questions. <laughs> I just guard the gate. All right, bye. Go Let's go. Okay, so if I remember correctly, your best bet is to kind of just go to the left first, kind of work your way around. Please, you have to help me. Damn it, mission. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Slow down, mission. What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find. Just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. You know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. Um, if I help you get Zalbar back, you have to help me get inside the Vulcar base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Vulcar base. We finally base. have a full now, party. Now, come on. We have to find Zalbar before they sell him to slavers, or worse. Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. All right, sweet. Uh-huh. Ready. Huh? All right, mission. Let's get you leveled up. Actually, what's this going to recommend? Probably her intelligence or dexterity. Yeah, dexterity makes sense because she's going to be smaller. She has to avoid stuff. I usually just did recommended. Because, I mean, they're all, like, single skill. Because you can't max out anymore at this point. So let's just go to our inventory. Her clothing ain't gonna be... Oh, wait. She... Yeah, we can give her a combat suit. Regular blaster pistol. Mission's fiber blade. I usually gave her melee weapons. Uh, what else? Anything else? 
Yes? Okay. See, so yeah, I can get to the lower. I know there's a. Hold on. I think this will just make you run into like. Maybe it was right to left that I needed to do. No, I wasn't. I'm just gonna go to the lower sewers to see where I think it brings you into a back area. I'll see if I can recover this. Ugh. Yeah, this was a. I'm actually gonna ignore it because this is. Okay. Get out of the way! Oh my gosh, they're gonna get their ass again. We're leaving. Actually, they're kicking ass. Oh, cards are kicking ass. This is a way down, but I, I usually didn't like going this way. Ignore. We'll eventually come back this way. There were two ways down here. I know one of these areas, one of these locations, um, brought you... Sorry, one of these areas brought you, uh, why can't I think of it? Um, like to like an area you can only access from the outside. Oh, it's the candy man. Normally he's rolling, see how this mod changes things? Normally he's rolling with uh, like Sith troopers. Like they're in the, I mean they still are, but they're in like outfits, right? Don't, they're in the Sith armor. Don't move. I'm, I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn I think this is the restoration mod. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Hmm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Why? This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm mistaking a different. Looks like we've got company. Yeah. Get those blasters it's sorry, ready, Sorry, I'm thinking of a different encounter. I'll just let yeah. them deal with it. Oh, they're getting dropped. I, as I say, I want them to deal with it. Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. What do you mean by that? Davok sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. What can you tell me about Davik? What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. What do you know about the lower city gangs? This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs. But the two most important ones are the Hidden Bex and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Bex were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them, but I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent their own salvage party down here. 
Come on, boys, let's move out. I think they only got oh, it's one guy left. See, I wish this the map is not that's the one thing the map is too small it's supposed to be bigger there must be a mod I can install though all right I am in rough shape see I have enough health yeah ready what what all right uh, I usually just do recommend it for her. Feats, sneak attack. Let's see what it recommends. Gearhead. To repair security and computer use. And then I would usually just build that up. Why not? Use it early on. I'm gonna save my grenades. Here. You'll pay. There you go, it's nice. And then they go run off on their own. Mission, you're gonna get your ass clapped. Like, stop. Attacking. How'd you like that? There you go. That actually went pretty good. I think this is the one with part of the... Yeah, the promised land. I have to find another one. You found one in the journal. Yeah, her corpse. You returned to tell him of her fate. I mean, that's... The thing is, though, you're supposed to look at other stuff. Uh, no, Gareth, no conflicting mods yet. Everything's running pretty good. I've been kind of using, like, recommended setting, or recommended mods, you know. There's quite a few that could cause a problem. I don't know if this is worth doing. Ready. What? There, it could take care of some of the rat ghouls. Don't blow. So I'm not a high enough level for that then. One second. Let's make sure I get the back corner. Ah, oh, I walked around here. Oh, did I already grab these? Oh, my bad. I'm a su Yeah, yeah. Okay, just checking. I think using that I think I think using those repair parts was stupid because now the thing is patrolling, it's got no one to kill. Well, it might make its way over. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's the opposite way. So that's as far as it goes. I think that's why it was always so long. I would always like grab the journals. Like there's another journal outside here. And then there's another journal inside the sewers in a specific location. But it's near the entrance. The back entrance. Uh, how do I want to tackle this? I'll go this way. I should be able to disable the mines. 
He's just setting them up, and I'm disabling them <laughs> right after he disables them. This is one of the this is the this is the the pod that we were asking about. It didn't work, you idiot. All right, well let's take him out. Wait, don't kill me. I surrender. I surrender. I'm talking to him from another part. You better ask my questions if you want to live. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Who do you work for? I work for Brezhik, head of the Black Volker gang. He told us to kill anyone who came. This is part of cut content around. as well. Were there any survivors at this crash site? There was one survivor, a female Republic officer. Bastilla or something like that. Brezhik took her back to the Black Volker base as his prisoner. How can I get there? You can't. Nobody can. They'll shoot you on sight. Even I couldn't get you in. They'd just shoot us both if we show up there together. There has to be some way in. Well, we could talk to the hidden Vex. They're our biggest rival. They might know some way to get in. Look, that's all I know, I swear. Please, just let me go, and I promise you'll never see me again. Okay, get out of here. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm out of here. All right, we got some light side points for that. I mean, Dick Lips over here decided to. I'm almost actually out of, uh, there's no point in disabling. Actually, I, I don't remember. Did you get, I can't remember if you get, uh, experience for disabling mines. I think you help, do. Help me, please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing like some kind of hideous disease. See if I can find something to help no! you. No! Doesn't no! matter what you say. I can feel it! Ah! I'm gonna run away. You asked for this! Alright, just focus. There you go. Let's go disable the mine. Fuck it, let's get the experience. You literally had one job. Bro, I literally told him to go over there to disable and he walks through it. Oh my goodness. That's a special kind of moron, isn't it? That's our village gate. Alright, yeah, this is where the Sith Patrol is. And they have the Rakul Cure, I thought. It's funny, I love how you let him walk all the way up to you before you can reply. Look, I've got the security papers. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. He said he lost one patrol already. Oh, is that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Where are we going? Yeah, sure. The commander won't be too happy if you come back empty-handed, right? Well, the same thing goes for us. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant-infested hole. Move out! I think in order to save those guys behind the gates, I think you have to get them a Rakul Serum. But if I remember correctly, you do come across two. One of them has to be duplicated. If you give it to them too early, they don't get to use it. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, the that's why. That took us 
small <laughs> owl. I remember this was kind of an interesting part of the game because, like, you were kind of like... Oh, jeez, I walked right... Because you're kind of at the point where you're kind of weak, but, and you don't really have as many as you really... Good job. Nice job, yeah. mission. I think this guy has the, uh... Yeah, he's got a few things. The Rakul Serum. Huh? What? Karth gets an upgrade, which is important or a level up because... See what it recommends for him. Sniper shot. Honestly, that was something I was gonna pick anyway. I always like to see what they have for us and then I go from there. Wait, did I get the other one? I must have. Okay. Let's go to the journal. You've acquired a sample. This could be very valuable to the right people. Here's the thing. This is the this is the area I always went yeah. down. Ready? What? But I think what we're gonna do. I don't know if it makes sense or not. We'll see. Do I have anything to upgrade? Wait. What? What? I keep doing that. Um, heavy combat suit is five and four. It just trades it out. However, Mission's Vibroblade sure. is um, upgradable. Uh, sorry. I'd rather give it to me. Three. F yeah, that's so much better. The prototype V-Blade is like money. I thought there was more, but I guess not. Three to eight damage, it's not bad. Well, let me talk to him until. Yes, what's in your. Want to continue your discussion? I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Did it feel better if you discussed not it? Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. See his grief. Name sounds familiar. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything They're not getting rid of the sequel trilogy. Are you kidding up me? To him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. You didn't think he would betray the Republic? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. I mean, even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. No, they're he not. not. Left they're us not getting rid of the Sith. He gave them the codes to no bypass way. our scanners. Doesn't work I remember that way. waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. Do you really believe that? I don't know, maybe. He might have killed me if I tried, or I might have killed him. I was stupid, however, and I let him go. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. That's terrible. I feel awful, awful for you. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But, but I don't, don't want to talk, talk about, about it right, right now. now. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> oh, Karth. Hey there. What can I do? 
and a little bit more about you. Really? You want to know about me? Might as well Nobody's catch up with really again. been interested in me before. What do you want to know? I need to help our hookup. Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. You want to pick a fight with a Wookiee? Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them. So maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you core slimes, and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Smacking a kid, those Volkers have no class. Hey, I'm not a little kid. I'm almost four. I'm 14 years old. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, don't treat me like I'm a little girl. I ain't no kid. I'm 14 years old. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. What do the other two Volkers do? The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay upwind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, We've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? How does Zalbar end up on Terrace? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. How'd you survive before you met him? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? No, you think so I can't, you can't take care of myself? Offender. I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my Grew own. Grew up on the streets. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z's a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. He was fl Oh. Okay, let's get yeah, back to the task I suppose ahead. you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. I didn't know you had a brother. My brother is a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? All right. Well, we gotta catch up with this, you know, with them as much as possible. Unfortunately, I went that far, but I can't remember if he gives you a sample to give to people. You know what I mean? Like the when you go, to, you give it to what's his name? He find I, I just don't remember. Because it takes time, but I thought someone gave you, like, a, uh... Shit, I probably... Right, he gives you samples. That's what I thought. Where are you at? Where's mission? Ready. What? Yes? Nope, stop, stop, stop. There. What's up, Lucas? 25 months for you at the premium level. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Graphics are on point. Yeah, I, I put it. It's all a bunch of graphics mods and, you know, skins. I mean, it can only go so far, but you know how it do. Uh, this one is a nod to my first run, so it's... I'm going to be doing shades of that since it's been so long since I've actually done a light side uh, Jedi Guardian. And we're going to do the hey, two Paul, sabers as well. You're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Taurus would rate pretty low. The prejudiced, rich, spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them. It's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm, maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. 
Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Geez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. <laughs> Settle down, both of you. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. Oh, teenagers. All right, let's go. You shouldn't have done that. Gurney's going to be a dick about it. Welcome back. I have the serum. You have the serum? Impossible. How did you get this? No, wait. I don't really want to know. Can... Can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Here you go. Hmm. Let me see. Yes, this is it. A cure for the rat ghoul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I could afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. Are you sure you can spare a little something extra? I'm sorry. All right, thank you. I need I some med packs. I appreciate everything you've done. There are many who would have sold the serum to the crime lord Davik for a much higher sum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh... Well, this is a hospital. I have it. See what you got for sale. Rock cool serum. I can't remember how many I need. I'll buy three. Blow it! If you'd brought that rat ghoul serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. No, you had to go and do the honorable thing. Oh yeah, what an ass. Is this switch? Follow the little thing that's on the screen. That should tell, give you your answer. <laughs> no, I'm on PC. I don't own a switch. I don't really see a reason to have a switch personally. Like from my perspective. I'm not saying people don't get it. Uh, hey, Karth, can I, Again? can I talk to you for a second? Are you ready to have a civil chat? Or is this going to be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. Ugh, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm, I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, considering all we've been through. But I shouldn't take it out on you. Well, time you two Mission, made up. You have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Carter. Well, it's no big deal. I, mean, I know it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... <laughs> Oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Car, for an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing. Now, they're having a lot of conversations. I don't think these guys were here last time, so I'm just going to walk up on them. Aren't they bugging the Sithorian? I'm in need of assistance. Humans keep hitting and kicking me. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak. You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. That's racist. Help me. Maybe these offspring of your species will listen to you. Leave the authority alone. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Just because he's different doesn't give you the right to attack him. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Thank you, human. I was returning from a visit with a work associate when these child humans attacked me and chased me through the streets. Should be okay now. Oh, wait, here. I got a med pack. Too kind of you. Thank you for your generosity. Once more, thank you for saving me those human children. I must take my leave now. Well, see you later. I mean, it's not the first time Star Wars dropped some serious shenanigans. 
with children, right? We are firmly aware of what could potentially happen. Uh. Again, man? Oh my god, are we ever gonna get back? Hey there. What can I do for you? Talk about your brother. I, I was a little snappish when we last talked. I'm sorry about that. I get a little touchy when it comes to Griff. It's kind of embarrassing telling people about him. Why? It's complicated. Griff wasn't the most popular guy. He had his faults. But I still loved him, you know? Sometimes people don't understand. I never knew my parents. My brother always looked out for me. He's the one who brought me here to Tars. I was just a kid, only five. But I remember the trip, if you could call it that. We were stepped inside a packing crate in a Starfighter's cargo hold with just enough food and water to make the trip. Not exactly first class, you know? Your stowaways. I don't know the whole story. I was pretty young, but my brother owed a lot of money. Might even have been a few arrest warrants out for him, I don't know. The only way to get off the planet was to smuggle ourselves out. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like we were criminals. Well, maybe my brother was. See, this is why I don't like to talk about it. It makes Griff sound worse than he really was. My brother had his problems, but he always looked out for me. He's family. Stick by your yeah, family. That's what I'm trying to say. Without my brother, I don't know where I'd be. He gambled and drank, and he was always borrowing money for his latest get-rich-quick scheme. But he had a good heart, you know? He taught me how to survive. He showed me how to slice into a computer security system, how to get inside a locked building without the entrance codes, and how to spot a wealthy mark for a quick shell game. Pretty handy skills to have, Mission. Yeah, Griff did right by me. I really miss him since he left. I keep hoping he'll come back someday. He promised me he would. Why did he leave? I don't I don't want to talk about it. He fell in with a bad crowd. It's all Lena's fault. Lena, yeah. She's the one who took him from me. Just batted those long lashes at him and off we went. Who's Lena? I don't want to talk about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subject's closed as far as I'm concerned. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? No. Okay. Bye. What are you talking about, Jason? This elevator is it's off. Why didn't you six? Just Bye. I don't need your permission. We're all a part of the crew. We're all Sith, can't you tell? <sighs> Unfortunately, it is a bit of a trek back, but it's not too bad. Plus, I can get bonus experience and light side points by speaking to the or giving the, one of the rock cool serums to those uh, those people. And then we'll finally go down to the undercity. Yeah, it is best. I want to try and like, cause yeah, if you, if you get to Tatooine and you talk to Mission, that way you can actually find Griff. Jason, that's not, that's what you're apologizing for? Like, who cares? <laughs> no one cares if you haven't played this game before. You're good, man. I don't, I don't need to get upset. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly, I mean, I guess I could drop part of the diary. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Do you? I have brought you a serum. You, you have a cure? Please give it to me, please, quickly, before it's too late. I have enough for both of you. Quickly, I must inject it before it is too late. Yes. I feel it working. Oh, I feel the disease burning acting. away. It, it's like a miracle. I am cured. Thank you, Upworld. I should have bought a couple more. from a fate worse than death. I only wish I had some reward to give you. Maybe you can find something worthwhile in the wreckage of that Republic escape pod. What are you talking about? Not long ago, an escape pod crashed in the Undercity, far to the northeast of the village. We were going to try and salvage equipment from it, but we were attacked by the rat ghouls and infected. I'd tell you more if I could, but our salvage team never reached the pod. 
It's probably still there, unless some of the other Upworlders already found it and picked it clean. We should go now, Upworlder. We're anxious to return to the village and see our families again. Thank you once again for everything you've done. Good. I'm just going to go to my inventory, actually. I'm going to look for the Rakul Serum. Uh, where is it? How many do I have? Just one. Shit, hey? So I should, yeah, so that I didn't get any samples. The ones I bought. So you had to cure each person. I'll give him one of the journals. Greetings once more. I have a journal. It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in I think the it's service cut of content. our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. I didn't know where it is. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. Very well. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface it's of this long. planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use, and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Is that how you came to be down here? Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace. A life devoid of all hope but one. The Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to, so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps, with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. I have one of the journals. Yes, Upworlder. Well done. However, I see that this journal alone does not have enough clues for me to solve this mystery. Too many pieces are still missing. I'm afraid that only with all three journals, my grandfather's, my father's, and my apprentice's, will I be able to discover the location of the Promised Land. I will leave this journal with you for safekeeping for now. Perhaps it will aid you in your search for the others. I wish you luck, Upworlder, for the sake of the entire village. Okay, I see I can level up. Here's the thing, I could start like waiting at this point. Shit. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. I meant to bail out. 
I didn't want to get to level six yet. Oh man, I might have to. I might save that then. Shit, guys. Okay, well. I'll have to take a level six then. I wasn't planning on that. I, I thought I could back out. I'm going to try not to level up anymore going forward. I saw you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends about the promised land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. What are you talking about? For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. I could be so self-centered. Don't judge me. I learned a long time ago that if I want to survive down here, I've got to look out for number one. The two explorers who went searching for the promised land might have found something. They might have found clues or evidence, just like Rukul's apprentice. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the explorers and the one from Rukul's apprentice. Then... I can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. Forget it. Don't be a fool. I'm the only one here who can pay you for those journals. Rukil has nothing. He won't be able to come up with any kind of reward. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me and I'll give you a decent reward. Now. Was there something else you needed? No. Yeah, okay. You'll come back. I thought two of the journals were out and about. I thought two of them were, like, you got the one. But I thought there was another one, but I don't think there was. I think they're both inside. I'm going to double check the escape pod because she said there's something there. But there wasn't anything there. So you should go check off by the escape pod. Maybe there is, though. Let's just double check. Nah. She just gave me worthless... That's why it was... I think that's why it was cut. It's just pointless. You, wait, you get experience and light side points. That's about it. I think the rest are actually in... Uh, I think they are inside. Like, in the sewers, I mean. But I'll just do a quick search. Oh, did they spawn them back in? Yeah, they spawned a couple in. That's a bit douchey. one is. Did I get the Skeletal Corpse? This one, there's just a ton of Gamorreans under here. Time to rumble! Take it like that! Actually, I think this is one of them. All right, this is, isn't this where Zalbar is? Civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? I got those security papers. Papers? Don't wave those in my face. Anyone can forge papers. Call me crazy, but I'm suspicious of anyone wandering around in these sewers, even if they have papers. Then what's Unless the point? to take you in for questioning, you better tell me what you're doing down here.
Nice try. Time for you to. Ugh. It might be a fail. Time to run. It's glitching out. Finally, I hit him. Let's go. Oh, that's some bitch, eh? Time to rumble. Finally, we got him. Where are you going? Where'd he go? We have low rolls right now. Yeah, that's the downside. With two weapon fighting, you have low rolls. How'd you like that? Alright, he's down. That'll do. Okay. He just had frags, but honestly, frags are good in this section. I remember opening this door, like, with the regular game and being like, there's nothing in here. What's the point of it? Oh, I think this is where one of the journals is. How'd you like that? And then the other one's on the other side. How'd you like that? You asked for this. Yeah, and then the other one's a little further down, but it lets you go out the other way. Promise line journal and a glow rod. Yeah, so we're on the right track. And you ha and once you get it, you do have to double back, or you have to go up that ladder section. You know the one where I came down originally? You have to go back up. It's like a shortcut. Actually, I think this is where the exit is. The one on the right side. Okay, where is it? It should let me... I think this is the way into the Volker base, actually. This way is anyway. That energy shield leads to another section of the sewers. The entrance to the Volker base is somewhere past there. I've got the codes to lower the shield, but we have to rescue Zalbar from those Gamorian slavers. Don't worry, we can come back after we find Big Z. Okay, I don't know if I can keep going. I think I can go through here. Yeah, see, this is the room we would have entered. Yeah, see, this is the alternate way in. So if you want to be quick about it. But this one actually diverts off. I think it's actually one of these ones that actually has... Um... I think it's one of these ones that actually has the final journal. Yeah, it's in this one. And then, yeah, I remember it being close to the ladder area, so we can just literally double back. This is the last journal here. Alright, we have enough to return it, and there's no point in dealing with the droid. I find it's... You can handle everyone else on your own, so you're better off just... not. I know going back the other way is, um... is something we have to do, because it reaches a dead end. So I'm just gonna go with the ladder. I'm a little worried though about, speaking on that remake, I'm a little worried that they're actually going to make uh, the game, I mean they did that on purpose so you didn't have to go all the way back. But I'm worried they're gonna make the game um, a completely different story. I heard that the guy, the guy who like who's in charge of direction didn't like the initial KOTOR story. I'm like, is he on crack? Because the story was amazing in this game. It was so well written. So I'm just... Where the fuck is he? Out of the way, you guys. Dude, I'm stuck on them. I wasn't planning on going this route. 
All right, here we go. Let's finish this up. Greetings once more. Um, the apprentice is dead. Wait, what the hell? What the hell? What? Bro, we've already. I have all three journals here. Take them. Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? Nobody went into the sewers all this time. I can hardly bear to look. Get past them. Hmm. Yes, yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the promised land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. I'd be stoked if it played True like Fallen Order. What do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! What? No. It can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The promised land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakul infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. Goodbye, Rukil. Good luck. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny you is yet to be chosen. But the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. I wish it did show something. I know, like, obviously, if the Promised Land is on Terrace, it's not possible, but... Like, everyone's gone, so... I think Homeboy's here, and he's like, you... Oh, no, that's the other guy that says, you blew it. This guy... No one's in the base. Everyone's gone. So, we're gonna go back to that central area. Is it... Hold on. Oh, it's off to the left, right? All right, so we're actually going to go back to that main area before we continue in this region, because I think this is the way it wants us to go. Yeah, I think more. So we want to go to this Lego that's over there. Because I think that's a dead end, and it's just for a collect. It's like not a collectible, but it's a pickup. So we are en route. Things are looking Gucci. See, so yeah, I, I it's either this door or the next one. I can't. I think they all end up joining up at a certain point, but I like to search anyway. I love how he's dizzy after he's dead. Even in the afterlife, that boy's spinning. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, how? Oh. Hate missing. That's what happens when you're playing. Like, take them out. Mission looks like she could use some. I actually think this is where. This is where. Yeah, this is where we were. So let's go ahead and get Zalbs. I think this is where Zalbar is, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna go for the improved critical strike next. I would usually get improved flurry, but I think for most, power attack and improved critical strike. Or power attack and critical strike are the ones you want. Look at this. This is one of those old style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on Terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. I might roll with Don't Mission worry. and Zalbar for I've this next bit. I rigged up a little device that should do the trick. Big Z! <sighs> You're a for eyes, Mission. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. <clears throat> Who's that with you? 
These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. Gonna be Zavar, I'm 10th anniversary. <laughs> you know, language my people swear among your speech, I'm impressed. You have saved me from a life of servitude and slavery. There's only one way I can ever repay such an act a different form of slavery. I will swear a life debt to you. A life debt? You sure about that, Big Z? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. I'm sure mission this is an issue of great importance to me because of our great physical strength. Well, these are being used as slave labor on our own home world. They see us as brutes and animals to be exploited. Over the years, slavers have taken many of my people. We must always be on guard against raids against our villages. When the Koreans captured me, I thought I was doomed to a life of servitude. I have been saved from such a fate, and the only way I can repay that through pay that is through a life debt. Big Z swearing a Wookiee life debt to you? Wow, this is major. Do you realize what it means? Some kind of loyalty vow, isn't it? A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. In the presence of you, I swear I'll life debt. Forever I will be by your side. 10th anniversary, maybe. I still struggle with my own name. May my vow be as strong as the roots of the great rush of trees of Kashyyyk. I'm honored. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big C goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. Glad to have you aboard, Mission. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Boca base. That was the deal, wasn't it? We're gonna Don't go worry. snoop around first, guys. I know guys. a back door into that scum den. Good. The sooner we get there, the better. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers You don't actually have to have Zalbar with you. On terrace, but I'll keep him with us, because he's a brute. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Ranker monster isn't still there. Ranker, are you serious? There used to be a Ranker monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge. Luckily, the Rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. It's not really an option, let's okay, go. Okay then, off we go. Well, like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just I thought she look said for northeast. the shield, and we'll know we're there. All right, big zalbs. All right, we're gonna roll with these two. Yeah. All right, skills. He's all about his repair. They're putting it into computer use. Does that make sense? Because isn't mission computer use? Ah, whatever. You never know when it's going to come in handy. Feats. Let's see what it recommends. Critical strike. That's something I was going to do anyway. Does he only have one level? Yeah, but he can't wear anything. So really, we can just give him a new glow rod. It's a cheap handheld light of limited range. Does It, it actually does damage. I guess I have to give him a vibra blade, hey? Unfortunately, that's all he's got. I, he can do two weapon fighting, though, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see. Where's his abilities? No, he doesn't. Wait, does he have two weapon fighting? No, he does not. Not yet. Wookie toughness. What? What? That's where it is. To the Undercity, right? What? Simple. Gotcha. Simple. Yes? Uh, ah! Run right away! <laughs> this Zalbar's got so much strength, so it's just like... I think this is just another alternate way in. If I remember correctly.
I feel a little bit more comfortable now at this level. Like all, I'm starting to slap some cheeks out here, you know? Alright, this is another door that I didn't go through. I think they initially tried to, like, have a way out. Yeah. But then they moved it. Yeah, see, that was the route that I didn't continue on. Alright, so let's go back to this. Yeah, you'll get a couple of these outcroppings like this. Just like that. Not much. I remember KOTOR 2 did a much better job at, like, inventory items. Like, there was just way more interesting things. I remember when I got, like, one of those unique robes. I can't remember what they're called, but they've got, like, they're various kinds of robes, but they're kind of green. And they, I remember unlocking that super early in the game. Like, super, super early in the game. And, uh... Hey, Big Z. We gotta do something about like, your like breath. When we, like, I no, we wouldn't have had ropes yet. It's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? They did it. That wasn't a guest mission. That was a prisoner. I don't think they cared much about what happened to me. Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. I did manage to take a chunk out of the air of the guards that wanted too close to the cage. It tasted awful, so I spit it out. Ew! No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorians smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. Please do not brush your teeth, Mission. It just isn't done. The humiliation will use on me next to comb. Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. I'll take care of it as soon as I can, but for now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. Huh? Huh? Simple. Gotcha. Darn it. Gotcha. Darn it. Oh, right, I forgot. It, there's no there's no penalty for damaging, for bashing open a weapons locker. You get broken items in KOTOR 2, and this one it doesn't matter. Security was just quicker. Oh, here's all of Zalbar's stuff anyway. Sure. Sure. Well, I missed a lot of their goodies, hey? They weren't appearing right away, though. Okay, where are we off to now? Sorry, I just want to check. Back to the... Not the Ender City. The force field. So this way is where we're going. Let's make sure we're good. Wait, wasn't there something? Never mind. It should be an option you have, Mark. It was bashing has been in there forever. It's the dot of time. You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black Volker who had a little too much to drink What's in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. All right, the upper sewers. They're a little bit better than the lower sewers. They don't talk, you know, they're a little snootier up here though. Not too snooty though, because it still smells like shit no matter where you go. I love when they got rack rules and like everyone's just like here and they didn't start fighting and they realize like oh shit these guys shouldn't be here either. All oh, these guys shouldn't be here.
No, it's not. This is the this is the original Kotor, but it's just, I've just got mods on it, so it looks prettier. I know one of them was a dead end, and you could it would just bring you to get gear. Level six. I'm gonna hold off on leveling up, I think, any further until I get to Dantooine. That way I could save some of them for, you know, get more force powers. I, I'm gonna go with the Jedi Guardian route, so I won't be getting that many force powers anyway, but still. Just putting in a computer, you say? And whatever they recommend, I think, makes sense. Oh, she doesn't get computer use. Oh, my bad. I thought she did. She wasn't. My bad. She's demo stealth awareness. So she can... Re Wait, I should be letting her do it. She can recover. She can recover mine. Or mines. I really should be doing that. My bad. I wasn't even thinking. I'll make a save. It's been a while. I love how much faster everything saves and loads on PC, you know? Oh, let's go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way. Don't do it, don't do it! You stupid jellyfish. You big stupid jellyfish. What? Yeah, if you go down, that's kind of... What? See, I saved up to get one more Persuade, but once you become a Jedi, it becomes a single-class skill, I believe. I'm doing light side. This is paying on, a, like, this series is paying an homage to my first ever let's play on the channel for KOTOR. Hey Big Z, don't take this the wrong way, but lately I've noticed you're starting to look a little bit scruffy. Scruffy, what are you talking about? Hope you aren't suggesting I take a bath. No, I'm not suggesting a bath. I know how well that went over last time. But your hair is getting all tangled. And uh, if you look close, you can see a few gray strands starting to poke through. You're making this up. I groom every day my hair is not tangled and it's not going gray. That one looks fine to me. Don't worry, Big Z. It's nothing I can't fix. A little trim, a splash of coloring, and you'll be as good as new. Best looking Wookiee on the planet. Maybe a nice suit. You don't trim a Wookiee. You don't color Wookiee. You certainly don't dress a Wookiee. I know. Wookiees aren't into the whole clothing thing, but you could start a whole new trend. You'd be on the cutting edge. Leave me alone. Okay, okay, sheesh. Try to offer some constructive criticism, and this is the thanks I get? Let's move on. You can just stay naked and scruffy for all I care. I, d I think he's fine with that. Right, this is where I remember when I would do this originally, I would just kill the thing, and it never really like triggered. Yeah. It never occurred to me that. Um, what? Yeah. I had to. Uh... Oh, she is wearing the. Okay. So this is what you got to do. I I could my my small like. 12 year old brain couldn't figure out what it was getting me to do. No one's gonna see this mission. Unfortunately, they made it. And then I think in KOTOR 2, they added a stealth run. I'm just gonna ignore it for a minute. We're gonna go ahead and take what's in the corpse pile. Grab the frag grenades, and then we're gonna put in, uh, we're going to give one grenade, and we're also going to give a synthesized odor.
You can either, you can, I think you can use a frag mine as well, but he eats the grenade. So. It's just so much faster doing it that way. Sure. And I think you could bash the, uh, the Rancor. Yeah. And, and now you can run through them. They haven't changed that. I always thought it was funny. You could one hit bash his ass and that's, that's all it took. I love that they didn't hear their Rancor go down. Critical strike is funny against shield guys like that. So. Oh, um. Almost forgot solo mode was on. Even after I had switched. It's okay, I took them out solo. I gotta wait for them. They're coming. Oh, I missed the tube corpse. Clearly an unfair advantage. Like, we still have to go to Davix and all this other shit. But this is the majority of it. And we're still going to go take out Bendek. Um, we still got to break into the Sith base once we get T3. But we get a lot of good kit in here, if I remember correctly. You don't have to look at everything, but... Actually, I think Flurry is kind of the winner for this against droids. You can just clean his claw. You can use the sentry to. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. I mean, I could. And let him do some of it. It's just not worth it. You're better off just doing it yourself. It's such a waste of parts. Whoa, whoa, hello. Yes? We sound like a bit of a Melvin, even if we're dark side. Yes? Can I help you? Almost C3PO like. I think that's where the turrets are. Yeah, we don't want to. I don't think we want to go down there. Oh, wait. That's the turrets. Sorry, I had to think for a second. That's where the turrets are. We are going to give it to your boy Zalbs. Wait. Spikes rejected. Oh, right. This is, yeah, this is where we what? eventually go to what? the swoop garage, if I remember correctly, because that's where the prototype accelerator is. So I generally just like to kind of go through the rooms, taking out these guys. This guy should be dead by Christmas. What the hell? He's trying to talk to me. He doesn't... I think we just. You'll never get me. I don't know what happened, but. See, so yeah, droids always get bonked by Flurry. It's really good. Hi. This is Wu-Tang the bartender. Or I can buy some death sticks. And yes, I do want this. I do want someone to sell death sticks. I don't need to go home and rethink my life. Hi. I did him in the Vulcar base. Oh, it's skipping. My name is Ada. My father owed Davik some money, but he couldn't pay. Davik killed my father and sold me into slavery here. Dory, I just want to ask you some questions. All right, I still don't know how much help I can be. It's skipping her conversation for some reason. But we get rid of that. I hate them. We're going to find the accelerator. Never been down here. The elevator is... Yeah, I see it's skipping. I'm looking for a prisoner. Uh, if I let you go, can you find your way out of here? Now you've killed the guards. All right, get out of here. Unfortunately, yeah, something was going on with that. That was weird. I always like to, like, search everywhere because it's worth it, in my opinion. I'm going to ignore them. Let them come to me. Did I look at this? Yeah. This one, I think, just leads down the hallway. Hi. Need a little bit better kit and a bit more health. Spawned. Short sword, nothing really worth it. 
Again, this just is just a hallway that leads along the side. Done this enough times. Yeah, there's like challenge modes in uh, in Kotor. Or sorry, not Kotor. At, uh, at the end of uh, Fallen Order. They're like kind of arenas. No, I gotta switch up to Zalbs. He's got the know how. Access the cameras, armory, uh, barracks. How many computer spikes do we have? 19. Fuck it, let's do it. That's where the key card is. We got everybody but one. He's like, oh my god! What happened? Rec room. Pool. Uh, garage elevator. Control room. Uh, open all security doors. Log out. What? Sure. All right, I leveled up, but I'm not gonna. I thought this opened. Wasn't this? Oh wait, you know what? That's the alternate level to the right. That was cut content, so I gotta open that somehow. Because normally they just replaced it with like a room that has uh, goodies in it. I think. Actually, I shouldn't have opened all security doors. Why is it skipping his dialogue? Better give me some information if you want to live. What's going on? I'll try minimizing him. Oh, it's doing it again. You son of a bitch. We had a good run. Oh, wait, did it just crash? No, what happened? Shit, what's happening? No, okay, we're still in conversation, but it's being stupid. Sorry. It's skipping their conversations. I, I, yeah, like it's ha it's definitely happened before. Okay. I'll look for a prisoner. Don't ask me where I don't know. Okay. We're gonna find the accelerator. Disable security cannons. Uh, how does unlocking the elevator help me? Unlock center, but it only goes up, not down. Security card's the only way to get past the cannons. Okay. Go and get out of here. Look how shiny. Whoa! What happened? Okay, let's try loading. Sometimes loading it will fix it. We got we got a shiny floor. All right, it's fixed. Maybe maybe actually that'll fix uh, the issue too. With conversations, sometimes doing that will help. There you go. Okay, which guy? I thought the the Twi'lek had. Uh... Let's look at the map. All right, there's the pool. There's gas in here, I know that. Why did, oh man, I should've went solo, that's stupid. Mission's gonna die. Sure. Now stop spinning, Jesus. Mission just died. Yes, what? She'll get back up. All right, I forgot you could get it to do it.
Yes? Why do I have to slice the computer? Wait, can it not come back? I can't remember. Because, yeah, there was a whole area that... No, that's what happened. You have to go this way because the guy... It's not possible to open it. This is the restored version. I don't think I ever played this one. There's the whole second level which actually has the area you needed to go to. Because it only goes up. Once you're through, you can't go up. Or you can't go back. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah, I have to actually go closer. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm down. Oh, I got sauce, bro. Oh man, five hours too? Five hours eleven. Maybe I'll double check to make sure, because I, I think. I might throw a shield on. Let me look at the map, make sure I haven't missed anything. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, this is the. Yeah, see, I've never actually played this. I thought I did, but I didn't do this. I did install the restored content mod, but there were other, like, factions you could do. There was one mod I didn't install, like bring party with you to the seafloor. Oh, come on. Oh, she just tripped. Run. Oh shit, eh? Hey? Do any of these just open regularly that I can hide? Oh, I'm fucked, guys. Crap, I'm not gonna make it. Stop! Oh my god. There we go. And they just come in. I just gotta, I'm just trying to tiptoe around them. Quick. Get him, get him, get him. Go. Oh, he's got shields. There you go, he down. I might be able to get them to get back up if we're not in combat mode. Oh my gosh, man, I was saved by the bell. I need them to get up. Oh. 
Right, let's go with regular attacks. There you go, he did. Oh wait, these aren't openable? Oh, that's a bit of a cock block, hey? Throw a nade at him. You could snipe him with that. Just to get him to combat mode. You know? <laughs> he did. Go get him. This dirty dog. Alright, my boy should get up now. About time. That took way too much time. See, a med pack will get a lot further for her. Yes? I might give him an advanced. What? Okay, let's get some shit opened. Gotcha. Simple. Is Gamorian in here? Sure. Yeah, take that! Ah. Yeah. Oh, dude, I hit him with it, but it didn't count. Hang on, he down. See, unfortunately, you're gonna be like at a disadvantage for a little bit. Oh. I wonder if they felt they gave too much, too many upgrades in this area. There's some pretty good kit up in here. Sure. Hey there. Say, I don't recognize you. You must be one of those new lab techs, right? What are you doing over here on the mechanic side of the building? You lost, rookie? I want to ask some questions. Can't say I blame you. They don't tell you new hires much, do they? <laughs> Just throw you in the deep end and expect you to swim. Terrible way to run things, if you ask me. You've got a question? Just ask. I'll be happy to help. Don't be shy. The only stupid question is the one you don't ask. At least that's what they say. Where are they keeping the prototype soup engine accelerator? The accelerator? Oh, it's down in the garage, of course. The service elevator is the only way in, but you lab techs aren't allowed down there. That's a restricted I love that they don't even ask. Only They're people like... with authorization cards like us mechanics can get past the laser cannons guarding the service elevator. Where can I get it? All mechanics have to store their authorization cards in the locker room when we're off duty. That's the rule. My own card is locked up right now. I put it away as soon as my shift was over. And I'm not about to lend my card out to anyone. You know how much trouble we can get into if Bridget finds out we aren't keeping our authorization cards properly secured? Of course not. All the mechanics here follow the rules as closely as they should. I've even heard of a few guys trading their cards for a spice fix. <laughs> Stupid addicts. Well, something sure. else. I'll... What's wrong with the heat in this place? There's nothing wrong with the heating system. Right. You've got some more questions? Just ask. I'll be happy to help. Yes. You. Maybe we can get him out of there. Okay. Let's see, because that's his journal. Age mechanic lower level told you that to use mechanic key card. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. You think? 
Oops. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, where did it save? Oh, no, guys. I did the dark side route by mistake. I'm so sorry, man. I wasn't thinking. I'm not going to reload it. If I changed the heat, I could have gotten him out of the room and then stolen it nicely. Whatever. Or... That was a mistake. He must have called security. There you go. Okay, we need mission up right now. What? I'm actually almost out of these. Gotcha. Simple. What? It's habit for me to loot, you know? So I wonder where I could have gone to adjust the heat then. See the map here. Well, it's like literally all barracks, really. Control room. So the control room is probably where the heat would have adjusted. What's up, fire? Yeah, for sure. Four years since I've touched this game, actually. chunks of credits perception visors magnetic power cell that's sick wait who's got the computer use she's got five what does zalbar have yes i think zalbar actually has six computer use yeah so this is better access commands no uh cameras barracks one I probably could have turned the heat up with that. Barracks 2. That's where he would have been in. Like, watch. They'll probably give me the option. Oh, maybe not. Storage room. I uh, deactivate turrets. Nah, there's a waste. Overload the terminal that you're standing at like an idiot. Spice lab. There's a lot of stuff here. I can understand why they cut it though. It seems like... What? Yes? Okay. Huh? Sure. Let's see what we can do actually. Let's go to 7-5 is currently our best. I mean there's a heavy combat wait, there's a com which one was it? Military suit is six and three. But I don't think Michigan can wear it. No, she cannot. 
I can wear it. I'm wondering if I should sacrifice one so that mission can get it. Nah, I'm selfish. Selfish yes. prick. Awareness, demolition, security go up. I have an awareness and a demolitions boost. I wouldn't mind that. I don't need the security, though. So it's like, but doesn't mission need it? So I'm wondering if I should give it to mission. Let me see our current stats. I wish you can give a new neutral band. Or like I said, I can give it... Wait, why can't she wear it? I don't have it equipped, do I? Oh, I did equip it. That's not what I meant to do. What the hell? Uh, shit. I always forget where they go. Yeah, they added like a lot to this. They made it like quite the... Uh... Uh, where is it? I thought it was here. Will saves her up. Yeah, I can't remember where her stats were. I thought it was here. She's got that sneak attack. You can just go in and like... I think it might make more sense for her to have it. Because my awareness is lower, but... I think we'll have her wear it. Anything else he could have? I think he just has weapons. He can have implants, though. Okay, we'll just roll with that. See, it's like, it's temp- Oh, Jesus, hey. Chuck a nade at them. Oh, man. Get behind cover. They're not gonna make it. Back him, tackle. Oh, wow, they didn't even touch them. That's amazing. They have like no health right now. What? Gotcha. Oh, who are you? Only tech lab. Lab techs are allowed in this section of the base. You better tell me where you're here. I'll call the guards. Sorry, I'm here. I must have gotten lost. Oh, for crying out loud! It's because I was set to mission. So yes. I didn't have any of my saving I might be dead. Oh, I'm oh I'm stunned! Oh bro, I think I took for me. That sucks. Where did it save? No! There was no save, bro. There was none. Oh my god. That sucks. There was no save. Oh my god, all that and there was no save. Ugh, fuck me. Honestly, I'm almost uh, debating on just leveling up because it's it's hindering me, you know? It's just it's so I'm wasting so many like health kits right now. All that for nothing. All of it for nothing for real. Back it together. That went so much better, though. Gotcha. Simple. Yes. <laughs> Point blank. <laughs> I honestly think I'm just leveling it up. I don't think it's worth it, especially as a, as a Jedi. As a, well, I'll be going Jedi Guardian. I don't think it'll make sense. If I was doing like a consular, that'd make so much more sense. But these ding dongs are going down. Okay, I 
Get out of the way. All right, let's save. Since I'm an idiot and I didn't save. Just wasted a ton of time is what I did, yeah. guys. Gotcha. Hey there. You. Oh. Oh my. Oh. You. Oh. Okay, we'll leave it what? for now. Yeah. Gotcha. Simple. Sure. Yeah? Gotcha. Simple. Yes? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, if you ISO them, it's not so bad, but... Do another save. This one actually might be worth it. I'm going to do it all and I'll just buy more. What? What? Actually helping at all? I don't think he was. Yeah. What? Oops. Which one was it? One maybe? How do you turn up the heat? There must be something else we do. Huh? What? Okay, hopefully the droid will follow me. There you go. Okay. We'll make a save. I'm gonna bash the door open so I can at least try my chance. Come on, droid, get after it. This is a bunch of dudes missing. That's what's so funny about it. It's not doing anything. It's like frustrating as hell. She just got kicked in the face. Ugh. Come on, droid, attack! Pokey poke. Oh my god, it's a door. <laughs> the only guys to come in the lab. Do I need credit credits to calm me down? If you take that money, I'll tell Brezhig you let a Beck spy bribe you. Oh my god. 
So much for that. Did I miss this door before? Oh man, I'm getting tired of it. I need like better two weapon fighting. That hurt, I bet. Oh, that's frustrating. Where's the other guy? Where's the guy who told him he was like a, a, a douche or whatever? Strong box. I need mission up. What? These guys are just grabbing at the stomachs the whole time. Gotcha. Simple. Wait, what was that? Packaged what? What did it say? I totally missed what it was. Um, packaged spice. Oh, I wonder what you do with that. What? Let's give you something a little bit better now. We have that Gamorrean axe. It's not much, but it, I think it suits him. What? Yes? Huh? See you, Jason. Yes? Huh? Sure. Okay, I'll make a save. I don't know if I actually ended up paying them. Ha! Ha! Must have got lost. Right. Bastard. I thought I could maybe get rid of him. Oh, he got one shot at though, bro. But doesn't he call for help? I need my persuade to get up higher. Get out of the way! They're just ruining it. <laughs> got somebody in it but it's it's honestly helping us get experience like we get way more experience from this it's like we're gonna have more struggles but this thing is almost at the useless spot i wonder if i can give someone spice like you know what i mean yeah Gotcha. Simple. What? I think they need to level up some fierce. Yeah, man, this missing is just, it's gonna drive me mad. I just need better two weapon fighting. And their mission's gone. Like he's he got he got shaken by that, not stirred. Jesus Christ, man. Like it's just brutal. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should just get rid of one. Yeah? You guys ain't gonna make it. Gotcha. Simple. Yes? Oh. There you go. Good thing he didn't, he missed him. Every door, I feel like I need to save it. Yeah? Gotcha. Simple. Sure. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
See, not every door is going to give you something. Oh my gosh. Bro. It's not gonna do that. I feel like I'm so outnumbered. Okay, hold on. Let's just... Let's see, that one's 1 to 10, but it's got a better attack modifier, so I'm actually going to ditch this. And just rock the single. Let's see if I can turn... Okay, I need, I'm gonna bring them over to my little... This guy's supposed to be helping me. Yeah, this is much better. Hit him. Yeah, I think this is smarter just to actually just focus on. I have a battle stim. I suppose I can use that. See the map. Maintenance bay. We still got to make our way all the way over there. Yes? Simple. God, go! It's stuck! Ugh. And there goes Alpha. Oh my god, bro. Honestly, I don't care, man. I'm leveling up. This is just so cringe. It's it's just I'm out of everything. My persuade is low. My feet. I still can't even get master two weapon, but I would be at like master. I'd be at level three with that by now if I hadn't accidentally selected that. Oh. Ah. Oh. Why are my party members so weak? I think it makes no sense. It's like it's There's nothing really here. Is it even worth doing? But now I don't have a I don't actually have a advancement pack, so I only have these ones which require way more health just to use. This is like this is torturous right here. I still gotta get what I need to get. What's up, Rampage? It's going good, how are you? What? Oh, for crying out loud, where are you? I can go back up there, I didn't think I could. Sure. Simple. 
right now. It's pissing me off. <sighs> Jesus. I've never had this much trouble before. This area is tough. And I'm almost out of med kits. You know, it's like I didn't think this would be a problem. But every attack I'm doing is missing. There you go. Alright, we got him. But these guys are always hanging on by a thread. Yeah. Eating system. I need... Oh, wait. I need a cell. Is there something you want? No. Never mind. Yes? Not right now. Open the door. Go to the lab tech. See some of the, I don't want to have to deal with the alcohol to pray of lab tech bringing me for a drink. I'm surprised to see you here. Hey there. You must be one of the new lab. Uh, we mechanics don't make the big bucks like you lab techs. Uh, want to ask some questions? questions? Come on. I just got up. Play you for a mechanic. Um, it's, well. I guess you could do it that way. I wonder if I should have done Jedi from the beginning and then just not use lightsabers until a certain point. Back again? Yeah. I'll play it for your <laughs> card. You're kidding, right? Like I'd be sorry, but those. Alright. So yeah. I'm not interested. Okay, well, how do I. This is new for me. This is like all a different. So like, where do I get the magnetic cell from? There must, you know what, there was probably, there wouldn't be not a reason. I'll bet you I can get the heating cell from that swoop bike. Oh, hold on. I mean, there was that spice. I wonder if that had something to do with it. Man, this is really adding on some time. Hey, I didn't think this would uh, take me this. This is a massive, like, massive, lo like, extra location. Oh. Okay, well, where the hell do I get the cell from? I mean, I guess I could just kill him and take his car to get the dark side points. Because I'm not really seeing a way around it. I didn't open that? Huh? Oh, for God's sake, mission. You're busting my balls here, girl. Like, why is she not following me? I don't I don't want to give her a med pack because she's just gonna die. I'll bet I, I think that's why. I think it might have been in here and I forgot to. Simple. No. Oh, there's the power cell. Yeah, see, I forgot to grab sure. it. That's what happened. My bad. This time around, I'm gonna make a save. 
So yeah, now we can go back this way, put it in, mess it up, call it a day. Insert the power cell. There you go, that's the light side point. Now we can go back to him and be like, hey, the heating's all messed up. And that'll let make him leave. He'll go fix it. Which will then let me access it without killing him. Back again, rookie? Can you What's wrong with the heat? There's nothing wrong with the heating system. Something wrong with the heating system, you know what it is. No. All right. There's nothing to fix with the heating system. <laughs> Brezik just yanked the magnetic power cell out. All you have to do is pop that cell back in and the system is up and running again. But until we figure out a way to make the heat work without disabling the thermal security system on the garage elevator... Okay. Wait, so that didn't do anything? You've reactivated the heating system. The rapid increase in temperature should have played havoc with any sensitive thermal-based security equipment. Okay. I must be missing something. Okay. Working for Brezhik isn't you. You're the new lab tech, right? Gotta be. You ain't no mechanic. You don't look like one of the Volker gang members. Listen, friend. I used to have a little deal with one of the guys ah. in the lab. Whenever I needed some spice, she'd sneak a little bit out for me, and I'd make it worth her while. But she's gone now. Brezhik found out she was dipping into his stash. Now my supplier is gone, and I'm in bad need of a little fix. You follow what I'm saying? Nobody steal some spice. See, all you lab techs are so smart. How much will you give it to Here's me? Here's the problem, see. I'm flat broke till next week. Oh, there you go. But I'm good for it. In fact, I'll even let you hold my mechanics That's access how we'll get card it. for collateral. How's that sound? Here's the spice. You see, I knew you were the type to answer the door. That's all I need. Opportunity knocks. Wait here, and I'll be right back with my access card. Okay, let's do this deal quick. I don't want somebody to see Dude, us. Dude, I can't believe it. I thought he was just going to take off. Here's my mechanic's access card. Don't lose it. As soon as I get paid, I it expect won't you matter, to give me that bro. card back. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find somewhere private. I wonder if that's considered dark spice. size. No, it's just neutral. Now we can go back up, correct? Yeah, now we can go back up. I wonder what the security equipment would do. I wonder if that would just help you. Where the hell is mission? She's not following me anymore, bro. This is a problem. I better give her a med pack. I think that's causing a problem. Sure. Yeah, see, that's what they had, they had done this time. They made you go to a different floor to come back here to get that. Otherwise, you just, like, I think you just take it from one of the guards. One of the guys has the key card. That's all it is. So now we can get to the... Uh, which one is it? The garage elevator. So we got to go to the left. Right way? Yeah. Hopefully that did the trick. But we still gotta go to, uh, what's his name's estate. Still a good chunk of stuff waiting for us. Wait, what? Oh, we opened it there. Ah, oh, remember? 
what they had done because we we put the thermals in it ruined the turrets but if we hadn't put that in normally you just go to a, a computer console or terminal and splice it that's all you do so be, if i hadn't done that extra step i would have had to deal with it here i'm gonna give zalbar one of these huh? you're lucky i'm even doing that what Anyway. Uh-oh. I think these are dead end zones, so we'll just go this way. Yeah, I wasn't sure if they'd put anything in here. There you go, finish him. Like, I mean, it shouldn't be this difficult at this stage of the game. But you're kind of, like, getting out of the zone where this, like, this gear kind of sucks. You know what I mean? We're kind of at that stage. Okay, I need you to move. I think this way is longer, but... That's all we needed from that. Security cameras. Over all that, I think that all that does, it doesn't actually give them an, a leg up, I don't think. Oh, that was a waste. What? 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 Here's what we'll do. I'll probably get... Oh my god, running into... That's like a common bug in this. Yes? It's annoying. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I might like, for this th this fight, I'm worried about it. I don't, like, cause I'm actually, I've never really had an issue with med kits. I should have brought more med kits. I should have bought some. Sure. Normally I have enough, you know, but. I love that this guy just tries to kick me. It's like, come on, man. What do you think this is? Baby. 
Okay. That added a f an extra physical damage. That's pretty good, man. But now she can get... What does this do? Attack modifier goes up. That might be good for me if I use it in my offhand. I'm almost wondering... If it... Uh, if I should switch... And let Zalbar you like go long range, long range. Excuse me. That gives me a cold and fire resistance, even though I'm probably never going to use that. Cause he's getting sauce, so maybe we just temporarily give him, uh, you know, his bowcaster. He might actually be yeah. able to slap the cheeks out there from afar. I've never, I've always made him use melee, but honestly, maybe we should change our strat for this one. We will take these guys out. Get him! Oh my god, I hate that. Why were you so far? I don't know. Now you can approach from either of the either of them. So here's what's gonna happen, I think. I'll do one more. Okay, mission. I'm gonna need you. Someone's gonna get hurt. And if they don't work, someone's gonna get hurt. Someone's what? gonna get hurt. If they don't work. Oh shit. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh, I'm gonna make it blow up. Yeah? I didn't mean to what? do that. Okay, we're, we're good. Okay, let's just go in this way then. Because I want to lure them out this door and have them just take owls. Looks like we have visitors. Blackie's conned by Gabby Tech trying to try and steal Breshik's soup engine accelerator. Bet. Breshik stole that engine from Gaddy. It was never yours to begin with. I didn't go all the trouble acquiring this prototype just so you could steal it back for that old fool. Would you like me to dispose of these Beck spies, Candy? No, hold on a second. I see you aren't wearing hidden Beck colors. I'm guessing you aren't part of that feeble immense game. You must be freelance. Right, more the Becks. Just in the court Why don't you come work for us? The Black Bulkers should do someone like you. Forget it. He's smart. Get back his old news. He's a blind fool in more ways than one. Brushing is a visionary. So you'll control the entire lower city. Don't shock yourself to a losing team. I'm not gonna betray Gad. How can I kill him, Ken? Yes, I'll kill them. Come on, guys. Follow me. Those dumbasses. See, that's fine. Let them come at me. If it'll let me. Are they not gonna follow? There you go. Come on, guy. Come get me. I honestly didn't think I needed to waste all that, but I was just being cautious. For God's sake! Nothing is working. It's really shocking. I am very baffled that this shit. Is, I can't take them out. I don't know why this is like so. I got so spiked. I've never had this much trouble in this area of the game before. <laughs> Dude, just finish him. Here. Here. Fuck me, this douche. He had a burping headband, which might be good for me, actually. Let's take a look. Yeah, will and awareness boost. It's better in every way. I'm almost out. Stop doing that, man. It's starting to piss me off.
me off. I'm trying to target him. Or her, I should say. Yeah, this is dead. This is really bad. I've never had this much to do. This is my last med pack. That's all I've got. What the fuck is going on? Quick. Shield up. Oh, you dirty. There you go. That's fine. Oof. I don't know if we need anything else anymore. I think we'll be able to escape pretty much unscathed. At least they leveled up. Okay, um... What's it recommend? Two weapon fighting. I mean, they always... Maybe, they, actually, that might make sense. We might work on his two weapon fighting towards the end. And give him just power attack all the way through. That'll give them a full health, though. That's the beauty. What? I, well, I'm gonna go to the merch merchant and buy just, like, health. I'm gonna make sure she picks up, um... All those mines. Oral amplifier awareness too. I'll give her that. You can get the response package. Dexterity boost. Only specific guy or specific, specific characters can get it. Sure. Honestly, it has a lot to do um, To be honest, I don't really know what it has a lot to do with Oh shit, wait a minute Um I gotta go to the Don't I have to go to the loading bay? Because there's like this entryway that you can open, I thought. Oh my god, stop. Dude, why is my brain not working? I've forgotten where to go. How has that happened after playing this game so many times? I can tell my memory's going. <laughs> Which drawer do you need, though? Do you have to do that little... Maybe I'll just go back. This one, right? I'm here for... I don't have many. Shit, hey, that was a waste. Yeah? Sure. Yeah, but you can't get you can't get T3 until later. Where do I go? And my brain is not working. I cannot believe it. Where the hell I thought it just ended. Don't they say something? Maybe I do go back. I must go back. Unless I can just fast travel. Let's see. No, you can't. Did I get this?
Dude, I don't have T3 in the story. I don't have him. Wait a minute. Well, I thought there was a quick way out. I swear there was a quick way out. Perhaps there's not. I was it there. Let me just see. I don't remember doing this, honestly. Oh no, there was a special exit, wasn't there? There's a special exit and you come out the back base door that, oh yeah, I gotta go back in. This will take too long, there's no point. Let's just go back. There's like a main entrance or main exit that originally you couldn't access, but I think now I can do it. Yeah, but isn't there like nothing there though? I don't think you need T3 specifically. I don't think it's worth it. I remember that. I don't think there's anything there. I remember oh, I remember opening it here, like in this game, like like before I even got T3. Where the fuck was the door? Oops. This way. This is where I had to go. I knew it was somewhere around here. There's, I didn't think there was anything. Maybe I'll come back then. I mean, I gotta get sponsored, but I think I have to... F no, I've already taken care of these guys. I'm just running around here limping. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. I gotta go see Gavin. But then you get Bastila for a bit, and it's kind of like the next stage. Oh, man. Oh, this is the... Oh, fuck's sake. Sorry, guys. Oh my god, man. You can tell I'm getting tired. It's this one. Sorry. <laughs> I came in here limping, so that better mean you, you covering your end of the bargain. You have returned. You have the prototype. I have it right here. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Okay, I live up to my end. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gavin, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. Don't worry, I'll win, I'll win that race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator isn't stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. It's not like you got all your bases covered. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. Without sure that prototype, this. you don't stand a chance of winning. <sighs> you can stay here tonight. Dude, the I need help. mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine. I'm not gonna survive. So you won't be able to practice your riding, but I've got good instincts. 
Smith, and you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. Bro, this is brutal. I have no med. I have no medical. I have nothing. I have no med packs. I was gonna go stop by someone to buy some. But I'm like so injured, so I'm like hanging on by a thread. Like this is brutal. I just realized I won't have a chance. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm gonna have to like hide and run because I'll be spawning in the middle. But I'll have Bas. Wait, Basil will be there. She might be able to heal me. I don't know. The one who's gonna ride the street bike. Don't worry, I've been working on accelerator. Stability won't be a problem. I hope. Gad mentioned that you've never done this before. You want me to run over the basics? Let's just get to the racing. Better explain the rules. Each rider goes out on the track alone. At the end of the day, whoever posts the fast time is the winner. No other rider can run as many heats as they want, but I don't know how long the prototype is already so will hold up. No more than four or five races, I guess. To make your runs count, Gad's put his trust in you. We need to win this race and Reginald the Volkers will get the whole bunch of new recruits. That happens if we're finished. If that happens, we're finished. I won't let you down. Sounds like you're ready. Go talk to the race announcer over by the counter. I'm waiting for you here after the run so I can make the tweaks or repairs. Lock in. Don't worry about the prototype overheating and exploding when I'm on the track. That probably won't happen. Okay, they gave me full health. Sweet. I'm nervous about so many new riders making first competitive start in the biggest race of the year. Sorry, I can't stop with your super health, but I just don't think it'll be enough. Plus, there's always a chance it'll explode. Watch yourself on the track, rookie. I'm actually losing enough members as it is. I'll save. Hey, look at this freshman on the track. Well, don't get your hopes up, rookie. No first year has ever won the Super Racing season opener. Gad must be getting desperate if he's grabbing first timers off the street. When we Volkers win this year, it'll be over for your hidden back. It'll be over for you, hidden backs. Another rookie on the track. Hey, give me your punk. Punk, give you punks a helmet and swoop bike and tell me you're all racers. How about look, I'd say you, I don't have much to worry about. The backs are really scraping the bottom of the barrel now. Thanks, dickhead. Alright, let's see how the sponsor is. Ah, oh, you're ready for the backs. I always like them. I hope they can win the take Show these bulkers, I think, or two, but I digress. Hey, you're ready, sir. Good luck. Try not to get yourself killed. We only lost one rider today, and we want to keep it that way. Whenever you're ready, you can hit the track. I want to race. At least they gave me a full health boost there. That's, that's money. It's Zerdra here. I hope you're reading me. Your swoop run is about to begin. Remember, just hold on tight. Try not to smash into anything. The prototype accelerator should last about 60 seconds before it overheats and explodes. That should be enough time for you to finish your run. Good luck. The Bex are counting on you. Alright, left click to accelerate and shift gears. He got the top time. It's amazing. Someone just never. Okay. Look at the board. I was red rose. I think it doesn't matter. I think whatever you get. Day and over till they saw where he's still holding up. Alright, we'll make a fresh save. Alright, back again. Ready to race? Let's go. Should be good. Yeah. 
He did it, he did it. In 20 years, I've never seen anybody handle a soup like that before. No one's gonna beat that time. Nobody. But I guess Gadden knew that he was doing what he was doing when he booked you to ride for us. The only, the only thing is to wait for the time to become official and collect your prize. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the winner of this year's soup race. I I lost my stab myself. Oh, right in the face. Most daring riders this track has ever seen. Through your skill and courage, you have proven yourself the premier swoop rider on Terrace and brought great glory to the Hidden Fenton Gang. Now they're here to present the Champions Prize project, leader of the Black Bull Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Damn it! People hear me before I present the so called Champion of the Mix with their prize. There's something you must know. The winning rider cheated. You're a damn liar, Brezhik. Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. You can't do this, Brezhik. You know the rules. No one's allowed to add a withdraw a victory prize after the race. It goes against all our most sacred traditions. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <coughs> what? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill this swoop rider! Kill them all! All right, Brezhik's gonna get the sauce. Here. Oh, she's kind of a bitch. Here. Dude, he's literally you you have to actually move in sometimes. I got screwed. I had I completely missed him. Here. There you go. Now I should power attack him to victory. There you go. That oh, we killed him. Killed. I know we were linked, but damn. And he has like his whole thing, Brezik's belt, Brezik's arm band, and he has her double bladed saber. All right, let's go ahead and. Oops, I always do that. Brezik's arm band, Brezik's gloves, and Brezik's belt. Right. Well, maybe those bloody Vulcans will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Hey, Juan, thanks for being a member for the last 25 months. Hard to upgrade to Ultimate. That's weird. You shouldn't have to do that. I feel like they're still working on some kinks, but it's weird. Wait. It's a, bit, it's a long story. Well, we don't have time for it now. We have to get out of here before the Sith show up to sort out this mess. Is there somewhere safe we can go? I've got somewhere safe. I was planning to take you there. Safe? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself. I think I forgot to change Bastila's face. In fact, face. It's more I thought I downloaded Fence Bastila, but I maybe Bregic I didn't. and his Vulcans would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. You're helpless prisoners. I came along. I may have been a prisoner, but a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force? But I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on you. You did try to save me, after all, even if it didn't go quite as planned. So let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the Ender Spire? Karth and I were already working on a plan to get but off, Terrace. Karth Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Alright, we're in the final acts of Terrace now. We 
cannot win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive! Finally, oh, things it. are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? We are trying to find you, remember? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Will you settle down? This isn't helping. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Okay, so what now? I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Something weird happened when we first met, like a vision. A vision? A vision of what? You fighting a dark Jedi, Revan, I guess. This is... strange. Such visions are often a sign of Force sensitivity. What do you mean? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. Does this mean I could be a Jedi? The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision. If there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Okay. Well, I've been holding out. I'm going to level up. Attributes. So this is a big one. What does it recommend? It wants me to get strength. That's going to be absolutely insane. Maybe we'll do Charisma. My strength is high up. That'll help with our Persuade. Um, treat Injury's gotta go up. Alright, we can Master out 2 weapon Fighting. I'm gonna do that now. So it's negating it pretty much entirely. So we can go back. See, right now I would have this too. I would actually have Improved Flurry if I hadn't accidentally spent it on that like an idiot. So no, it is, oh, it is ba new Bastos New Face. Are talking about something? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Or we, were we were looking for you. Yes, I realize that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a simple search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you found me. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. I've had a lot of help, Karth Mission Zalbar. Your modesty is admirable. But though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. The Jedi could have done such things, of course. But only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Are you trying to say I can control the Force? The Force is in all of us. Though for most people, it's barely a measurable whisper. But there are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. 
though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... What are you trying to say? I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you are gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Okay. Yes, what's on your... You go. I think we're maxed out for them. How can I help? Then I said... Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save, because the textures are all messed up, so we're gonna save. And load. It should put the newest files at the top. There you go. Hey there. What? Want we'll talk about your brother? I don't want to talk about if I'm. Oh. Okay. How about Zalps? You help me with a pro. I want to know more about you. Yeah. You don't trust me? Nothing personal, I just don't feel you'd understand anything about me. Ways my people are not for outsiders to know. You'll have to be content with that. And I will leave you be. Thank you. Alright, yeah, there's nothing you can really do with him. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go out with, uh... See, so yeah, it, it doesn't look like an upgraded Basilet, to be honest. I'm gonna go with these two. She looks pretty stock. I wonder if something didn't install properly. I might reinstall it. She looks the same. Either him or you, you are the rider with who won the Great Soup Race. race. In Lower City, right? That's right. I have a message from Kander, so I decided to meet him in the cantina. Isn't he that Mandalorian that works for Davik? That's the one. Given his connections, you can see why I'd be wiser to do Kander didn't say why he wanted to meet you. He only said he had an offer you couldn't refuse. Given his connections, you can see why I'd be wiser to ignore his request. Next semester, go meet him there. Wise choice, I would advise you not to wait long. Mandalorians are not, are not for many things, but patience is not one of them. I'm here. Yeah, see, she looks like the same, but the image is different. See, like, it's... It's not the same one. Wants me to do wisdom. I, that makes sense for force reasons. Wait. Yeah, that's about the extent of it. Alright, skills. I think she can just have, like, awareness and treat injury. Which is interesting, because she's a sentinel, so it they rely on skills. Now, I want to get... Actually, I want to get... Yeah, I'll do it evenly. When do I get cure? Character level 6. She's got a few level ups ahead of us. Yeah, that's going to come in handy. What is that one? That's level 12, so we won't be able to do it. Okay, let's get her equipped. She can only wear clothing for now. That'll be good for him. What? Oh, yes. I missed Ready. parts. Okay, so I'm gonna actually go and do the dueling ring right now. Just get it out of the way. Finish it up. Okay, just looking. Um, it, it can be beaten between 24 to 29 hours, so it's longer, yeah. Damn it. 
Terrace is the longest area, though. So once the rest of the planet, some of them are actually quite... What the hell? Where's the exit? I don't... Oh, my God. Let me guess. There. Oh, they're there. Wait a minute. I did a lap? What the... F are you kidding me? That is such a kick in the nuts, bro. Dude, I swear, where the hell was it? How did I walk by it? Oh my god. It's the third one. Somehow I walked by it. I have no idea how that happened. That's really bizarre, man. It is a dark side option, yes, but I'm still going to do it anyway, because he's technically a bounty hunter. You know, he's like a criminal. He's killed, you know, so many people, so. First thing I'm going to do is buy a ton of med kits. Hey, you know, Bendix never lost a match oh, sorry. in his life, right? You need to take a look at my weapons and armor. See what you have for sale. Because of the Sith. All right, uh, I'm going to buy... Oh, wait, you're not going to have it, are you? You're just going to have weapons. Right. I have to go to what's-his-name for that. She's not going to give me much for this, is she? Hold off. I mean, all I got to do is take out Bendek. I've already done... I've already competed against the other guys. I do have a bunch of stims I could use, like a battle stim. That'll be really good to have. Welcome to my medical facility. Do you root? I even, of course. Uh, I'd like to see what you have for sale. How much are advanced med packs? Yeah, that should do me good. Going up with this guy with a prototype vibra blade, but here's the thing. What? I'm here. Sure. Now that I got Master 2 weapon fighting, I can actually put this one in my other hand. The longsword sucks, though. Sure. Did she seriously have med packs? I didn't see them. I'm an idiot then. I guess it wouldn't make much sense if she didn't. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. Shit. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. Who are you? My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. Are you planning to do that? I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this have a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. 
Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. What's in this for me? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's right. flagship. I have to go, Evan yeah. Hawk. She owes a favor. How are you going to manage that? Uh-uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. How am I supposed to get inside the base? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kandor has sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Won't Davik get mad if I take his droid? Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. All right, you got a deal. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. All right, well, anyway. So that's, then we do that, and then we go into what's his names. But first, we're going to finish up here. Hopefully it'll let me, it should. There's no reason it shouldn't at this point. For the news, you and Bennett are playing Deathmatch. Excellent news. People will be fortunate in this fight. Let me want to fight Deathmatch somewhere scared. Guess that's why they're legal now. Maybe it's wrong to take a life just for credit. Let's get on with the match. But he's everything most, of course. We'll turn off the energy suppressor so weapons won't be limited. They can kill anything goes. Ready for this match? I'm ready. Good, excellent. High wagering means lots of credits for the winner. Come see me after the fight, click if you're alive. Okay. All Ladies right. and gentlemen, one final match. Come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by, to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years. But we've got one for you tonight: a good old-fashioned death match in this corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle. Bandit Star Killer! And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious stranger. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! It's not enough to do any ish. Like, see, like, it's just a small amount. Dirty bitch. I got frag. Just frag him. Probably could have taken him out way Bendak sooner. Bendak is down. It's <laughs> over. It's over. The fight is over. Bendak star no, killer is down. Bendak Bendak star star killer killer is dead. Oh, hail the mysterious stranger, the greatest duelist to ever grace the rings of Taras. It's worth good money. It's it's definitely worth doing. I don't believe it. Bennett never loses. That's an amazing duel. Best duel I've ever seen. There's my share of the purse. Very well. Here are your credits. 
I think I deserve a little extra. Oh, no. Rep will be ruined. We still I can't afford. All right, you win. Here's another 200. I don't care. I'm not reloading for that. I was salty. I lost a tiny bit. I didn't care if I did dark side on that one. You get, no one wants to get in the ring with you. All right, we're done. All right, one thing I have to do, actually, I'm going to check my Bendix Bounty. That's one thing I do. First thing I join Escaping Terrace. Yeah, so that's all I have to do. I, I got to go back down to the lower city just to uh, get the bounty for the... God's sake, I always get lost in the same spot. How do I keep doing laps? No, I'm doing a light side. Like I said before, this is a nod to my original series. I'm doing the same kind of decisions. Makes the most sense. I've already done gray. I've already done light. I've already done dark. I've done it all already. So there's just like... The fact that I'm doing another series is kind of like, you know... That's what you gotta do. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a walk. But the bright side... Oh, wait. This is where What's-Her-Name-Is, so... Yeah, and there... In both... In both Kotors, there's not really any Grey Jedi... Options. Okay. Like, there are, but they're... Like, you just kind of... The whole time, you're just changing back and forth. But, um... Really, it doesn't change much. Yeah, exactly. There's not, like, a decision to stay... In. There kind of are in dialogue, but there's, like, not major... Like, when it comes to major decisions, you have to choose either something light or something dark. Right. Okay, the canteen is on the left. I actually started the Old Republic... Um, many years ago, and I ended up stopping playing it because it was starting to frustrate me. I had a bunch of reasons for stopping it. People have been asking me if I'm ever going to go, like, try it again. Maybe I will. I don't know. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. But we've got a small problem. I haven't heard about anyone breaking into the military. If you yeah, yeah. I'll be back when Glad. I get the scouts. Dude, relax. I'm just here for a drink. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Give me money, I'll ruin you. That's true. I just didn't want to refight Bendex Star Killer for that. <laughs> I forgot to. S <coughs> I forgot to say before talking to him. Got a bounty. Bendex. You're in the credits. I want 400. It never works. Alright. 300 credits for that. I don't know. I think it should have been more. Well, no. You can do Great Jedi. I just... I've done it already. You know? Fuck. It's getting hotter. Okay, so I think now we're good to go to do first thing to draw escaping terrors. Those are the ones that are on the agenda. Yep, so I'm just going to go back, uh, go to what's her name store. And I can't remember how many credits you need to buy T3. But honestly, the Sith base doesn't take long. It really doesn't. So we should be in and out pretty quickly. 
Speaking of that, there's the base there. Hers is over here. Like, her shop's this way. And then I can just double back and go the other direction. Listen to me, people. Guy's still babbling about it. I'll save just in case. I might need to save. I, I spent a ton of money. Can't say I'm surprised who's getting you know, on in the ears. People start losing their edge. The nice thing about droids is you only made a check and a few replacement parts here and there, they can last forever. Counter said you'd sell the T3 droid to me. Oh, Counter said you, why didn't you say so? King's droid said you can get it for 2000 A price outrageous, I'll give you half. Half. I can't afford that. I'll give you half. I can't afford that. Give me half. You're trying to rob me, I'm just take a black spice. On the other hand, I don't want to send I'll tell you what, here's yours for 15. Deal. Okay, pleasure doing business. I don't think you get dark side points, only if you threaten, like... Threaten with life. Alright, we got black yes. T3, which looks super badass, if you ask me. I think it's, yeah, dexterity is just gonna go up. You can make it so that it's a a cross a, a cross class skill. Make demolitions because there's not that many feats, so it's like like what does it recommend? Improved gearhead. But honestly, I think giving him like two weapon fighting is good. See what it recommends. Improve caution. I'm gonna give him two weapon fighting. Oops. Alright, that's all you can get. So I could stack stuff. That's basically the same. Awareness either or works. Bendex Blaster. I should give him Bendex Blaster for that. Here you go. Bendex Blaster. Sure. Let's go. I love when we can just go in and be like, knock, knock, let us in. Oh, wait, I'm what am here. I doing? She what? just uses a lot more. It's good to have Bastila because then you can just use heal. I'm here. Sure. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, Jason. It hasn't aged that great. I'm sure someone who's tried to, who would try to get into it now would probably struggle a little bit with how outdated it is. But if you can get past that, it's got a phenomenal story, great characters, environments are awesome. Bear, tell me what you're doing. Hit the alarm. Don't hit that alarm. I'm having hell if they took up the space. Someone said it up to these sims. All right, sounds good. It was worth the money. All right, here's what we're gonna do. T3. Is gonna get us in. This computer is 17. So, take turrets offline. Uh, hack sentry droids, or we can do that. There we go. See, they're all shut down now. There you go. Medical. Control center. Not much you can do there. Elevator. 
Open elevator. I honestly disabled the shield. That's gonna help us. Because I remember this droid's a pain in the ass. Elevator armory. Yeah, okay. Oh, I have one spike left, actually. Okay, I'm gonna have to purchase some. They're actually kind of expensive, but they come in handy. You get good experience from them, too. I think if you open one of these doors... I think if you open... Wait, which door is it? Yeah, all these guys are in here. I forgot about that. Intruders in the base. Attack! Attack! But... Honestly, it's worth the experience. That's why I do it. This is who she calls. But I usually don't leave an area on like where everybody did. Want to ask some questions? Don't even know what I was gonna ask. Time you have any advice? Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, that area's blocked off. Alright, let's go. Yeah, this one's a lot simpler. Oh, I should have done a flurry. It just sucks because we would have had flurry if I hadn't spent the money on that. I know I'm going to keep bitching about it, but it's true. Let's see what he's got. What, what did that give us anything? New shields. Computer probe. Computer use goes up even more. I don't know if you can recover this. We'll try. Oh, it's still too low. Then just disable it. He's fast, though. You can do things at Mach 10. I guess it's one way. I don't know. We gotta try and save all our strength for that. See, I disabled everyone. Oh, right, you gotta get this guy out. You remember me? Help me once before. The sense of trying to rescue me outside your apartment. Do you remember? Right, I remember you. I need your help once again. The Sith are going to execute me for moving the Sith Corps from the apartment complex. Please help me get out of this cage. How do I get you out? Switch all the panels on the wall to off, and I'll be released. It's not as simple as it sounds. Switching a panel also switch the panel beside it. Must be careful if you do this, human. Set all of them to green on, and I'll be executed. All right. I can't remember the order, but it's relatively not that complicated, from what I remember. It's like if I want to do this one. I'm a little close. This should do it. There you go. Thank you, human. I do not know what you're doing inside this base, but I'm grateful. Once again, I owe you my debt I can never pay. Now I must leave this place before the Sith discover I've escaped. If you are wise, you will do the same. If the Sith capture you, I doubt anyone else will come by to set you free. All the droids have been disabled. I'd say it's worth it. Oh, this is where I shocked them all. Sith based password, improved energy cell. That'll improve our damage. Oh, definitely the the Korriban puzzle? Yeah, that one's trash. This one was really easy. It's the same concept, but it's a little more complicated. Oh, jeez. Dude, I wasn't ready here. Oh shit, I jumped the gun. Whatever. Wait a minute, isn't this where Darth Bandon is? I just have to take him out. 
Set that it would have damaged it. I don't think it would have killed it. That's where the codes are, but I'm gonna go back to this way, this area. I should be able to open this. You're right, he doesn't have his own, he doesn't have a lightsaber yet. That's what it is. Yeah, sorry, it, he just looks like Bandon. That's the thing. Lord Ma but he does say that Lord surely he will reward me with my lightsaber once I destroy you. Just, it's just altered. Ah You know she did. You know she did. You know he did. You know he did. No nope, not yet. You know he did. You know they all did. <laughs> Oh my god. A little close to him. Then she completely misses, like explain that. I think if I had more uh, spikes, I could have used the sentry droid to our advantage. Oh, don't worry, guys. We'll do the voice when we're when we're ready to rock. When Darth Bannon appears, we Bart Darth Bannon will get this. Will be here for us. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you'd escaped that is alive. He's promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. I wish I had a. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, sorry. Did I look in this already? See, all roads end up leading to the governor guy. You take him out. Sith without a saber. Double-bladed saber goes off a two-weapon fighting, technically. What the hell was that? It's so small, it's hard to see it. Hold on, I'm gonna go back. Okay, I wasn't sure. I gotta say though, dropping the shield was worth the uh, the the spikes. What kind of glitches? You must gather your. Oh, for the love of. Are y'all coming? No. T3, stop. You have to, like, stop them. I love how that glitch has been around since, like, like the original. Like, it doesn't matter which. What you're playing this on Xbox, PC, it doesn't matter. That glitch where they, like, hide out and then you have to switch them to get them to start running. You know? Who Hi. dares to break my meditation? Wait. You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. Turn away from the Dark Side. I won't need you anything but destruction. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. 
We Sith, however, have learned to embrace the potential of the dark side. It is what gives us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. <laughs> Of course. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, she go down? Shit, eh? I love how he bonk. Droids get bonked. Oh, <laughs> bro! I was not ready for that. I was, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Oh my gosh, I got sauced. Who did? Who would have? Okay, fine. Here. Here. Yes. What? He's almost there. Don't let him do that. You shall fall. There you go. That was much better. What, I think the biggest problem was she got. Uh... What do you have? Terrace launch codes, adrenaline amplifier, strength gauntlets, neural band. That's some good shit in here. All right, let's see what we want here. I forgot I was repping the Verpine. I end up repping that for a lot longer. Regex gloves, dexterity, or just boosting my strength. I don't need it, so I think Basila should get it. Increase her strength, because I am strong as a mother. But she can't wear any of these things. See, a Chani fiber armor is really good, because it, it like you can upgrade it. Look at 7 and 5, where this is 7 and 2, it's medium armor. It's crazy. All right, we're ready to go. We just gotta go meet up with Candyman. In the lower cantinas. And then we get to go to Davix, and then we fly off this fish. Make sure we got it all. Yep. Lord Malik was most displeased when he had learned your gift of murder. We'll get better. I can't wait to get my lightsaber. Take another lightsaber for my own. You now know why our Mandalorians are big. And then I'll get my two sabers. Unfortunately, these weapons kind of suck. I think, I can't remember if it's this game, I think it's KOTOR 2 where they introduced the Master 2 weapon fighting. Where it compl it gives you upgrades, or not upgrades, but it gives you positives um, for actually, oh, I think I just walked by the way down, didn't I? Yeah, the I got the evil city, walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are overrun with the I'm doing light side, and I'm going blue. Like I said, all of this is a nod to my original series. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Damn it. I keep forgetting what I'm looking at. No, I should know. Sounds like it's a mod issue, Silver, that you're encountering. Yeah, see, Pizak rules, Basilic Karth, and then just escaping Terrace. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're just going to head straight for the cantina. Dip over to Davik's estate. Oh, the door. Right. Okay, yeah, I'll go back. Thanks for the reminder, Rich. I totally forgot. I'll turn around. It's just over here anyway. We can just take a quick dip. Should be fairly quick. Oh, God damn it. It should... I hate it when it does this.
Hopefully when we go through it'll load and we'll be fine. This is what happens when you install mods though, guys, sometimes. Sometimes it can't hang. I do remember opening it. I don't remember needing T3 though. I remember just being able to open it. Because I never had to go back. Oh, it's just, yeah, we'll have to save. Oh, what the hell? It's still busted. That's not good. Uh oh. What the fuck? That's bad. Guys, normally a quick load is fixed the problem. No, but don't you need parts for that? That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean... It's impossible. That's all I needed. See, I didn't need T3 in the slightest. I didn't think so. Yeah, see, I, I remember doing this before. I'm surprised Vassalus is so shitty. Lightsaber isn't doing much. Two thousand creds. I mean, two thousand creds was a fuck ton. Like, don't get me wrong, that's money. But I'm, I'm, I'm honestly nervous that the floor isn't fixed yet. Fixing, man. Oh my god. I'm nervous this is just gonna be an issue. Fuck. Bruh. I don't want to progress and then I'm stuck with this forever, you know what I mean? It shouldn't save the fact that that textures are glitched, you know what I mean? That shouldn't save. Uh, so I don't want to go all this way and then I'm stuck in this forever. Texture glitches.
So I think this obviously is very much a mod issue, but... Every time it's happened, I've just saved and loaded and it's fixed, so I don't know why it's not. Oh, that's such a cunt. I mean, that's my last save, was in the Sith base. No, this just, dude, obviously not. I've been in, I've been streaming. Like, it's been working, so. I'm not risking it. Oh, but that's right before Bandon. Or not Bandon. Fuck. Tell you what, let's try loading an old save. And then we'll load the new save. Oh, it's still glitched, man. Oh my god. Completely. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, let's try. Let's just try quitting the game. How about that? Let's try quitting the game altogether. Of course, there's stream tomorrow. There's streams Monday to Friday every week. Okay, let's try this one again. Fingers crossed, guys. All right, we're back. Good. At least if it doesn't work, we know a way to fix it. Whew. All right, that would have sucked. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base. And right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. All right, how are we doing it? Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Alright, so we have to go with Candorus. Who do I want as the side? Probably Basilic, because it's main, fairly main story. Hey, step. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, what happened? The game just minimized or what? Jesus Christ, bro. That was weird. I just minimized my game. Hey, box. Welcome back. Summon me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of 
Of course not, my lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Callo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Good to meet you, Davik. Oh, what the hell? Ugh, sorry guys. This game is cheesing me right now with these minimizings. What the hell is going on? Come on. There, I got my mouse back. Good to find him immediately. You Me, know, you. Candorus was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the Exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. Look forward to working with you, Davik. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. What's up, James? Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. All right. Yeah? I'm here. What? Candyman. Uh, it's probably just gonna recommend, yeah, anything like that. I might just go with the recommended for him, because I'm not going to use him that much, just because he's dark side, so it's kind of pointless. Like, his battle armor looks dope, but unfortunately it's like... I'm actually not going to bother giving him anything yet. I'm here. What? Ugh, damn floor. Yeah? I'm here. 
doesn't she have security? Yes. Huh? What can I do? I don't want. Yeah. To talk. What are you? You. Yes. God damn it! Stop what? it. Yes. What happened to putting it? In? I must have added that later. Sure. I'm sorry, I'm getting annoyed with this. Like, I'm getting a lot of floor bugs. I hope I don't have to reopen it again. There. This time it worked. It sucks not having someone who can... Dude, stop missing, bro. <sighs> Jesus. What can I do? I hate how bashing takes so long. I thought she had like uh I thought she had security, so I'm surprised it's I'm gonna be here for a while. Come on, bro. I don't under I, 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 wait, she has two weapon fighting. I think that's why she's Taking L's, it's not high enough. I'm gonna do it all again. Okay. Get out of my car. Oh, sorry, wrong room. taking a shit. I'm out. Sorry about that, big guy. I know some of them are a lot harsher, though, so you, can, you can't... You don't want to get too nutty with them. Hey! What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. Kudu. Tuni Rama na praka donko tsersha. Please don't allow the safe cards. Can't see them here. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going... Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Here's 50 credits. Okay, I guess it was an honest mistake. Give me the credits and I'll forget this ever happened. You better pay more attention to where you're going. Opening the wrong door around here can get you killed. Now get out of here and don't bother me again. Sorry. I'm just gonna take my credits back from your footlocker. Oh God, he only had 13 credits. I can see why he needed the cash. Unless he spent it all on the slaves. Yeah? What? What? Hi. Isn't there a, Yeah, there's a male slave now. Before there was just female slaves. Welcome to the slave quarters, master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. I need some information. But what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. Tell me what you know. Praise from the guest is a valuable commodity here. Davik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Even Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Hudro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. Where is it? I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. I'd love a massage, though. As you wish, Master. You will find this most relaxing. If you would come with me into the I'm massage typically room male. at the back. Oh, typically male. <laughs> Is it possible for you to keep in mind that we have more pressing business to attend to? <laughs> I trust you are satisfied with the service. 
I have received many compliments on my skills from previous clients. Nothing average, you're truly an expert of your crowd. Thank you, kind sir. I hope you will express your appreciation to Davik. He often reward. All right. I'll be going. Of course. All right. It's just, it's just, it's just for a little laugh. That's all it's for. Anyway, we don't need to be here anymore. I can't remember. Did I? Was there anything in my room? Did I open this footlocker? No, I did not. Okay. This is the most pointless room I've ever seen. Like, I, I don't understand why it would need to exist. Hi, guys. Where the hell are they? I'm here. Oh, you yeah. dipshit. What? It's so annoying when they don't follow, and it's still, it's still an issue. Honestly, I didn't bring anybody with me that's going to be good with computers. So... We'll just have to go in guns blazing. I think this is actually the room we need to go. This is where Buddy's been locked up, Hudro. Maybe not. Yes? God, these guys are getting sauced by me. Thank you. What can I do? What? Sure. I feel like you really start noticing your abilities improve. Um, what's your, uh, I heard I said. Yes. All right. Once you, uh, I can't even think what I'm trying to say. Once you get to that speed, that's when I really notice your. Like, your you catch up. Nobody else. Surprise! There wasn't a whole lot from that. Now we have the computer password though, so we can use it. Everything's just a giant circle though around this main like opening or main room. I'm what? here. Yes? What can I do? What? Sure. Here. Come on, dude. Ha! Ha! How dare you invade my chambers? How, How rude! rude. I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. Davik wanted to make me sure you didn't need anything. That is no excuse for incompetence! Don't work for Davik, you overinflated windbag. Wind Don't work for Davik? Then what? You... Plus, assassins, guards, save me! Bro, you wouldn't if you just kept quiet. <laughs> you'd have been fine. You guys go deal with him. I'm gonna go open his stuff.
I already went to the slave quarters first. There. There he is. No idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more Later, I can take before going mad. Couldn't sit by and just let you suffer. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. I want to ask some questions. questions. Okay. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. It won't matter what happens to you there, Hudro. Unless you slither aboard. We got what we Ebonhawk. came for. We should get going. All right. Let's let's check the map. I think I've searched everything. I'm not sure though. I always like to be triply sure. Let's see all these rooms. I'm here. All right, they've leveled up. Why should he has two skills? It makes no sense. I'm just going until I'm done with Terrace. There wasn't like a length in mind, so I'm almost done Terrace. Very soon I'll be done. Strength doesn't make sense to me. Honestly. No sense in taking those guys out, wasting spikes. Let's take them out. They were in the next door, but I'll just take them down. Yeah, mines in this game are pretty useless. But they made them really worth it in... Uh, they made them worth it in the uh, in KOTOR 2. What can I do? What? Yes? Okay, what's my next move? Straight down. We are almost done with this. Once we're up in the air, that's pretty much where I'll split the stream. And we'll pick this up tomorrow. We'll take on Dantooine. Dantooine's a smaller area, so it definitely won't take me as long to play it. So. Damn no Sith. They're bombing the whole planet. Oh, I knew they'd turn on us sooner or later. Look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, 
You figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sorry. ship turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and we'll kill us all. Taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Kyle's such a t look at me, I'm running in the wrong direction. Damn those shit. Now bring this whole hangar down around our ears. <laughs> like, you got absolutely crushed, but Huh? Yes. Gavin got sauce too. Stop! It's not dude, it's not reacting. Stop. Oh my goodness. And of course you get Davik's war suit and his visor, which is good. I actually don't think it's I'm gonna here. be as huh? good as what I've got on though. Oh, it's eight and three. It does resist, honestly, what would you rather have? 20, honestly, I'd rather have that. Like seven and five, only getting eight and three. Like it's so much better. So if anything, Candyman, you can have it. Seven and two, eight and three. Enjoy it. What? It looks better on you anyway. Alright guys, it's time to bounce. Make a quick save. Let's get out of here. Do you wish to board the Ebonhawk? No, I'd like to stay around here. It's beautiful. Of course I want to board the damn thing. Actually, hold on one second. Was there any, like, cases? No, there's nothing in here. I was just double checking. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. I might actually have to, like, defend for a bit. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Whenever, yeah, hold on. New cutscene, I gotta maximize it. Poor Terrace, man, it got absolutely annihilated. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. of them off the first jump. Yeah, I forgot they slowed you down. 
Under the ship right now. Oh, wait, no, wait, there you go, they're done. Yeah, Dantooine's a bit of a snooze. Manon is like one of my favorites. I love Manon. Dantooine. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. I agree, we should be safe here. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. Is it going to minimize the game? Didn't. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. All right. Well, anyway, there's no point leveling up until you become a Jedi, so I'm going to leave it there. So, guys, we managed to do all of Terrace and, obviously, the Endar Spire as well. Terrace is the longest portion of the game. Uh, that's so the rest of the streams from here on out are going to be a bit shorter. We're going to sort each area by planet, so, obviously, depending. We're going to do a lot more speaking in these areas as well. Um, but Dantooine's next. This is where we get our Jedi training and, you know, learn a few goodies. So, like I said, we're going to be tackling that tomorrow. So, thank you guys so much for watching this first video, this first stream. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. Comment your thoughts below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss anything I put out. I'm going to be playing this game all week until it's completed, basically, because there's nothing really new for a little while. So, it's going to be all KOTOR every day. So, make sure you come back for another stream. Be sure to like follow my social pages as well. I've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Discord. They're all linked in the description. If you want to get a shirt or hoodie as well, there's a link in the description. Also, an embedded feature below the stream. You can scroll down and see some goodies I have there. Big shout out to all the sponsors of the channel, of course. DX Racer, Bones Coffee, Always Bearded, The Ridge Wallet, Mad Rabbit Tattoo, and Jinx Custom Controllers. I use their products every single day, and you can check them out for yourselves with the links in the description. Be sure to use my promo code, DANKU8000, to save a checkout. Finally, guys, be sure to sign up and check out the Team 8000 membership program. If you haven't done so already, uh, it's worth the page a lot. There's four tiers available to work with whatever budget you have entry, basic, premium, and ultimate. The higher up in the tier list you go, the more perks you're going to get. But
at that entry level, man, it's only 99 cents. So it's really easy to get into the program, but you will get things such as custom badges by your name, custom emojis, use chat, exclusive video and stream access, priority in open lobbies, discounts, giveaways, and plenty more. We are coming up to the end of the month. That means at the start of a new month, we're going to be doing the new ultimate giveaway, which includes, if you're in that tier, that is, you will be able to be entered into the giveaway, which includes a first and second place prize of uh, a game of your choice or a merch item from my shop. I'm going to be doing that from here on out for the ultimate tier. Uh, otherwise, you can support the, support the page at the lower tiers. You'll still get perks for signing up to those as well. So make sure you check that out. Links in the description, join button below the video and on my main channel page as well. Working towards 175 members. We're hovering at that 150 range. So let's keep that going. Get up to 175 so we can get our next emoji. Anyway, guys thank you so much for coming i cannot wait to continue this one of my favorite games of all time one of my most played friend or series on the channel this is my fourth let's play of this game for the channel so yeah it's it, there's a lot to do and obviously we're playing it modded i'll make sure some of my mods are still working obviously the basil one isn't working it's supposed to be a different skin i must have not transferred all the files properly or accidentally replaced one of the files so i'll just make sure it's all there and we'll fix it for next time anyway thanks for watching guys have a great rest of your day hopefully i see you tomorrow for some more and we continue with dan tweet thanks guys take care peace